Hi, everybody. I'm sorry I'm late. But also, <laughs> I went to bed at 10 in the morning. You hear Steam? I just downloaded some games. Thank you, Soria. Thank you so much for the bits, my love. I downloaded Death Must Die and Mindustry to potentially maybe play later today on stream. Let me also download that Lizards Must Die game. Because the supermarket wars end in about three hours. So after that, we're going to take a look. Haru, thank you for the gifted. Thank you so much, my love. Again, I am so sorry for this absolutely backward stream schedule. It has been so bad on my gym life. It has been so bad on my stream life. I'm having like, oh, here's the rule. Today, I am not allowed to stream past eight hours. So three plus five, 5 a.m. I have to take off the stream. 5 a.m. I'm done streaming, okay? No matter what. I'm done streaming at 5 a.m. Dropkick, that's what I, I saw about the game. It looked like it could be really, really fun. I would need a little small game to play after the supermarket tonight. So it would be nice to take a look. How are we to enforce that? Shame me. Shame me. It's 9 p.m. It's 9 p.m. right now. AJ, don't even sweat it. I'll be back to my regular schedule this week because tomorrow... Okay, I can't really talk about it just in case but I'm getting interviewed for a website tomorrow at 2 p.m. and it has been months in the planning because that person was busy for the interview and then I got busy with the trip so I cannot be late tomorrow for the interview and then I think Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern I have Hell Divers with Bricky, Heavenly and Haruka I cannot be late for that right so we're no matter how I feel no matter how life is also, this week, I have to stream every day because I'm taking Sunday and Saturday off to go to a concert in another city. I'm going to a Sonic, um, like, orchestra concert. <laughs> so I have to take the weekend off, meaning I gotta stream, I gotta, I gotta hang out. I wish it was auto. I wish, what about the signing? I am going to do two signing streams, most likely, like, Thursday night and maybe, yeah, I think maybe Thursday night. I don't know about Friday night. Oh. But my my goal, April, by by the end of April, I am done with Vampire of the Masquerade. I am done with the Canicus. I am done with signing. Listen, everybody. I all these all these fun, exciting games are gonna have to take take a breather. They're gonna have to take a breather. I need to finish certain things. I need to start other things. This is it. We have to. We have to get serious, or some things are never gonna get done, my loves. Ever, ever, ever. Good evening, Commander. Okay. Let me let me take just one minute to get my water. Let me take one minute to get my kombucha. And then uh, we're kind of ready to start. We only have a few hours left in the supermarket wars. Hey, they're not boring games. You shut your mouth. They're very entertaining games that I want to finish. It would be shameful if Lecherous finishes Mechanicus before me and they just bought it tonight. It would be shameful i would feel deep deep regretful shame be right back oh i'm gonna also run ads so that we don't have ads for an hour one second oh be right back
Hello. It's me. I'm here. Hi, everybody. Oh, my jaw just cracked. Did you just hear that? Did you hear my jaw cracking into the microphone? Oh, that was spooky. Hi, everybody. Hello. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for tuning in. Ooh -hoo. Ooh -hoo. How is everybody doing tonight, huh? Having a good night, having a good day, having a good morning. Also, if it looks like I'm leaning forward, I broke somehow. Okay. Somehow I broke my iPhone stand. So my phone is always like leaning in, but I swear to God, I'm not leaning in like that. I'm not keeping my back crooked. My back is nice. But anytime I'm kind of straight in my chair, it looks like I'm leaning forward. But then when I lean back in my chair, it looks like I, I look like I have a shrimp posture. I look like I have a shrimp posture. What is going on? Hi, Niwa. Hi, Zero. Hi, everybody. The Momo life. Oh my goodness. What is this emo? Is that just Momo on the beach? <laughs> is that Momo on the beach waiting for me? Oh, I love it. All together with their butts. You got this, Pills. You got this. What are you doing for your cardio? Are you running? Are you walking? I actually need to start running again. I haven't been running a lot. And uh, you know, luckily with running, you get back into it very quickly. I'm not worried, but I have a two and a half hour, you know, half marathon finish time that I want to do. So I got to hurry up. I got to get there. Dost thou even hoist? A little bit. I'm sorry, RT. I promise this coming week I'll be back to my regular schedule, my regular stuff. Starting three hours late is no bueno. Is no bueno. It's a long half marathon. No, so for half marathons, um, I don't want to push myself to a point where it's too much, right? I don't want to... How do I say this? I am aware that I could be going for a two hour or like two something, 215 half marathon. But as long as I'm doing 230 half marathon, I, I feel really confident and happy. And I don't really want to get so competitive with myself. I just want to be at a good enough time because I figure. <sighs> I want to be that person that casually can just do a 10K. But I can. I don't like it. I'm not happy doing a 10K. I want to be in that point in my life where I'm okay going for a 10 kilometer Sunday run and it takes me an hour, right? It can happen. I can do it. I just don't love doing that. <laughs> and I would like to get to that point where it doesn't feel as troublesome doing 10K. So... I've already finished a half marathon a little above three hours. A little above three hours. So I feel, listen, shaving 30 minutes off your time is crazy and it's a lot, but I'll get there. I also feel like for my previous half marathon, I didn't train that much. I trained enough. I'm, I'm a pretty physically fit individual. Um, even though I'm sitting at my computer a lot, I go to the gym, I work out, I, I walk a lot. Well, when I leave the house, I haven't walked a lot now so my first ever half marathon i went a little over three hours despite you know having not really trained that hard so yeah i'm rotting in my chair you and i both for the last week thank you by the way for the hype train everybody thank you so much for the gifted thank you so much for the tier threes and everything i appreciate it i don't think i'm the fittest in vishojo according to zen stories i think it might be zen plus zen does a lot of standing streams Zen does a lot of standing streams, which is something I haven't been doing lately at all. So I think Zen might be the fittest. Half marathons are nothing to scoff at. I think so too. And I have a friend that keeps trying to push me to do a full marathon with him, but I don't want to. I, I did enough research about full marathons and, and, you know, your toes can fall off and your feet get ruined. I, I don't want my toes to fall off. I like having nice little cute feet, you know? So, or maybe it's Hime. I'll tell you this about Hime. The other day, Hime said when we were all playing Helldivers. So, by the way, for those of you that don't know, I played Helldivers for like eight hours yesterday. And it was all off stream. 
I um, I played with Henya and Mouse. I think Zen left the moment, moment I got on. And then we played with Haruka. And then Henya left. And then Mouse invited Thor or Pirate Software. And then Mouse left. And then we invited Premiere 2. So it was a lot of fun. But I basically was just... I played games until about 5 in the morning. And then I couldn't fall asleep until 10 in the morning. It's my bad. It's my bad. I logged in for just a few hours of democracy. Hi, Barry. How are you today, darling? Are you having a good time? Why were you playing Minecraft the other day? Congrats on voice revealing to Thor. Thank you. I'm... I'm, I'm so... um. How, how do I say this? I've been watching a lot of Thor's stuff. Mouse invited Thor. And, you know, obviously their shorts popped up on my algorithm and everything. And then I've been watching them. And when I was at Onigiri's house, she had a collab with him. And I was like, oh my God, hi. <laughs> I watch your stuff. <laughs> but obviously, like he just saw like pajama pants and a shirt, right? He didn't see me or he didn't, you know, see Matara. And uh, so yesterday I was like, do you, do you remember do you remember when you had a collaboration with Onigiri? There was a pajama person that said hi to you. I was that pajama person saying hi to you. <laughs> I was I was like, that was me. I said hi to you. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was me. And, you know, he was polite. He's like, of course I remember. I don't know if he meant it or not, but um, I did eat his cheese bread. I did eat his cheese bread. That's the thing. I did eat his cheese bread. If you guys don't remember, he was cooking cheese bread with um, Onigiri. And then <laughs> at 3 a.m., Oni Bro woke me up. So that night, I was at karaoke with with um, Vishojo managers. And I think I came back at like 1 a.m. I was exhausted jet lag hit me i was exhausted i was emotionally just out of it it was a very emotional day very emotional week and um and uh, i just came back you know said hello to everybody then went to bed then at 3 a.m like oni bro knocks on my door he brings me this kind of stew and the cheese bread but i'm exhausted so i eat a little bit i'm like mm, it's good and then i just passed out and then in the morning the stew was like congealed <laughs> it was a good time you had to wait for the train after that. No, it's a different karaoke, Betty. The the kara the the karaoke we're talking about, I came back at like one. The karaoke that you were at, I came back at like six in the morning. It was great. I think we Ubered back. Uh we took a taxi back, me onigiri and Oni Bro at like we, we were back at six something. No, 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 no. The, this first karaoke was just me with one of the managers and then another manager came. If you guys remember, it was the night that I had the puffer fish. Who else did I meet while with Giri? May I recommend, X-Man, that you take a look at my VOD channel because there is a whole VOD there called My First Trip Back From Japan where I talk about my whole Japan trip. I show photos. I talk about who I met. I talk about what I did. I talk about all of it. I think it would be fun if I told you now, but the problem is we got to have a supermarket, right? We got to run a supermarket. We got to get some stuff done. We got to get some stuff done. We got to run a supermarket. And unfortunately, um, this is not, uh, you know, this is not uh, the time or the place. When is the next Japan trip? Um, maybe in June. I have to confirm uh, I might be on a trip to California at the beginning of June and then maybe I'll just fly directly from California to Japan for the anime event for the anime uh, collab I want to do a meet and greet and I want to sign some stuff and all that kind of stuff Am I a June bug? I am a space cockroach. Danielle, thank you for the six months, darling. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The Momo Mart must grow. Now, look, I got to be honest with you. I did not. I played a little bit off stream, but at the beginning, my 
game would lag a lot. So I have a confession. I leveled up a bit off stream. I did not level up so much because my game would lag every time I would go into my storage room. Because even though I closed all the boxes, what would happen is the stalkers would go and they would stock the shelves and then they would put back these like half stocked shelves into the stock room and then it would lag. So I didn't, I, I, I didn't play that much. I think I'm only level 44. So realistically, Zen might win. We have about two more hours. So let's have fun with it. Let's see what we can do. And if Zen wins, well, freak it. Zen wins. What am I going to say? You know, she deserves this. She deserves it. She she can do she can do what she can do. She deserves it. It's fine. She, if she wins now, she won fair and square. Zen is 43. Well, then I better STF you and open up my store. I better STF you and open up my store. All right, everybody. After the store, as soon as I open the store, we can kind of decide if we want to keep playing or if we would want to. Um, let me take. Let me take the antenna off. Let me let me put you on my head. I like I like when you're guiding me. My little Momo brain cell. I like when you're when you're guiding me. You want to spin on my head? Or do you want to sit on my head? If the spin is too distracting, I can just have you sit. Yeah! Spin! Momo spin. All right. Let's see. Okay. Let's, let's, get, let's get playing just because we don't have that much time left. After this, after the tournament is done, we can decide if we want to keep playing the game or I downloaded a few games for us to potentially try. Von Clausen, don't let John A. Warhammer hear you. And thank you, Rogue, for the six months. There's nothing about here, Japan trip. Can somebody please... Wait, I'll link it to you. You're requiring a lot of my personal attention today, love. Don't make this a continual thing. If I find the VOD for you... And it is the correct VOD. If I find the VOD for you, the exact correct VOD, and it's the exact correct VOD. If I find the exact correct VOD right now for you that I told you about. Hmm? If I find the exact correct VOD that I said was going to be named, my first stream after the Japan trip 11 days ago, my first stream back, I found it. This is like when you open the fridge and suddenly the food's in the fridge that wasn't there before, huh? It was in the fridge the whole time. The VOD was in the fridge, my love. The VOD was in the fridge this whole time. <laughs> you gotta use your eyes. I'm sorry. I had I had to I had to role play a little bit. I'm sorry, darling. All right, let's take a look at my supermarket, shall we? I played a little bit off stream. I didn't play that much off stream, to be honest. I just bought stalkers. And uh, I grew my store a little bit for the products. But I didn't do that much. Oh, I'm only level 43. Uh-oh. So maybe I should play a little bit more. Maybe I should play a little bit more. So I'm only level 43. Um, so I expanded, as you can see, all my potatoes. I put my sushi here. I got this, like, new flour, new chips, new chips, beer... Um, yeah, I'm kind of struggling a little bit with keeping things stocked up. I'm not going to lie. I feel that people are buying a lot of stuff and I'm having, having trouble keeping things stocked. Genuinely, I'm, I'm having a little bit of trouble. So right now, certain things went on sale. Let's take a look. Okay. Pipit is less expensive and Sushi Small is less expensive. And hummus is more expensive. So sushi small and hummus. Sushi. Oh, I have to buy chicken. Sushi small and hummus. Sushi small hummus and pipit. Sushi small hummus. Five fifteen. Uh, pipit is cheaper. 
four twenty five. Sushi small. Is this my sushi small? That's my sushi big. Twenty one twenty five. Perfect. All right. Uh, should I recheck all my prices? I think I will. Because they said six items were found to be expensive. Which six items were found to be expensive? I guess I'm going to open the store and then I'll check. Yeah, my store does not have small, small store vibes anymore. It is now a gigantic conglomerate, right? We are on the way to automation and optimization. I'm just checking really quickly. And I'm always running out of shelf space. You'll see I am constantly running out of shelf space. Are they the same price? Ooh, spooky. I guess sometimes people will always find items expensive no matter what. You bought the game and you're having fun with it. That's what I like to hear. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. That's the item that was expensive most likely. I think everybody just went to that item and it was too expensive. 545 1895 220 375 250 Okay, good, good, good. Now that we found the one item, I think I think that was honestly the only item that was really that expensive. Okay, I'm happy. I f Ooh, I had a few pretty expensive items. My experience, my experience, my goodness, I really should be out here changing my prices, you guys. I think I was just so busy running my store that I forgot. You're addicted and your supermarket is that high of a level? Oh my goodness. How did you get there so, so fast? What did you do? What strategy are you using? I have to say, did you all notice how Zen pretty much adopted my strategy right after? Did you guys see that? Did you notice how quickly Zen adopted my strategy in the video game? Who's the superior gamer, huh? I think I just kind of got lucky that we're playing for level. And the way that I'm playing just kind of allows you to hit a high level. <laughs> I just kind of got lucky, I think. Right? Lucky me. Yep, yep, yep. Zen spies. Zen is always spying. Zen's people are always spying on us. But you know that means we're doing a great job, right? If Zen's people are spying on us, it's because we're doing something right. Yeah, Zen sure as heck changed her store real quick right after, huh? She sure changed things up, huh? Yeah, so I think here I had made a little bit of a mistake where I put like too many, too many sushi boxes on one place, but it's fine. Let me put, let me put this box over here. So as you can see, all my shelves are starting to be very busy. I don't remember what's on any shelves. I just know I got a lot of stuff. Uh, I genuinely like at this point, it's a struggle. It's a struggle knowing what we have, where it is, how much of it we have. Like, forget it. I have no idea what we have. In how many quantities and where. So at this point, we're just doing our best. Thank you for the six months. Thank you so much. This point, I'm just trying to keep my shelves stocked. Just trying to make sure that uh, we can beat Zen even a little bit. Um, okay, so we need red coffee. We need white rice. Red coffee. And I would really like to add more of that on the shelf. White rice, red coffee. White rice, red coffee, yellow sugar, uh, green cleaner. White rice, red coffee, rice, coffee, sugar, cleaner. Uh, shampoo? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Hockey goalie Chris, thank you so, so much, my darling. Thank you for the five months. Always appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The only problem I have with the back of my store is that I have no idea where everything is. 
I have no idea where everything is. I just kind of close my eyes and hope for the best. I just I just kind of hope that I have enough room for stuff and that my stuff is is fine. They did add tags, but the problem is I just have so much stuff, right? Like even though they add tags, right? I just have so much stuff. And then certain items, you can only fit a few of them on the shelf. So certain items, for example, you can only fit um like look, this is 127 beers, right? But then this right here is just six of the Whatever that is, the, the the stuff. I need mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Shrike, thank you so much for the prime. Oh, and I need real potatoes, actually. Right? Not that many, but a little bit. Perfect. And then my little mashed potatoes. Remember at one point when my store had less mess in it? Do y'all remember? Those were good times. I need meat and I need the other thing. You thought the pepper grinder was a chess piece? It kind of looks a little bit like a chess piece, huh? It looks like the horse. No, it doesn't. I'm just talking. I'm just talking my little, my little shit. I still like to manually fill up some of the items. Just because I like kind of getting rid of everything and then kind of seeing where I'm at. Just because these guys take forever to fill. My store looks amazing, right? And I could still have more space. I could still get more items and have more space as well. Is this the small? Oh, that's the big sushi. Perfect. So with the big sushi, I had like made an accident that I... Okay, how much big sushi do I want? I want... Do I want this many? I just feel like I got too much stuff in this shelf, right? Like, I, I don't need this many stuff. Especially as I'm going to expand, but we'll see. We'll see how things go. Oh, red coffee. I almost forgot about it. And my rice. What is the store called? We actually don't have a, a, a name in the game. You can't change it. But uh, we've decided to call it Momo Mart. Because with the power of Momos is how we can we can beat Zen. You know what the geckos don't have? Beautiful, beautiful Momo butts. That is the one thing the geckos don't have. That is the one thing we have on them. Well, we have more than one thing on them. But uh, a beautiful butt. A beautiful Momo butt. The Momo Mart. And the heart of the cards. Well, let's just be honest about the fact that Yugi was a cheat, right? Like, you're telling me, I, when I when I was a lot younger and I watched Yu-Gi-Oh!, I thought genuinely that the Pharaoh was this, like, really smart guy. First of all, the Pharaoh was kind of cruel, okay? The Pharaoh, like, some of the punishments he had on people and things like that were just kind of cruel. Secondly, he just cheated. He just used magic to win, you know, and get ahead. Pharaoh was, A, not a good guy, and B, a cheat, and yeah, I know technically everybody in that game cheated, but I thought the Pharaoh was this like paragon of goodness. And he wasn't. He wasn't even a paragon of goodness. He was just a guy. It's just a box. He's just a guy, you know? So that was a little bit surprising for me. Oh my God, these, the fact that they stock my shelves, God bless them. My life has improved drastically since this update. The heart of the cards isn't cheating. Mm, sounds like something a cheater would say. Huh? Sounds like something a cheater would say. I don't know. Do y'all think the heart of the cards was cheating? Let's talk about it. You know what argument you could say? You could say everybody cheated and he just did what he had to do. You could always use that argument where everybody was cheating and he just, you know, he just had to do what he had to do. He just had to do what he had to do. Again, I don't know where everything is. I'm just stacking boxes. See, like, I accidentally put a salt there, but there's salt here. There's bread here. There's beer there. There's more salt there. I bought these guys on sale, as you can probably tell. 
um, water, more water, boom, you know, different types of water, toilet paper, these boxes right there, just, there's boxes everywhere. So at some point, I just decided, you know what, there's going to be boxes everywhere. I'm just going to keep stocking boxes everywhere. I'm just not going to mind where boxes go and just hope for the best. I do want to add more bread here. I want to have bread on like four. All right. How does my supermarket look? Hi, everybody. Do I have your stamp of approval? Uh, cereal is cheap and rice basmati is cheap. Is that the rice I just bought? No. So rice basmati, let's get 10. And then what was the other thing that was cheap? Cereal. The problem with cereal is stacking 10 is really hard of the cereal. So I kind of have to stop buying so many things on sale when they're not in very small boxes. Because if they're not in very small boxes, it gets extremely tedious, like, stacking all of them. It gets extremely, extremely tedious stacking all of them. So, oh, oopsies. So, yeah. Maybe we can buy more rice because the rice is very small and we can actually maybe stack the rice as 10. What else do I want to buy? I want to buy the big fest stuff and then, do I have the peanut butter still? Okay, I do have peanut butter. Perfect. So the fest stuff, the beer. Um, and I also need the green beer. And then I need the meat, I think. I'll buy one of these flowers because I always forget to buy it. Do I have pizzas and ice cream? Let's get pizzas and ice cream just in case. Let's get crap stick just in case. Because luckily the crap stick and stuff like that, like they, they take a while to to run out. Uh, let's get a steak. Uh-oh. <gasps> I don't have enough money. Let's get a steak. Let's get a scallop. Let's get another steak, another scallop. Two moussakas. Perfect. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for the six months, darling. I really appreciate it. Let's keep playing. We gotta beat Zen. We gotta beat Zen, and for that, we gotta keep playing, my loves. Let's let's keep gaming. Let's keep playing. Let's keep doing, okay? For the next little bit, I will be gaming. Yeah, it's really hard to stack the cereal boxes. I think you can only stack, like, four. So I don't really super love that for us. Um... I don't really super love that for us, but, you know, we do what we got to do. Thank you for the six months, uh, Harmon, and thank you, Nisno, for the four months, my loves. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome, everybody. Where'd all the money go? Don't ask questions you don't want answers to. If you would like the real answer, uh, it's really expensive restocking items. Certain items, like the meats, in order to restock them, it ends up costing you like 300 or 400 So the money goes quickly. Where's the money, Matar? Oh, see? I always forget I have a ton of stuff. And then I buy more. Where's my money? Look at the back of my store. That's where all the money is. This is where all the money is, my love. All the money is in the back of the store. Freaking stacked. This is where all the money is. So yeah, at some point, I just like put a box in and hope for the best. This is really what I've been doing. This is also why, to be completely honest with everybody, I didn't really feel like streaming this game to you. Because I feel like this is kind of boring to watch, no? It's just me stacking boxes at rapid speeds. Maybe if I was stacking the boxes, uh, what is the word, um, all beautifully? You know, like, oh, let me slowly stack these boxes. This is so peaceful. Uh-uh. It is not peaceful. I'm zooming. I'm like, there is, I have not known a moment of peace since I've started playing this game. As long as my, my yapping is entertaining, then I guess we're all good, huh? I just feel this is not, not very, not very cool, calm, and collected. All right, where's my cheese? My cheese. My cheese. My cheese. Yeah, this is, this is just 
has this has been my whole gameplay. <laughs> stalking things and making sure there's always enough things you enjoy watching this stream thank you my love that makes me really happy i guess i guess it's nice that you oh am i doing rage baiting i just realized so okay hear out my argument hear me out hear me out hear me out i am Stacking boxes from the outside to the inside, correct? So you are eventually hoping that there are less and less boxes, right? But then the moment there's a few less boxes outside, I go ahead and I order a million boxes. Thus, you never fully get that release of less boxes. It just keeps kind of piling up and piling up and piling up and piling up. Thus... Am I rage baiting? Coffee? Sushi potatoes. I feel like I already had large sushi. It's all outside, huh? It's because I haven't put it in. Oh, oopsies. <laughs> Yeah, I still have one. Fine. I'll put it there. Thank you so much, my love, for the... The box pile is my Yoshi. We are slowly... We are slowly tackling the box pile. Slowly but surely, the box pile shrinks. A lot of boxes. No, no, no. With every passing day, the box pile shrinks. It has been getting smaller, has it not? It has been. It really truly has been getting smaller. It it truly truly has been shrinking as we speak. No? I think I think the box pile is shrinking at alarming rates. Okay, flour and milk cartons and expensive tea flour milk cartons expensive tea i guess i'll buy all the flowers while i can and then spaghetti how's the spaghetti doing okay almost and my chickens my chickens are running out where are my chickens where are my chicken oh is that a chicken is that a chicken? It is a chicken. Perfect. I feel like at some point for the chickens, I just had like a... Basically like the closest shelf in the back was my chicken shelf. Like I just had a gigantic shelf here stacked with chickens at some point. Like look at that. There's only five in there. Like, how are you guys stacking these, right? All that empty space, and there's only five freaking cereals there. Mommy, wait. You're not my mommy. Wanna be it. No, I'm okay. Thank you. Thank you for offering, though. <laughs> Tag, you're it. You're my mommy now. Tag, mommy. Please, mommy, you're my mommy now. No take backs. <laughs> it's the way you brought it up, you know? It's the way you brought it up. Don't make it weird, baby. Don't make it weird. <laughs> Tag, I'm your responsibility now. You must take care of me. Are you kidding me? I just bought tea when I had so much tea in stock. This is where all my money is lost to, by the way. I had so much tea. And I don't mean gossip. I mean, like, delicious, nutritious tea. But it was just all in storage. Maybe I should be refilling some of these. Who could have seen that coming? Not me. Not Hermione. You. 
Where were we? Team? Whoop. So much in the back room, all our money in the sidewalk. But you know as it keeps selling, right? The profits are gonna are gonna profiteer. You you are aware that eventually the profits are ours, right? Like that's how it works. Eventually the profits are ours. Eventually, we just have to keep selling our merchandise. Is tea nutritious? I don't know about nutritious, but I know about delicious. Sorry, that sounded a little bit better in my head. Came out okay. Oh my God, why is my tea there? What are you guys doing? Okay, so I'm running a little bit out of one of the... There's more tea there, guys. What are you doing? My tea's there. Sometimes I think they just throw things on the shelves with without care in the world where those things truly belong. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's like they don't care about things being in the store in the way they're supposed to be. Sometimes I think they just throw things and hope for the best. All right, I'm going to refill the honey and the peanut butter because these guys take a while. Nice. The storage room reminds me of your old job. Why? Because it's so clean and like nicely organized and neat. Is that why? Are you just absolutely in awe of my organizational skills? Thank you. I get that a lot, actually. I hear that quite a bit. Thank you. <laughs> everybody says, everybody says my, my, my store is the best store. Everybody says they can always find what they need at my store. Everybody's always saying how my store is the best store in the Citadel. And no other store compares to my store in the Citadel or in other places. Everybody always says how my store is the best store. All the time. The best, the best, the only store in the Citadel. I am a Tarakon, and this is my favorite place to shop in the Citadel. That's a massive copium. I want some. I, I think I've talked about it a little bit before, but in order to do any kind of um, creative type of job, you have to be a little bit delusional. You have to not let common sense sink in too much, right? Because at some point you have to think, oh yeah, oh yeah, you know what I need to do? Write my book. You know what people really need to do? Read my writing. Because clearly there's not enough books written. I need to also write some books. That would be nice. So you have to have a little bit of that sweet delusion. What's the best time to go to bed if you want to wake up at 6 a.m.? Um, I will give you an advice, okay, that maybe, maybe your teachers should have given you, your parents. I'm going to recommend you something crazy, okay? Get ready for it. That question you just asked me, it is a great question. It is a fantastic question. It is, it is, it is a wonderful question. I think you should write that same question in the Google. I'm telling you, it's crazy. I know. I know it's crazy. I know it's silly. I know it's crazy. I know it's 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 scary. But I'm telling you. If you write that in the Google, it will tell you what you are searching for. It'll give you what you want. It'll give you the answer. It'll tell you it all. It'll explain things in a way that I just cannot. I really recommend it. You got this, my love. I know it's scary. I know it's scary, but you got to do it. I believe in you. If there's anybody that can do it, it's you. All right, so... Brown sugar. What was the other thing? 
Brown sugar and chips. I know when you look on the internet and you see a big pink Tyranid-esque woman, you think to yourself, she must know everything. You know? I get it. I, I... When you look at me, you think, wow, she must be so intelligent, so beautiful, so humble. But believe it or not, I actually don't have all the answers all the time. I don't know all the things all the time. Sometimes I don't even know what I don't know. That's the crazy part. Can you believe that? Sometimes I don't even know what I don't know. But you will not be disappointed if you learn how to do your own research. If you learn how to think for yourself. And most importantly, if you learn how to use the Google. If I typed a question in Google and it said, ask Matara Khan, she'll know. Then I will sue the Google. I will sue the Google for positive defamation. But Matara, that's not a real thing. I will invent it. I will say Google has caused me emotional distress. Google has brought an up, up, uptick in, in positive, in people asking me questions. And it has given me emotional distress and it has made me unhappy. I will sue Google and I will say the internet has made me unhappy. I think I got more of that pasta, but we're going to find out. Doing your own research is dangerous these days. How come? But Roach Mom knows everything. See, I'm not like other parents, right? Where other parents will be like, you have to listen to me because I know everything. I'm like, don't listen to me. I don't know a single thing. <laughs> don't listen to me. I know nothing. Please, don't listen to me. I don't know a single thing. I don't know anything. At all. Damn it. Gotta keep that there. Gotta keep it separated. I don't know anything. Don't look at me. I don't know anything. Leave me alone. All right. So I think my next thing should be an upgrade of the of the back room because right now we got we got no room for anything in the back rooms Matara please fact check fact checked me oh yeah please please double check factually everything that I'm saying but also please don't take the things I'm saying at face value because I'm just telling you my stories from my very limited lived experience on earth as an alien. I don't know anything. I know less than that than that man on the Game of Thrones. The snowman. Ooh, where? That actually sounds like a pretty cool assignment. It's cool that your teacher is already getting you to like fact check things on the internet. Um because it's, I mean, at, at some point, I feel like, I hate to say it, but I think as we get older, we're going to fall for more and more stuff. I'm already having a hard time differentiating AI art. Um, a lot. Like, sometimes I think, oh, there's a style of AI art, but then it's, I'm already, I, I think I told the story a little bit about my trip in Thailand where... I talked about an art that was in a shopping mall and Kami said, oh, Mata, that's AI art. And I couldn't tell at all. I'm just, I'm just preparing myself for when I inevitably, you know, hear an AI cover and think, oh my goodness, what great singing. But it's me with like, <laughs> imagine somebody shows me an AI cover of me singing and I fall for it and I'm like, wow, I've really improved as a singer. I am just such a good singer, but it's AI art of me. <laughs> Where did I just put those fries, damn it? Where did I? There they are. 
Like, you know what's going to happen. You know I'll get caught. I'm I'm so gullible and close to getting caught. All these boxes on the street. Shh. Hey. Hey. Don't worry about it. Hey. Shh. Hey. See, this is why I, I don't like buying this big stuff. You can only put freaking four on a shelf. But the small stuff? How did my St. Patrick's weekend go? Well, yesterday I woke up at 10 p.m. And I played Helldivers until 6 a.m. And uh, today I woke up at about 7 p.m. And now I'm streaming. So my St. Patrick's Day went great. I had a good time. What about you? You can get people to stock shelves. New update that has drastically improved my life. You know what my flesh mother asked me today? She asked me, when was the last time I went outside? And I said, when I went to Thailand. <laughs> but this is bad. I really do need to fix this. I need to go outside. I need to get back to the gym. I need to, I need to go. I, I cannot live my life this way. Where was the pepper? Aha! I cannot live my life this way. It is not all right. And I'm not okay. I have to get back to the gym. I think this is also why I've been having so much trouble with my sleep. It's because I'm not, not working out. He had corned beef and cabbage and a beer. Yummy! I also don't know how the weather was. Usually, um, there's always like those St. Patrick's Day parades. I have to be honest with you. I haven't been one into one in years. And since I'm not drinking, you know, what's what's the point? If I go to a St. Patrick's Day parade, even if I was awake at the correct time, I wouldn't want to go because it would just make me want to drink, right? Why would I put myself in drinking situations when I'm trying not to drink and I'm trying to work out a little more? And now I'm only doing one of the two, not drinking. What's my workout schedule like? Um, what do you mean? Like, do, like legs, arms, that kind of like division? I'm not super consistent, so I just try to take turns doing, like, different muscle groups. But then there's, there's a few days sometimes where I only do legs <laughs> and um, abs. So I do legs and abs more than any other thing. And uh, running. I also stretch a lot at the gym. That's something that I started doing now that I'm older is I stretch a lot. I will sometimes take, like, active stretching and love it. Yeah, the split. I don't... I gotta be honest with you. I know this is not good. And I know that I will not have significant improvements until I have, like, a proper, you know, split. But I just, you know... If I go every day in a week, then I just don't... I just let, let muscle groups rest. If I go four times, then I'll probably just do legs twice and then other things other times. That's about it. It's it's very. I'm very cool about it, you know. You'd rather walk for two minutes than run for five hours. Oh, I love walking. You know the thing with running. I, I'm so sorry. I have to say this to you because I was shocked when I found out. The more you run, the easier it gets. And. At some point, I really like this idea of, you know, you have to get 10,000 steps a day. Da -da 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 -da. If you walk 10,000 steps a day, it's an hour and a half. If you run it, it's like 30 minutes. And now you're kind of in this like little min-max kind of, you know, mentality where you're thinking, oh, okay, hold on. You're telling me I can get this thing done in 30 minutes? That takes me an hour and a half? Easy. And then you can get 15K steps done, right? And just so suddenly you're in this like, ooh. And again, I absolutely hate to admit this to you. I wish it wasn't true. I hate that it is true. The more you do something, the easier it gets. I hate it. I hate, I hate that. 
It's like when people ask me, how did I improve at singing? I'm like, I hate to say it, but I sang. And when people used to tell me how they improved at singing was just singing, I was like, okay, but can you tell me something else? Like, did you magically just was born with a good voice? Did you just magically like do something? No, no. It's just practice. It it really is that. Um, I, I hate it. I'm so sorry. I know it's 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 upsetting to hear. I know it's not fun to hear. I know it's not cool. It it, it I know. Believe me, I am the number one hater. I'm the number one like Believe me, I'm I'm the first one to cry wolf. Scallops are cheaper. Coffee light roast cheese. Okay, coffee light roast. Cheese. It was this cheese. No, it was this cheese. No, it was which cheese was it? This cheese? Yes. Um, do you guys remember what else it was? <laughs> Cereal honeybee. Oh, hi, geckos. Hi, Zen. Hello, my love. Zen, I ended up playing Helldivers till six in the morning yesterday. That is what you started, Zen. Hi, Zen. Hi, Geckos. I'm trying to catch up to you a little bit because I haven't been playing too much. Hi, everybody. Welcome for the raid. Welcome, for welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for raiding, Zen. Thank you so much for raiding, Geckos. How are you? I love you so much. It's the gratin, right? Scallop gratin. Let's get like eight because they stack pretty good and I'm never going to use all of them. Zen, I love you. I love this game. Thank you so much for, for organizing this like big thing. You are just, I have to say Zen, I know, I know I like to like troll you and all that stuff and you love to troll me, but seriously, the fact that you made this into like a little competitive thing has just kept me so engaged and has kept me so in this game and I'm really, really enjoying it. So thank you so much. I love you so, so, so much. You are lovely. You are beautiful. And I uh, hope you have a good week. I hope we get to do some nice stuff this week together. Oh, actually, wait. No, not this week. But soon. Soon I'll poke you for some collabs and stuff like that. I love you so much. When when does the when does it end? In an hour or in two hours, by the way? Thank you, Zen. I love you. Oh, let me see if I can get more products. Five, six hundred. All right, we're going to get a loan from the bank. And then we're going to. Is is Zen currently playing as well? Are we having a little. Are we having a little girl scuffle? Are we having a little girl time? Let's see what we just have unlocked first and foremost. It ends Monday night. Oh, it ends Monday night. Oh, Zen, you go have fun with Patreon. Thank you so much again for the for the raid. I love you so much, Zen. Welcome, geckos. Welcome, my loves. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Atara Khan of Ishojo. We are going to run this store for a few hours tonight. Um, do you guys remember if the competition ends tonight or if it ends tomorrow? I thought the competition ended tonight. Welcome, geckos. How are you tonight, my loves? It's a gift sub. Thank you, Leche, for the gifted. Yeah, Zen Zen absolutely kicks it on Patreon. Zen is such a hard worker. And something that you guys might not know behind the scene is usually if I am kind of hanging out in the... Oh, so it's all on the shelf, huh? Like the elves on the shelves. Okay. Since it's all on the shelf... Something that you might not know about Zen is that behind the scenes, um, anytime I'm in Discord or anytime anybody else is in Discord, Zen usually stops by. 
history. I think we can build a fox, a uh, fox, a uh, box fort, fox fort. Hold on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Zen is usually the person that uh, makes time. So Zen is very, very good at making time for others. And she, despite the fact that she's always making time for Patreon, she streams, she takes care of her dogs, she runs in the mornings. She'll make time. Oh, fudge me. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Sorry for that. Zen is a machine. A gecko spoiling machine. A gecko loving machine. Yeah, welcome geckos. You are here witnessing the superior store. I know. I know it's hard to admit that uh, the Momo Mart is superior. I know it's tough. But uh, here we are. We are in this together. You and I. You and I, dear, dear geckos. We are gathered here today to admit Okay, I only need a little bit more space. I also can, like, put something there. Can I not? No. I remember there was a space here that I could use. Yes. We are gathered here today to admit that uh, the Momo Mart indeed is the superior corporation. And that is all right. And that is okay. 725, 715, let's put it. And then I also needed to buy bread and what was it? Bread and bread. Bread and sugar. Okay. Uh, let me put the bread back here so you guys can stop slacking off. Little slackers. Look at them just hanging out, not doing anything. Jeez. All right. I would need a lot of toilet paper. Unfortunately, with these toilet papers, they sell out so quick. I basically need a full shelf of toilet paper. Ugh. All right. Let's. Can I? I don't think I can do. Oh. <gasps> yes. Beautiful. Full shelf of toilet paper. Let's go. For those that don't know, like, as you can see, the toilet paper only stacks up by two. So I want a full shelf of toilet paper. Nice, nice, nice. I'm going to put one on each so they know to stock it. Because with the stalkers, it almost sounds like I'm saying stalkers. Like, they stalk us. Shoulder to shoulder products. It's what we do best. Hold on. Can I grab one of these? Or is it a, ah, it's a different size box. That's okay. Found you watching Thor play Helldivers. I could never play this game due to years of working at Walgreens, but watching you is relaxing. Thank you, darling. I really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. I will be playing more Helldivers this week, actually, if you're curious. I. Okay, so for anybody, Mega Pack, boom. Um, for anybody that missed it, yesterday we were playing, we were playing Helldivers, and um, at one point there was a bug. So Thor and Haru disconnected and it was just me and Premier 2. He was like level 7 cadet and I like I played a little bit but I'm not that good. And I just had Thor and Haruka like spectate us and and oh it was it was so it was such you know sometimes you have these questions and and people ask you something like ooh what's what's the worst experience you've ever had or what has been like 
such a stressful experience in your life? What has been a, a non-fun experience? Having so many people on streams watch me struggle. And it was my first time on that difficulty too. Dish soap durian. Okay. It was my first time on that difficulty. It, it was just not... I. Yeah. If people were, were to ask me like what, what would be one of my worst experience and recent memories that <laughs> that that was absolutely um not a pleasant positive experience in my mind that did not spark joy as the children as the children say it absolutely did not spark joy it sparked um it, it sparked pain it sparked so much pain. Also, ooh, look at this. Hold on. This was like St. Patrick's Day toilet paper. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, we basically glitched where um, Pete threw a grenade and it killed all of us. But for some reason, only I respawned. And then I even tried killing everybody. Like, I killed Pete at one point with me so that maybe not all of us would respawn. But it just respawned me and him. And it was my first time on difficulty. I think it was difficulty six at that point. I... I did not. I. It did not spark joy. That that's it. It's just there. There's no other way to really say it. It did not spark joy. By the way, geckos, are you telling me the truth when you say that it ends tomorrow? The, the stuff. Are you really telling me the truth? Or are you just trying to, like, mislead me into playing this game and, like, getting cocky? I don't think I pretty much won because if it does for real end tomorrow, then that means Zen will play tomorrow all day. So I need to get enough of an advantage that her playing all day tomorrow will not... Where's the soap? Where's the durian soap? I need to get enough of an advantage today so that when she plays tomorrow, I'll stream. Thank you, History. I'm not reading that name out loud. That name is offensive to me. Thank you. <laughs> um, Thank you. I cannot read that out loud. I am offended. And I will be offended. All stream. I will stay offended. All stream. Okay. <laughs> thank you. For nothing. Thanks for nothing. Don't talk to me. I'm offended. Yeah, I'm, I'm not actually offended, everybody. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'm not, I'm not actually, I, I... It's, it's not my strongest joke. It, it's... I've had worse jokes, but I've also had better jokes. This is, this is one of my, one of my, one of my weaker ones. This is, uh... Yeah, not, not not my best, not my best guy, not my best guy. Um, okay, so these are gonna be all the soaps. I guess since the boom only sells in like these small boxes, I'll put the boom as extra and then the soaps at the bottom. All right, we can start the day. Can you all remind me that I have a bank loan and that I owe I owe money to? The government. Can you guys please remind me that I owe money to the government? I don't want to forget. And then... Uh-oh. <laughs> you know? I don't want to forget and have a little whoopsie. Whoopsie poopsie. I have a bank loan. I forgot. Alright, where were we? How was that stream today, by the way? I know she wrote that she was playing a game with Henry. She wrote that she was playing a little game with Henry and uh, did they have fun or did Zen troll, which also means they had fun. My God, I don't have any, I don't have any more room. Guys, I need more room. Is it a new bank loan? Of course. I took a bank loan to grow my business. Okay, we're definitely starting to miss some eggs and stuff too. Thank you, Victor, for the six month already. 
Yesterday was my five months of streaming on Twitch television. Can you believe it? I think I got to plan something for the middle of April for my six month anniversary. I'm very careful not to say anniversary because, you know, <sighs> can't say anniversary. It hasn't been a year. I know. I know. I have a little saying I say very often, and I'm going to say it again just in case there are some maybe new geckos that haven't seen my stream before. Or maybe anybody coming in lurking from my stream with Thor yesterday. Um, it took me 13 years to become an overnight success. So, you know, take that as you will. So, yes, I have been streaming for, oh, that's where the oils were. Took me 13 years to become an overnight success, but here we are. An overnight success. We do a little littering. We do a little littering. Never hurt anybody. A little bit of pollution. You know, if I had oil, I would be dumping it in the ocean. You know, a little bit of a little bit of tomfoolery. Why? Because we do a little bit of polluting. It's fun. What caused your overnight success? Years of hard work. Without getting into details, uh, for anybody that is new, I can't really talk about it too much, but uh, I used to have a job in a place called um, Hollywood. That we can't really talk about because uh, of, of, of things. And then before that, I had many other jobs. And uh, I guess just at some point, the stars aligned. And uh, the stars just kept aligning and they kept aligning and they kept aligning. And while the stars were aligning, I was working very hard and very hard and very hard. And here I am. Unfortunately... I don't think I can fully tell you my own story. You, oh my God, you just have to Google me. You just have to like look me up. Yeah, there's no like not, you know, flexing way to say that. I just, uh, I got very lucky. If you think about it, okay. Imagine the Backstreet Men, okay? Uh, and InSync, you know? Those two, those two groups. Imagine I left the Backstreet Men, and then I joined In Sync. I I guess that's like the closest way that I could kind of say it. I, I guess that would be like the closest kind of way that I could explain. It's true. I I was in the Backstreet Men. It's true. I admit it now. I was a backstreet man. It's me. I was the backstreet man. The one and only. It ain't no lie. Okay, don't call it a singing group. <laughs> it was never meant to be a singing group. It was just a group where people sang. It's different. Don't. Oh my God, my demons are coming back. Oh my God, my demons, they're haunting me. Why would you say it that way? My demons, they haunt me. Thank you. Thank you for that. Jeez. Jeez. How could you say it that way? Oh. Oh. All my, all my demons coming back. With simple little words and phrases. How could it be? You are my fire, my one desire. <laughs> yeah, the biggest the biggest thing I think with with content. I mean, actually Pirate Software talked about that where um he quote unquote he even talked about it yesterday on the stream a little bit where he quote unquote blew up a few years back where his game got played by Jack Septicai and he had so many downloads of his game and uh, you know, the fame came and the fame went because he didn't really have a good system in place to kind of 
funnel people in. And so he started building everything in a way where he said, okay, if it happens again, I will build my Rome so that, you know, all the roads will lead to Rome and then the people will be stuck in Rome forever and they're going to have nowhere to go but Rome. And he did that. And he built it. Thank you, Emma. It is a good storage room, right? I keep everything here. Including the Momo butts. I keep them. Is this your Rome? Sort of, yeah. I guess you could say everything I've ever learned on the internet. I eventually, you know, here I am. The biggest thing was just kind of finding your niche and finding what you like. I think that is that is one of the oh. Anyway, let's talk about something else. Just cause I I feel like I'm a little too distracted to give a proper talk about this. So I'm gonna keep like jumping from topic to topic and it's gonna be a little confusing. So it might be easier if we just talk about something a little bit easier. How is everybody? Did you guys have a good, uh, what is it called? St. Patrick's Day? Anybody celebrate? Anybody Irish? Any Irish lads? Can we play with the boxes? Nope. You may not. These boxes are money. Many, many money. Thank you. Yeah, we've, um, when it comes to the community, I cannot take the full credit. I think a lot of the credit for the community has to also go to the moderators. Um, when I debuted in Vishojo, we were very careful with the Discord. I think that's especially where a lot of the culture of the Momos kind of begins, is in the Discord. And we were very, very mindful of, I'd say at the beginning of the Discord, the rules were very strict. And only now are they loosening up a little bit. Because I wanted to make sure that when I joined Vishojo and, you know. I think a big part of getting a streak of popularity is managing it properly. It's one thing to, like, grow in popularity. Not every single person from you, quote unquote, being popular or blowing up will stay with you. And that's fine. But you got to make sure that. As you get more popular and there's an influx of people, that things are moderated or taken care of well enough that the right people won't leave. Like the right people will think that this is a place that is engaging, fun, you know, has good rules. And then quote unquote, the people who are just kind of here to maybe, you know, like mess things up a bit and troll and all that stuff. Like they'll get... um the rules will sort of kind of kick them out very quickly. Or maybe they just won't fit in. But now that we have a really strong culture, I think even if I were to, let's say, for example, have another blow. Like, let's say a few of my shorts hit algorithm and suddenly everyone's talking about me. I think even if our Discord got a big influx of new people, we have a really good culture already that's been developed where even the moderators won't have as much work to do because a lot of the regulars will say stuff like, oh, hey, we don't do that here. Don't say that. These are the rules. Da, 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 da. But if you kind of just begin anew, you don't have that culture yet. I got weirded out because of the sub axis, but in my first stream, I got one and now it's one of my favorite communities. But do you now understand why I had to make the Discord sub only? First of all, I think when something is not sub only, it just causes a lot of people to come in. And I don't want a lot of people in at the same time. It just makes more work for the mods. It makes more work for me. It just, you know, everybody can just come in and if you ban them, they just make another account and come back. And it does, it does suck that some people might not be able to access the Discord because it's sub only. At the same time, we have so many gifted subs every single week we have such a community that is giving that gives subs to one another that spoils one another so even if you don't have a sub but you chat a lot and you're very positive and entertaining and you hang out with us you will most likely get gifted a sub it's just i i have no worries in no doubts in my minds and no worries i'm gonna 
did I put the salt? I'm already forgetting where I put everything. See, it's hard. I don't know where I put all my stuff. I feel like the salt was, ah, there we go. Am I a goddess? I'm a cockroach. I'm a cockroach. It's a gift sub. Hold on. Thank you, Dementor, for reminding me about the bag clone. I think the Momos make great workers because they have, they are built. They got muscles. They're stacked. They are built. Yeah, it's true, Emma. It can be a little, you know. It can be a little stressful. Kohi, thank you so much for the for the subs. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Kohi. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome, everybody. It's a gift sub. I think as a streamer, you kind of have to figure out where your boundary is and what your boundary is. And it's hard, right? Because uh, it's tough to know where your boundary is and... Sometimes it's tough to know where your boundary is until it gets crossed. And then when it gets crossed, you are maybe in a state of shock or panic or like disbelief. So, you know, maybe then instead of thinking about it very clearly and thinking, oh, well, I should do this. You're kind of like, oh, but my boundary has been crossed. What the heck? That's not a good feeling. I, I don't like this. Instead of being kind of girl boss about it you know it's tough it's scary thank you again kohi i appreciate it oh what do you mean you freed a planet of momos you squished my momos don't squish my momos my momos are innocent squish me okay i have to keep ending my day early and not and not forget to end my day Honeybee cereal, Chokey Peak, Covidos. Okay, so cereal and Chokey Peak. All right, we're going to get 10. These cereal are really hard to place in the stupid. And then what else? It was chips, right? Oh, nice. Okay, we're going to get 10 chips as well. So chips and cereal. Remember about the loan? Thank you. For reminding me, I'm going to go right now. And then chips. All right, we need pasta. We need farine. We need the uh, plastic milk. Eggs. We need the pasta, farine, plastic eggs, javel. Okay. Hold on. I see you. Thank you so much. It's a gift sub. Mama's shopping. Mama's shopping. Give me a minute. J'ai besoin de farine. Uh, it's a gift sub. Jaja. Oh, it's Jaja Vevel. Why do I keep thinking it's Javel? I think that's a French Canadian thing, maybe. What else did I say? It's a gift sub. Javel. Uh, Javel, maybe vodka? Javel, vodka, patate. Oh, and the microplastics milk. Javel, vodka, patate, and the microplastics milk. It's a gift sub. While I add the microplastics milk, I can put the, the bread on the smaller shelf, actually. Patate. Perfect. It's a gift sub. Miam. Des bonnes patates. I love the microplastics milk. Thank you so, so much for the gifted. What the heck? LT Cupcakes, thank you for the 10 gifted, my love. You know what? I too will be generous. I am going to spend the Momo Kane right back on you, my loves. Me, thank you so much for the three months. Yeah, it's microplastics milk because that milk stays on the shelf forever. Am I from Quebec? I don't live there at the moment, but I did. The woman whose body I live inside, she grew up there. So she does have the French Canadian. Mm. 
Roka, the microplastics, let's let's compare the price. Thank you, Matara Khan, my oiler. I appreciate you. Oh, yeah. Okay, so the microplastics milk is... Well, think about it. It's six milks. I can't tell how tall they are. It's $4 for those six milk. How much do you think that is? Like two fifty, five hundred, 500 And this is a liter, maybe? They are more expensive. So you are actually paying more um, for the honor of your milk having microplastics inside it. It's exciting. Okay, I also need Monsieur Net. Right, I think it's called differently in France. What is it called? Oh, it's tout propre. Okay, Monsieur tout propre. All right, let's get a few cans of tout propre and we can start the day. Oh, and I have to pee. Oh. Dryzilla, great name. Thank you so so much for subscribing, my love. I appreciate it. All right, everybody. Remember, just just keep packing. Don't think about anything else. Nothing matters except getting as much ahead as I can of Zen because tomorrow Zen's gonna catch up to me because she's gonna stream this all day and she is indeed gonna catch up to me. It's just Monsieur Propre, uh, but it was called Tout Propre in the in the game. I know a lot of these brands. I actually meant to ask if all of these brands are a parody. Because some of these brands really do look like real French brands. But I also don't live in France. So it's hard for me to know if they're always exactly the same. Or if they're just a little bit off. I am clearing my mind. I am clearing these boxes. By clearing these boxes, I am clearing your mind. France mentioned. <laughs> I actually have to read. I Oh, I saw somebody wrote something. Minerale? Minorale. Why is it written Minorale? Oh, this isn't... This isn't real. This is fake. Yeah, ah, uh, ooh. Which, like, is not a word. Minoral. So, mineral is, like, mineral, like, mineral water. But it says minorale. It's... This is fake! This is fake! I guess at the bottom it's written fidirace, but I can't tell. Oh, my goodness. This is fake. I cannot believe it. You guys can write things in French, but not in Russian? How could you? I feel so bamboozled and deceived. Fake products in our fictional store simulator. Can you believe it? Eau mineral. But that's not oh, that's vodka. Right? I'm pretty sure that's vodka because it came with the same uh, expansion that gave me beers and stuff. Pretty sure that's no water. It's just in Matara Khan stocking shelves with fake water. Don't forget microplastic milk. As well. I got fake water and microplastic milk. Aha. Okay, so I want just one full shelf of microplastic milk. These guys I'm going to take away. And then I'm going to stack it with bread so they don't refill the shelves. Where's my baby bread? Where's my little squished bread? You know something that bothers me about the little bread? I hate that they put it this way. I think they're supposed to put it sideways, no? All right. I gotta pee. I gotta pee. I gotta pee, everybody. But the day's not over. I can't take. I can't take a pee break in this workplace. They won't let me take a pee break. They won't. Let me take a pee break in this in this store. They won't let me. I can't. I can't. I'm gonna struggle forever. I need big eggs. Uh, I'm gonna die. It's your store. 
Profits never sleep. If I pee, somebody out there is making money. I am leaving money on the table by peeing. If I pee, somebody else will get ahead of me. Ooh, that kind of rhymes. Kind of rhymes. While I pee, others get ahead of me. And it's not good. It's not what I want. It does not spark joy. My God. Guys, I have no more room. I don't have any more room. I can't fit all this stuff. Why did I buy so much stuff? I can't fit all of this. I need to start buying smaller boxes. These boxes are too big. They don't fit. Don't fit. We've been asking that question since you opened the store. But have I not been absolutely amazing with the profits? Huh? Have I not been profiteering the whole time? Hmm? Would it? Oh my god. I'm so, I jumped up because I'm not used to this shelf being there. <laughs> I jumped up simply because I'm not used to that shelf being there and I'm used to just stalking things away. Like I'm used to just running over there through that shelf. Okay, everybody. We are going to have to grow the store, aren't we? The store must expand. The store must grow. I can't I can't get through otherwise. You would profit more if you sold the items. I'm trying. Uh, I'm trying to sell the items. I'm trying. Do, do you think I'm not trying to be profitable? You think I think I'm just going to put the ketchups like here. Yeah. Hey, somehow, somehow in my own mess, it makes sense, right? Like you guys, you guys are seeing the light. You guys are seeing the pattern. You know what I'm up to. It's no good, but you know what I'm up to. Just trying to understand the way, the way of organization. Is the street clean? Um, that's an interesting question to ask. Are we ever really clean? Our souls, are they ever truly cleansed? You know? I just think in li life is not so simple. You know? Ever. We, we are never truly purged and cleansed of our sins. So, thus, the store is never truly clean. Peanut butter. Oh, I'm out of peanut butter. I'm going to grab a few peanut butters and just stack them. I hate that they're not on sale, but it's fine. Peanut butter. Chicken is the next big one. Why am I always out of chicken, huh? Thank you, Thunder, and thank you, Taylor. Chicken, toilet paper, pasta. I hate to say it, but this is looking pretty good. Trying to run out of chez. Really? Do I not have any more chez, or are they just slow? Oh, yeah, I'm out of chez. That's not good. My chez. Trying to run out of my... Parmigiano Reggiano. Thank you, Venom, for the prime. I appreciate it. All right, I gotta pee. I gotta pee while they're while they're doing some of the last clients. Okay, give me one moment.
Hello, boss. Sorry, sorry, boss. I had to take. Sorry, boss. I had to. I I know I don't get paid for pee breaks. I I, I I'm sorry. I'm back, boss. That was my little heater. No, please don't deduct. Please don't deduct the time out of my pay. Please, boss. I work so hard. I slave all day. Please, boss. Oh, the Chessy Peas is on sale. We love the good Chessy Peas. All right. So we need a Reggiano Chess, right? We need Parmigiano Chess. I, I want it to go on sale. Okay. For anybody that hasn't watched this from the beginning, at one point I bought like 60 cans of, of this Reggiano Parmigiano Chess. And now... We're almost out of it. Isn't that exciting? At some point, we bought so much Reggiano Parmigiano Chez. And now we're almost out of it. It's exciting to me. That's all I gotta say. Oh, wait, sorry. We just got two of these. It's exciting to me that finally it's being bought. Good for us. All right, so water's more expensive. Water's more expensive. Tuna's more expensive. Lustu is more expensive. Tuna, water, water, lustu, and then ches pizza. Ches pizza is cheaper. Should I buy some chess pizza? The problem is it's hard to store it. It's hard to store this stupid chess pizza. I'll buy I'll buy some. I know I don't have room, but it's it's on a discount. I need I need to have some if it's on a discount, you know? It just we have to, oh. It was the reg no, it was the blue bottle of water. Oh. I guess my prices were already competitive enough. <laughs> what was the last thing? Water? Pasta? Cheaper chess pizza? Oh, tuna. Yeah, that's it. We're done. I need big egg. Big egg and sushi. Egg. Sushi. All right. What's the next... Uh store 5600 5600 ground beef ham ham lasagna chicken leg all right so this is probably going to all go into fridges big egg are we selling ostriches in your store we might as well we might as well huh oh my god there's no room how did zen get such a big store huh How did Zen get such a big enterprise? Hmm? All right, we need to find the peanut butter so these guys can have a job. I'm going to start putting stuff in the back, even though I know I could stack some, just to get these guys working. No help. Tell me. Tell me Zentria's secrets. Tell me all her secrets. Thank you so much for subscribing, you guys. I appreciate it. Paying her loans? Nah. If I just declare bankruptcy, I won't have to pay my loan. It's a little life hack. In in video games. In video games. It's, it's a little life hack in video games. No wasted money on loans. I don't think you guys realize just how little these loans are. I don't think you guys realize just how tiny these loans are. I think you guys are loan shaming me. I think you guys are loan shaming me at the moment. They're trying to make me feel bad for taking loans. I had to take loans to grow. If I didn't take the loans, I wasn't going to grow. I had to do it. I had to do it, Your Honor. You don't understand. It had to be done. Oh, Yeah, this is... um.
I guess I could put the ketchup there. Then put the mustard there and just keep the cleaning products like all here-ish, sort of. Right? It's not looking good. Pay your loan, Mata. No! I'm not gonna pay my loan. What's the worst that's gonna happen, huh? Game over? Hmm? Oh my god, the chickens. We're almost out of chickens. Peanut butter. Ooh, that was a nice rhythmic beep, beep, beep. Aurelian Yeet. Great name. Thank you very, very much. We do have orange juice, but it's back there. Let me bring the orange juice back here so I can see it. Let me put the orange juice where I can smell it. Perfect. We're going to need more orange juice soon. And I don't remember how much zap we have left. That was another exciting part of the game. That I finally have run through all my stores of things I was collecting at the beginning. Peanut butter? That's not peanut butter. Peanut butter? Peanut butter. And I'm almost out of honey. Okay, good, good, good. My peanut butter, peanut butter. Did I not know that the loans came from Zen's bank? Oh, no wonder she got ahead so much. No wonder she was doing so good. She was the bank the whole time. The bank of Zentrea. No wonder. I should have known. You might have just made a mistake in your Stellaris game. Is it a game costing mistake or is it just a little mistaki? I cannot wait for my eventual summer Stellaris learn through. I don't know how to call it. It's not a playthrough because I'll be learning the game. So I guess it's a learn through where you will be helping me play this game for three days straight. I will be learning all the secrets, all the things. I obviously already play 4X games, so there's a lot that I understand. But just like with any new game, there's usually like a different currency or a different thing or a different way. So it'll be exciting. I guess, is it called a long play? What about VTMB? Soon. I do plan to finish those before I begin Metal Gear, so... Mechanicus and uh, Vampire the Masquerade, Bloodlines, and all that. It's just other games are getting in the way. Luckily, um, this is like my final streamer form, you know? You know how all these Pokemon have all these different evolutions and all... Th this, is, this is how I will be until I die on the internet. So I have... I have much time left. I have many years to go. I have many things to do. So if you are worried that, you know, maybe I'm not going at the pace you'd like me to go, it's I'm taking my time with it. Taking my, th my time with it. All right. We really should have more space in the back, huh? Really should be the thing I kind of focus on, unfortunately. Really, really kind of should be. Unfortunately, we gotta, we gotta expand. Cause we, look, look at this space. Look at this. We're almost out of tuna. Oh my god, I remember when we had so much tuna. Good times. Good old days when we had so much tuna. Alright, we have a whole shelf here as well. Maybe that could be my juice shelf. Nah, I like the juice shelf being here. My zap shelf? No, I have a lot of zap still. Fanatical purifiers. I'm guessing that's a religion-based thing. It sounds like a religious thing in the game. Just the way their name is and all that. Is it? You probably have your own religion set up and they're going to come and, you know, quote unquote, purify and that allegedly cost you the game. Fanatic purifier is a Stellaris ideology. Mm -hmm. Go on.
Mata play. That's cute. I don't know how good that will be for the uh, SEO. You know. Listen. Just because I am here to die and I am playing games slowly and, you know, doing my thing with them and taking my time with them doesn't mean I have to completely disregard search engine optimization, right? And unfortunately, as cute as Mata Play sounds, it, it just, you know, it won't get the clicks. It won't get the clicks. We need the clicks. I'm a slave to the clicks. No, but it's nice to be, a, you know, just because I know that I'm doing a lot of things that maybe don't hit the algorithm very strongly. It's nice to do everything in my power to, you know, have a nice thumbnail, have a good title, all that stuff. Because uh, I don't know if there's anybody really looking up somebody playing Stellaris for the first time. <laughs> but if there is, we're in luck. Ban Greed, great name. Thank you so much. And Doctor, thank you as well for the six months. The boxes. Can we all agree that this is some of the cleanest boxes I've had? For all of you hating on my boxes, this is clean. This is organized. This is good. This is nice. This is actually real good, real nice, real clean. Believe it or not. You've learned to love the box life. Me too. Me too. So I always wonder why, like, when I bring up a game, people are always like, oh, you should get all the Vishojo girls on it. It's hard. Unless it's like one of these games that's very easy to pick up and very easy to play. I don't know how much power you think I have. I don't know who you think I am. But whenever people are like, oh, get all the Vishojo girls to play it. Buddy. <laughs> First of all, Try to get all the Vishojo girls to stream. Let's start there. Second of all, this time that fits everybody at the same time? Whoa, pause. You've already lost a few people. Thirdly, come on, come on. You gotta, you, you, you're asking for a lot. Fourthly, what I think is fun, AKA getting backseated by chat, trying to learn Stellaris might drive others insane and I don't blame them under many other different circumcises circumcises <laughs> that was not the Freudian I was out of all the Freudian slips today this was not the one that I was expecting <laughs> uh my apologies for that um Under different circumcises. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh boy. That that one um yikes. That 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 certainly was was uh that certainly was one. That cert that I think that was one of the worst Freudian slips I've ever had. <laughs> Under different circumstances. <laughs> Thank you, Repazit. Oh. Uh. <laughs> wow. I don't know what took over my brain there. Okay, we need candy. We need candy. Wow. I I I don't know what to say. I I I just I it just you know it, it fuck. <laughs> I have no words. So I must speak. Yeah. Anyway, um what were we talking about? I forgot. What were we even talking about, my loves? I don't even know. Yeah, I know we were not talking about circumcision. 
um, Stellaris playthrough before that. Oh, getting Vishojo members to play something. If they want to, they'll play. Is basically my my final my final thing on it. If they wanted to, they would. If they wanted to, they would. You know, under different circumstances. That that was again the worst. I think. My goodness, everything's going up in sale. Everything's going up in price. You guys, what the heck? All right, so chips. It was chips and beer, but I forget which beer. Nice. The beer that I have like 25 boxes of. That's what I like to see. It was chips and beer. It was... Okay, so I'm going to get a few bottles of this beer just to kind of stock it. Chips and beer, and then what else? We need this toilet paper. I'm gonna get some dish soap. I'm gonna get some bletch. Hmm. Where were we? I'm gonna get some veal, some meat. Oh, wasn't the coffee also more expensive? I think that's the other thing that I was missing. Oh, I almost forgot about my loans. Oh, candy. Juice. There, there we go. Coffee, 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 coffee. Coffee and bottled water. Okay, we need pasta. Sugar. Pasta, sugar, big sushi. And then toilet paper, chicken, all that. Pasta, sugar, big sushi. Pasta. Sugar. Sushi. And then we need toilet papers and stuff like that. As usual. And then chicken. And then you, you know the drill. The chickens, the potatoes. I think we're doing good with the boxes. I feel like every time I look, there's less and less boxes. You know? I feel like every time I step into the light, there's less and less boxes for me to see. Wouldn't you all agree? It's getting better and better. Day by day. Look at that. It's getting better and better. No? I think so. I think it's improving. Does this affect the trout population? I don't know. Oh my goodness. Okay, I have to show you guys this because this is ridiculous. We have to talk about this. Do you guys remember last time when I played the music? Okay. Do you remember last time when I played the music? I played like Fox and Vivaldi, and all that good stuff, okay? Do you remember? All right. I have to show you this. Because we might just play my, my um, what is it called? We might just play my um, outro music instead. Like, not my outro, my BGM. First of all, Zenti, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm showing like the background of your work. You are amazing. Okay. Partially blocked, first of all. Copyright restrictions. Copyright protected content found. Your video can be monetized. Are you ready for this? Do you see this? Not just one or two or five. Everything is striked. Isn't that crazy? 
And you know what else? I kept going like copyright free. I only went to copyright free playlists of classical music. So now we're going to BGM it. Isn't that crazy? And the worst is I don't even know if I can really even fight it or if it's like even worth it, right? Like it's just, I mean, at some, it's just a VOD. So it's not really a big deal. But I think after this, I'm only going to look at like websites that are confirmed to do this kind of stuff. Did the Vaporwave also get struck? I'm not sure. Tchaikovsky Nutcracker. Oh, I have a story for this shit. You want to tell me now or off stream? Tell me. Like, I am just... I am just... Yeah. Like, Ricky, I mean, I, I purposely picked classical music from way back when... And I purposely, you know, and here we are. How are you, Bricky? Are you excited for a collab Tuesday? You better be. You better be shaking with excitement, wetted with excitement. Their claims. So basically, like, whatever money this VOD would have made, it's going over to these guys. Which, just so we're clear, guys, VODs don't make a crazy amount of money, but I don't know if I'm pulling the curtain back too much. They make a little bit of money like this VOD being 12 hours long. It's going to make a little bit of money because people are going to watch it and it's going to get ads and it's fine. And uh, somebody is going to get it because I played Vivaldi fucking and Tchaikovsky Nutcracker. So I mistakenly brought that new battle font. They have a streamer mode to turn off names for games, but I didn't turn off copywritten music. I'm so sorry, Bricky. Did it did it like strike your channel or no? Because I don't think these are channel strikes. I'm very new. See, like it shows channel is not affected. By the way, Zenti, look at you. Like, this is nice. This is clean, Zenti. You're doing amazing. I love you. I'm so sorry to hear that, Breaky. That's some effery. That's some, that's some screwery. Nah, just the exact same thing that happened to you. But I'm sure that streamer mode didn't turn off the copyright music, right? Like, I feel like streamer mode should also turn off copyrighted music, right? It, it, it just makes sense. It just works. Another problem with that is like because of that being blocked, it also makes it not reach out as many people, which is fine. Another thing I don't understand is like limited ad. Okay, Bricky, I might, I might need you to like give me a a public class on this. So like this VOD, for example, it says ad suitability. This video is being reviewed to determine whether it's suitable for most, most advertisers. Is it just because we say bad words? Is it just because we say bad words? Guys, Zenti has been doing so much work on the VOD channel. Did you do naughty stuff? I mean, yeah, Mouse did say like, you don't know women because you're a Warhammer player, right? Which is false. They know women. Allegedly. Yeah, Zenti has been absolutely... Zenti, you, you have done the most with this channel. You are amazing. I love you, Zenti. I'm so glad I found you. I wish I found you sooner. I wish I found you sooner. <laughs> I wish I found you under different circumcisions. <laughs> I still can't believe I Freudian slipped that earlier today. I think that's been my most embarrassing Freudian slip, but it's so good that now I want to keep it. Now I want to keep it. It's just it. It's just so disarming. Under different circumcisions. <laughs> I really think that's like been my worst my worst Freudian slip. Genuinely, I don't even like. There's nothing I can explain. Actually, 
I know how to get myself out of this one. Hold on, everybody. I know how to get myself out of this one. I was watching The Yard. They had an episode with Hank Green. <laughs> and Ludwig. And and Slime and Aiden and... uh uh What's the other one's name? Uh, and Nick. They asked Hank Green... If he was circumcised. I'm not making this stuff up, by the way. I am not making this stuff up. They for real ask because, and again, I'm sorry that I'm explaining this right now to everybody, but on their podcast, they have this thing where they sit. I don't think that's how they sat, but basically like half of them, you know, have a little bit of extra skin and half of them do not. Um, if you need to ask any more questions, I will tell you to just Google it. I will not be going into detail. And uh, they basically ask their guests which kind of side are they on so that they know where they divide the podcast. So that is why I had that Freudian slip today is because I watched an episode of The Yard with Hank Green. And uh, they asked Hank Green about it. Hank Green didn't answer. So here we are. Let's not get me canceled. For what? For talking about a podcast? <laughs> Were they as guests these questions? Ultra Fox, thank you so much for the six months, darling. He had an interesting answer, did he? Oh, wait, he did, actually. You're right. You're right, he did. Sorry, I was still so thinking about, like, my, 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 my thing. Yeah. He had a strange answer where his answer was, okay, I, I don't, I'm so sorry. Maybe this is not a good topic of conversation for the stream. Um, but Hank's green answer was basically a, he's not sure. And because of that, obviously everybody went, what do you mean? You're not sure. How could you not be sure? Like, do, do, and then they're like, just show me. <laughs> but I will not go into further um, details because if you are interested in finding out more about that topic you can go and uh, watch the yard <laughs> if you'd like to have more information this is my this is my little little promo I guess this is my little promo you know it's it's a uh, it's fun it's good Hey, Sarah, I think you already freaked out all the Stellaris players. And oh, I forgot to open the store. I was wondering where the customers were. I think you already freaked everybody out with the fanatics. My God, I just... See, I was going to say stop talking about Stellaris. I looked up Stellaris instead of... Ah, you're taking over my life. Stop it. I forgot what I was going to buy. Damn it. It's all your fault. What was I going to buy? I need fries. I started writing Stella. <laughs> Take it over my life. Oh, yeah. What were we talking about before all the copyright stuff? Ooh. Very quickly before we change topics. I wonder how much of this game I should play today. Because even though I'm ahead of Zentrea right now, she's going to stream all day tomorrow. I have a secret interview that I can't talk about tomorrow at 2 p.m. I won't be able to start streaming until like my usual 6 p.m., which will only give me about five hours of competition with Zen. And she would have probably been streaming since noon. So my question is, have I done enough progress in the last few hours? Two. Oh, my God. I already forgot where I put the fries. Shit. Where did I put the fries? Where did I put the fries? That's where I put the fries. I put the fries. I need to play enough. So that Zen won't be able to catch up with me. But it needs to be... You know what it should be? I need to play so much that Zen won't even feel compelled to catch up to me. Unfortunately, knowing Zen's temperament, she will play. She will try. She'll fail, but she will try. She's a fighter, not a lover. So she will absolutely try. I just need to make it... I just need to make it not enticing to be honest to even try i guess if she tries and she fails it's going to be even funnier 
Am I the interviewer or the interviewee? Hey, hey, hey. No details. No details. I don't know. You're going to have to find out. Thank you, Jockin. Thank you for the prime, darling. Also, Zen's store is bigger. So realistically, she needs to be open less time to catch up to me because her store is not is bigger. So she... But I don't know if I have more items than her. The best bet is no one rats you out being ahead. Baby, this is the internet. From the moment Zen raided me, she saw that I was ahead. She understood the weakness of her store. From the moment she raided me, that's number one. Number two, you really trust the geckos. So I would hope in the future, if ever it came up to it, that my momos would snitch to me about Zen's happenings. Thus, I obviously am sure that the gecko's already snitched to Zen. It's just what's got to happen. It's, it's, it's unavoidable. Momos don't do spoilers. Uh, yes, you do. To me. It's not snitching if it's to me. It's not snitching if you tell me all the information I need to be victorious. Hello? Uh-uh. I disagree with that strongly. Okay, rice. Mm-mm. I don't think so. How many eggs have I implanted into geckos? I cannot say. I cannot say. I did not have implanting relations with those geckos. Is all I can say. More than one, less than a million. Allegedly. Allegedly. Hi, Octo. How are you today, darling? I saw you were doing a gunpla the other day. Did you have fun with it? I saw you building. I saw you sweating. I saw you, what is it? Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Bubbling, bubbling, toil and troubling. I saw you do that. You build Exodia from Yu-Gi-Oh! What's with all the Yu-Gi-Oh! builds lately? Joel was also building the Millennial... I almost said Crystal. <laughs> nope. Not the Sailor Moon. Uh, the Millennium Puzzle. Everybody, everybody's building Yu-Gi-Oh! lately. Am I winning? So far, yes. But we have to remember that Zen... We'll have a 12-hour stream to catch up tomorrow, right? Okay, we need Pablo. We have we have this. We have Chez. So we need Pablo. We need bread. Big bread, Pablo. I think we have chips. Big bread, Pablo. The white whole wheat flour unbleached. Pasta. Pasta. Pablo flour. Mm, I have these chip packs I can maybe get rid of. Hold on. Before it gets too late. Let me put this chip pack. Is the game lagging really badly or not as much as before? Because when I tried playing this off stream a few times, it was lagging so bad. Luckily, they patched it out a bit. But, you know, it's 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 uh, it's holding on on its uh, dear legs. Back legs? I don't know how to say it. It's holding on for dear life. There we go. Just a bit. The worst is since I put these two shelves in front, I, I can not even move through. Okay, flower. We're going to get this flower and we're going to get this flower. Luckily, I still have a lot of the first flower. Um, We still have hummus. We still have salt. And we have soap. I just bought soap. Cool. Perfect. I hate to say it, y'all, but I think I'm doing a great job. Oh my god, one? Really? It's going in the garbage. I'm not keeping it. Sorry, profits. Throwing it out. I'm throwing it out. I'm not putting you back on my shelves. It's just one. We'll be fine. The resolution is a little bit bad on your end. Just squint your eyes. Squint your eyes, baby. 
So much beer. Yummy. So much yummy, yummy beer. 50 cents in the garbage can. I'm trying to show the game how much I don't care and how confident I am about winning. That I can throw 50 cents in the garbage. I don't need 50 cents. Screw that 50 cents. Oh, I did have bread. Or is this the new bread I bought? I don't remember. Oh, are you kidding me? We have one bread left again. It's too bad. I am becoming an egomaniac. I am throwing things out that maybe don't deserve to be thrown out. This is it. Father Camilla, thank you so much for subscribing for five months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it, darling. Five long months. One giant leap for mankind. We love a confident woman. It would be funny if in the end I lose by 50 cents. That would absolutely be God's sweet, sweet justice. And I would deserve it. Oh, I'm... I didn't buy the Pablo. Forgot to buy the Pablo. Since it's so small, I'll take eight. And I'll just stuff it somewhere. Hmm. All right. Remind me to stop buying rice. <laughs> we don't need any more rice. We're good on the rice. We have too much rice. It's going to take me a miracle to get through all that rice. People, you need to start buying this rice, please. It's the price of confidence. It's true. Hmm. So I only have one blue water left, huh? I see. Still have Coca-Cola. Let's get the orange juice back up here. Put the pizzas there. I have a lot of pizzas as well. I kind of have to stop buying pizzas. <laughs> I bought them all on sale, but they're just never going to sell at this point because they... Are gonna sell slowly. But I bought them on sale, so I'm making money. I'm making profit. It's fine. The rice will eventually sell. It's just gonna take room in my shelves for a really, really long time. But it will eventually sell. It's I mean, eventually we sold those like 40 packs of cheese, remember? The time came when when the 40 packs of cheese were sold. It just took a little while. Took a few days. Nice dress. Oh. Speaking of dress, hold on. Sorry, I have to message. I messaged Oni Bro and I asked him what level. Um. Wait, what? Sorry, Niwa. I read your DM and I didn't understand any of it. I had to reread it. <laughs> I need to message. I messaged Onibro and I asked him what size shirt he bought because I want to buy that new Onigiri collab set, the Hawaiian beach shirts. But he didn't answer me yet because he hates me. When you're done streaming, can I see the orange shirt on you and what size you got? I'm not sure if I should get M or get an L for big baggy. I want to get the blue one. Where do they ship from? They ship from Japan, so I'm most likely... I think they ship from Japan. If they ship from Japan, I will ship it to Onigiri's house or one of, my, one of our Japan manager's house. And if they ship to the United States, I'll ship it to my friend's house. I've talked about this. So my, my pal, Dear Skin, has a friend. And that friend was supposed to run the half marathon with us. Uh, and he did. It was Deerskin that didn't run. Because she sucks. And she's a pussy. And she's scared to run a half marathon with me. Uh, so, 
then when we were in Japan, uh, our friend was also coming to Japan. And I was like, oh, hey, our friend is coming. And she's like, wait, what? And she was like, how did I not know that this friend is coming? But you do. I'm like, because he's my friend. He's my friend now. So now anytime anything happens, I'm like, oh, my friend. And then I named the friend. I'm like, oh, by the way, you guys, my friend X is coming. She's like, he's not your friend. He's my friend. I'm like, no, no, he's my friend. We ran a half marathon together. We're now going. We invited Deerskin to like the Sonic Orchestra, but she can't come. She's in Japan. So now I'm like, oh, me and my friend are going on a trip and we're going to go see this Sonic Orchestra with our other friends. Like, stop. He's not your friend. He's my friend. I'm like, but he's my friend. <laughs> he's my friend. <laughs> we're going to the Sonic Orchestra. Club. He's my friend. He's my friend. <laughs> he's my friend now. But um, he's also my my mule because I ship so many items because he travels a lot for work. So I ship him all my items. <laughs> I ship him all my Vishojo merch. And now like I'm shipping him. So if this these items from Japan, they actually ship to the United States or from the United States, then I'm just going to ship them all to his house. And then he'll bring him to me because he's my friend. And that's what friends do. And if he ever had to ship things to Canada, you know, same. I'd let him ship things to Canada, of course. Not that anybody ever ships things to Canada. It's never cheaper. It's never better. It's never the solution. Hey, he's my friend. And friends run half marathons together. It's what friends do. I imagine everybody being like, Matara, if being your friend is running a half marathon with you, I don't want to be your friend. <laughs> I don't want to be your friend, Matara. Screw your friendship. I don't want it. My friendship is like going rock climbing together, you know? Going on a five-hour hike together. Walking around Tokyo for hours. You know? That's friendship. But yeah, so she likes to say that he's her friend, but he's my friend. She didn't even know he was coming to Japan. He's my friend. <laughs> I'm a friend thief. What can I say? Keep your friends away from me. Keep your friends away from me. Okay. Ooh. We're about to stock up. I saw salt was on sale. Okay, six fifty-five. Le sel. On aime le sel. Okay. All right. So, what was on sale? Salt was on sale. Oh, we're about to stock up, darlings. Boom. The good news about salt is it fits into a small space, so we're getting a ton of salt. First, I think I think all friends, you know, eventually, eventually do things, you know. No, Mata, I have no idea what you're talking about. That is so vague. Get yourself friends. That that's the end of the sentence. It's not get yourself friends. That is just get yourself friends. Silence. A thousand. Wow. Expensive. Wasn't there a fourth thing on sale? What's going on? Salt ice cream. Dishwasher. Am I missing something? You're for sale? I don't know. I don't know how to take care of a human man. How often do you have to walk him? How often do you have to feed him? Is he satisfied with just daily walkies and a beer and a brisket? Or, you know, there, it, it, there's too, there's too many, there's too many variants and variables. I, eesh, I'm scared. What 
What if I make him cry? Have you checked the rice? Oh, ooh, let me check the rice. Great idea. I don't know. Feels like a lot of responsibility. Wasn't the rice. Wah, wah. All right, let's start the day. The day is long. Let's make money. I can absolutely give a shout out. Here is your shout out. It is a nice crisp ban. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you feel noticed. I hope you feel like I gave you the attention that you craved. You're very welcome, my friend. I know. I know it's exciting. I know it's exciting to get the attention that you've been craving. Enjoy it. Lovely, lovely, lovely bit of attention. A crumb of it sometimes is all you need. Please, Matara. A crumb of your attention. Please. Please. I like it. I like those messages. Cheers me up. I'm like, oh man. If you spend that energy on other stuff, you'd be doing other stuff. Borky, thank you for the prime, darling. Please, Matara. A crumb of your attention is all I need. Oh, I forgot to open the store. Are you guys going to tell me the store isn't open, huh? Huh? Where's the back seating? Why'd you let me buy so many boxes, Bobos? Hmm? Where's the back seating? You're not supposed to let me buy so many boxes. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You're all gonna cry. No, please, I didn't mean it. Don't cry. Matara Khan von Vishojo, I require your affect affection, uh, attention. But affection too. Here, I have affection to give. See, I don't, I can actually maybe buy more salt because we can stack a lot of salt. Let's buy like five more salt. Ten. It's cheap. Might as well. I just have to double check that things aren't getting sold out very quickly, though. Yeah, we're fine. Um, after I pay all my loans off, let's uh let's take a loan to get more items, shall we? Pay off early. Why must you have so many boxes? What do you mean? I'm organizing. I'm organizing the boxes, no? Look how clean and neat and organized they all are. Don't you think so? You think I, you, I can move the computer to the storage room? Unless they patched it, then I cannot do that. Because I have tried moving the computer to the storage room many times and I cannot. But unless this is something that happened with the new patch that maybe I missed out on. But alas, it cannot be done at the moment. As, as of writing this, it may not be done. Listen, the pizzas, the pizzas, the pizzas, the pizzas, the pizzas. I remember people telling Mouse to move the computer in the storage. And did it work? Did they patch it? They allowed you to move it to the storage with this patch. Um, I don't really super have space at the moment. But I'll do it next time we upgrade. Next time we upgrade the storage, I'll put it in. Mouse moved it last night. Ooh, that means it's new. Because it wasn't there. Look at that. 288 salt. In that tiny little crammed space. Can you believe it? It's a lot of salt. I also love that the boxes automatically close. It it has been such a quality of life improvement. A plus. I don't suggest putting the storage in the PC, uh, the, P la, 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 the PC in the storage room. Oh, I will. It's not right now. 
Also, I don't mind it being in the store at the moment because I don't really need to put extra shelves for now. I think I think my store is doing just fine with the amount of shelves it's got. Beautiful. Keep stocking. Keep storing. What do you guys think? Should I get to level 50 tonight? And then after that, maybe I can take a little breather. Because I feel if I get to level 50, it's going to take Zen a few hours of concentrated effort to catch up. If I get to level 50, she, she's got to really kind of go for it. So. If I get to level 50, I feel I could be kind of a little tiny bit okay and a little tiny bit safe. We're level 46. I could also just play this game until the morning. Doesn't really... Hmm. I could. Nothing's really stopping me. I need the dark ship. My interview? Yeah, my interview. You're right. Okay. Well, sorry. No, let me explain. I was going to switch games. I was going to play this game until the end of the game. I thought the game was ending up in 30 minutes. I thought we were only playing until 30 minutes. But since we're playing until tomorrow... I was basically thinking, oh, since we're playing until tomorrow, why don't I just, uh, oh my god, I hate, I hate when the box is broken. Please, somebody buy one javel. Okay, perfect, we did it. Um, oh. So, since we can play for tomorrow, maybe instead of switching games, I can just keep playing this game. Just to make sure I am very, very ahead of Zen. Hmm. I really don't like that I have so many boxes, but they're all half empty. I wish they were doing better with that. Of stacking the boxes. So what's up with the pizzas here, you guys? Gotta stock them up. Gotta refill my pizzas. Hmm? Gotta stock them. Gotta keep them separated. This game is rather chill. I think so. I think now that there's stalkers, I'm... I, I don't know how I do it. I don't know how to pronounce stalker. So that it doesn't sound like they're stalking me. Or they're stalking the shelves. Sounds like I'm saying stalker. But I'm saying stalker. No, I'm saying stalker. <laughs> I don't know how to, how to pronounce it differently. I don't know how to do it with my accent. Stalker. 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 I think if I say stalk, stalker, stalker. They're putting stock in the shelves. The guys who put stock in the shelves. How about that? Is that better? Any stalkers in chat? <laughs> no. I don't know how to say it right with my accent. Are they restocking? Yeah, since the game added restockers, huh? Um, I really don't have to worry about stocking the sh crispy cereal is too expensive for you. Pourquoi? Ah, merde! Ah, uh, the cereal went on sale and I missed it. Probably lost a few sales that way, but it's okay. It's fine. I'm not judging myself. It happens. Bitter, thank you so much for subscribing, my dear. I appreciate it. Welcome. If you haven't already, make sure you check out the Discord. We have a Discord that is open to the subs. <laughs> There's a lot of cool stuff in there. A lot. Too much, I'd say. Too much cool stuff. Where we bully zero? Yeah. Oh, I didn't buy the pipit when they were on sale. Nor. I thought I had a ton of pipit, but I didn't. Nor. Nor. 
We bully Zero by wishing him a happy birthday every single day. You know? Does he feel appreciated? Probably. A little annoyed? Most likely. But it doesn't matter. We do it for the giggle. We do it for the hee hee and the ha ha and the ooh hoo. All right, we also sold out of all that honey I bought on sale, huh? All right, everybody. Next big shopping spree. We're going to buy new items. We're going to stock new items. The good news, though, having more items, I am noticing the items aren't going out of stock as often. Then again, I'm also buying so much that's always getting stocked. So maybe, hmm, maybe that's why I don't notice it. Like shelves are, you know. Shelves are doing good. Oh, yeah. I think at this point, I just need more time played than Zen. That's the only thing that'll help me win. It's just more time played than Zen. And I have to hope and pray that she's not actually just playing offline right now as we speak. I just have to hope Zen isn't playing right now and getting ahead right now. Because that, uh, that would be not good for me. Will I do a live stream when I travel? I'm not traveling anytime soon, darling. Probably not. Probably not. Why? What kind of live stream do you want to see? Is it because you're watching Onigiri on a boat in a bikini? And you're thinking, wow. If only I can see Matara. Oh. I think I could say this. It's going to be a spoiler, though. You will get to see Matara Khan in a red one-piece bathing suit soon. How's that? How's that? <laughs> spoiler! Woohoo! <laughs> 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 no spoiler! Woohoo! <laughs> Chicken cheap. Shampoo cheap. Ice cream cheap. Okay, chicken. Unfortunately, the chicken like sells so sells so quickly. Chicken, shampoo, and what was it? Ah, we can stock up on shampoo. And then it was ice cream. Ice cream, I wouldn't really stock up on it, but a little bit. Okay, so ice cream. I think 10, just because they're really hard to stack. Shampoo, though, I'm definitely going to get like 20 because they're super easy to stack. Um, And then chicken. We just we just got to get a few chickens, huh? And I need toilet paper. Because these people, they sure love their toilet paper. How's your microplastics milk doing? Oh, it's going. We can add a little bit of the small bread as well. Man, it's like I just always have a lot of boxes, huh? The one piece is real. Oh my goodness, did I just miss a raid? <gasps> what happened? Oh, no, sorry. It's because you guys are talking about the one piece. It was hard to see because everybody was spamming the same thing, so I thought it was a raid. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. I had my eyes on the prize. I had my eyes on the store. I'm sorry, everybody. The One Piece is real. It is real. And I'm wearing it. I'm wearing the One Piece, baby. It is real. The One Piece is me. The One Piece raid, imagine. The One Piece is real. Alright, so I remember I had some shampoo stacked here. But I will also bring them out 
elsewhere. Maybe once this vodka sells, I'll start bringing my shampoo somewhere else. We still have tuna. Hey, we're doing pretty good on stuff. We might be running out of juices soon. Yeah, maybe a little bit of apple juice and orange juice. How's the zap doing? Okay, and zap. How's my eggs doing? Little bread? Oh, eggs. Little eggs. And little bread. Should I be calling this bread little? What if it's actually a decent size? It's just, you know, compared to the other bread, it just, you know. What if the little bread is more delicious? You know? What if the little little bread is actually so delicious? But nobody nobody goes to get it because, you know, they think it's just little bread. But it's really, really good little bread. You know? What if the size of the bread does not matter? But it's really the deliciousness of it. You know? Really makes you think. The bread is cold. What I don't understand is this. Okay, hear me out. Bread is good, right? It's good. But then when you toast it, it's better. The simple action of toasting your bread makes it so much more delicious. Why? Why? When you burn your bread, it is more delicious. This would have been amazing for Onigiri if that's how it worked with rice and with chicken. Because then she would just simply be the best cook ever. Correct? Thank you, Arashi. Thank you so much, darling. Welcome back. We're talking about onigiri burning bread. Why is it, you know, if... If things tasted better burned... It, it, why, why do not all things taste better burned is basically the question that I have to ask. And it is the question that, you know, onigiri must ask herself all the time. Because if it did taste better burned... And she would just simply be the best cook ever. She burns everything. Poor Onigiri. Catching strays in my stream and she doesn't even know it. Poor Onigiri. My cousin's sister wife. I do wonder. She would be really good at barbecue. Yeah, if you liked burned barbecue all the time. We crave the carbon. I do like my food a little burned. But just so we're clear, I really do mean a little charred. I mean like a little, little tiny bit of char. I do not mean onigiri levels of burned and char, okay? I truly do mean a tiny little bit. A little, little tiny bit, okay? Yeah, I guess seared would be the right word. A little seared, you know? A little kiss of, of, of CO2. It's not even CO2. What would the burn be? Google the Maillard reaction. Thank you, Llama. Could you just TLDR it for me? Because I am currently streaming. And I don't have time to Google any reactions, unfortunately. Thank you, Twisted. Thank you for the five months, darling. It would be cool if when you brought more products and there is an empty spot for the box in the stockroom that you would just put the box there instead of the street. Yeah, but then you basically never have to play the game. If the game automatically stocked your warehouse, where's the gameplay for you, right? You have people stocking the warehouse. You have people, like, at some point, you're just a guy that's just ordering stuff every day. That's it. There's no gameplay left for you. So I get it why the game doesn't automate everything. It is great how much they automated, but 
can't automate everything. You still need to play. If your gameplay was just logging in and ordering stuff, it would get real boring real fast. Trust me. I know. My god, it's already almost midnight. Duggo, thank you so much for the bits. I appreciate it, darling. My god, I can't believe it's already midnight. This means I only have, what, like five hours left to stream? It's all the time I have left to get ahead of Zen. I'm still going to take a little time to make myself a nice tea after this. Maybe, maybe in a day or two, I'll make myself a nice little tea. Make myself a nice little, oh, a protein shake. I'm going to take a little break, make a little protein shake. Yeah. Thank you for the four months, by the way. I'm sorry, I can't read your name. But thank you so much, darling. Yeah, I think if you make stuff too automatic, then you won't really enjoy playing anymore. But that's why games like Satisfactory have a really good kind of um, in-between. Between things being automated and uh, you actually having to play and you having to discover more resources and then you having to bring the resources and build and you know? You know what I mean? Make me one too. <laughs> when I say protein shake, I really do mean just a scoop of protein powder in water. I have this incredibly rich protein powder and uh, I feel like putting it in... I feel that putting it in milk just makes it too rich. Yeah. So just water. It's chocolate chip. I don't even like putting it in my coffee. Really just water, a little chocolate chip protein thing, and we're good. We're good. They'll be adding expiration dates. I think expiration dates could work. Because then basically, if they added really strict expiration dates, what I would do is just every day order like the first 10 products times two, and then the next 10 products times two, and then the next 10 products times two, and then the next 10 products times two. And I would just like, that's all you really got to do, right? That's all you would really do until that's it. You wouldn't really have to worry about anything else. Especially if you have all the all the people stocking the shelves. And then certain things shouldn't expire, right? Like, obviously, the eggs will expire a little bit faster than, than the shampoo. But typically, a shampoo would probably be good for years. But I can see it. Plus, then what about stuff like honey, right? You can't give an expiration date to honey. Honey never expires. Maybe not never, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Watch them make sugar expire, right? Hi, honey. I'm honey. Beep, beep. Boop. Oh my god, I'm almost out of that. Javel, whatever, bleach? What's the other thing? Yeah, it's the other bleach. Boop. Boop. Almost out of bleach. Boop. 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 Butter in your coffee. I hear it helps for energy if you fast. Oh. Okay. It's that late, late time of the night where maybe we can talk about confessions. About 15 years ago, maybe more. Hold on. When did this book come out? 2007. Yeah, more than 15 years ago. In 2007. 
I, the woman whose body I live inside of, was a little bit younger, a little bit more gullible, and she read the four hour work week. Which, again, if you haven't read it, you know, feel free to read it, but a big TLDR is, um, I'm going to do my best at TLDR. Maybe I'm wrong. Please forgive me if I'm wrong. But basically, a big TLDR is find somebody in another country to do your work for you cheaper. And then you can just live your life. Maybe that's not the full point of the book. Maybe there's more in the book. But that's basically what it was. You know, that's basically how the book kind of goes. And that's the whole point of, you know, in, in his terms, the four hour work week is find somebody in a remote country that can do that work for you um, cheaper. That's the, you know, that's that's the point of the book. So, um, I, I think around that time, Tim Ferriss was like very, very popular and a lot of kind of, um, a lot of, News outlets were covering him and a lot of a lot of people were just talking about him, right? Like he was kind of having his like big, big, big popularity moment, right? I get it. Big popularity moment. And uh, yeah, I was. Uh, fasting <laughs> because I was, you know, a little bit younger and I was interested in like that kind of stuff so anytime people say like and you know maybe butter coffee is actually a good thing maybe that's actually a good thing if you want to do keto if you want to do butter coffee you do you I am never here to judge people live their own lives people do their own stuff but it's just anytime people say butter coffee it like puts me back in that place you know where I'm like oh god Oh God, that era of of that era of time on the internet where everybody was having butter coffee and keto was everywhere and it was a different time. It was a different time. Um and also, you know, no, I never ended up finding somebody in another country to do my work for me like that. Because a lot of it was kind of um very much catered towards what is it called? It was very much catered towards uh, kind of Silicon Valley people. And I didn't have that skill. You know, I didn't have the skill of being an engineer and, and things like that. So. Yeah, it, it was it was quite a time in the world at that time. It was it was a time. It's quite the time to be alive. It was one of those things that, you know, when I think about it, I'm like, oh, man, those those were the days. Those were the times. It, it's it, it just made me feel incredibly old. I'm not going to lie to realize that that book came out. Realizing that that book came out. Almost 20 years ago may just hit me with I, I feel a little old. Okay, hold on. What was on sale again? I already forgot. Chips are more expensive. Chipos. That that made me feel a little old right there. That hit me. That that oof. Uh beer. Man. What a time. What a time to be alive, huh? I could get more hummus as well. I always write hummus like the English way, but it's hummus. And then we can get some yogurt. Yeah, I think if stuff was getting an expiration date, you would only like buy things kind of like how I did now. Where you just kind of buy four or five of things that expire. Like you'd basically be buying eggs and cheese almost every day. Shampoo is more expensive. gonna get another one of those just in case shampoo is more expensive but 
By the way, just so we're clear, absolutely nothing wrong with putting butter in your coffee. Absolutely nothing wrong with fasting. Oh, my God. Never let anybody, you know, you always do your own research in life. You always do your own stuff. Like I said, for me, it's just like it invoked such a reaction because it just reminded me of that time on the Internet. And like everybody was talking about the ketogenic diet and everybody was talking about putting bulletproof coffee. And just any time you would ask anybody about how to make money, it was always, oh, just, you know, outsource your work to somebody in another country. And do 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 do. <laughs> So I just had that like really, really violent like blast from the past where I'm like, oh, God, I remember. Yeah, that was the name of it. Bulletproof coffee. It was the name of it. Am I am I teaching anybody anything new? That's exciting. I love that. What's wrong with butter and coffee? I I just said nothing's wrong with butter and coffee. I just said nothing's wrong. The reason that I reacted that way is because it was just, it's like if you tell somebody old, I don't know, if you like mention, I don't know. It's like if you mention Elvis Presley to an old person, right? They're like, oh, back in my day, Elvis Presley. That was me just now, but with bulletproof coffee, which by the way, bulletproof coffee is butter and coffee. It's like, what was the other thing that they put in it? It wasn't MGS. It was like, it it wasn't MSG. MCT oil. There we go. Bulletproof coffee was MCT oil and um, butter. There we go. Metal Gear. Wait, never mind. She's not talking about Metal Gear. Abort. Abort. She's not talking about Metal Gear. She's a fake. They put Metal Gear Solid in coffee? How did that work, Matara? What does MCT stand for? I have no idea. That, unfortunately, is... is I have no idea. My old brain only stretches so far. My old brain only goes so far. Cal Gore, thank you for the three months. Okay. I gotta use the restroom. Everyone. And I gotta make myself a little <laughs> a little bulletproof coffee. <laughs> no 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 no. I do not. Mom is rich with these boxes, right? <gasps> We're sente. That sounds like such a perfect Sunday night. I hope you had an amazing day. I hope your kitty is is warm and cuddly and nice and hope you have a good one. I'm also about to get me a little cup of, maybe a cup of tea. We'll see. We'll see. I have this blackberry tea, so it just kind of tastes fruity. It's very good. Medium chain triglyceride olive oil. Oh, it was just olive oil the whole time? See, I didn't even know that. But yeah. The, the, the mid, the mid, like... 2000s were a wild time where we were putting butter and olive oil in our coffee and fasting until like 5 p.m. and then breaking our fasts with like steak and eggs. <laughs> it was a wild time. It was a wild time to be alive. That's all I gotta say. It was it was a time. It was a time. It was a time. It was a time. Butter coffee was in a K drama you watched recently. Okay, there we go. I mean, everything's gonna re. Uh, okay, maybe, maybe it's about to resurface then, because it's almost at that twenty year. Have you guys noticed with the whole Y two K fashion stuff? What's coming after Y two K? The mid two thousands. Butter coffee is going to be everywhere. Just watch, you guys. Get ahead of the curve. Get butter coffee now. <laughs> it's going to be everywhere again. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Should I create a butter coffee cafe to profit? I think so. But you don't have to create a butter coffee cafe. The thing with, okay, if you want my real answer, if you just create a butter coffee cafe, in a year or two when that trend dies, you will also die. But if you create a cafe that maybe does stuff like avocado coffee, butter coffee, but also caters to regular coffee, then then after that trend dies, you can then continue kind of, you can just rebrand your coffee shop slightly. Yes, we can use MSN Messenger and I can set up like really Chudibuyo statuses like no one understands the pain I'm going through. And then if I want Zentreya to notice me, I just go offline and then I go online and then I go offline and then I go online and then I go offline and then I go online just to see if Zentreya would notice me and pay attention to me. <laughs> We did it. We did it. We are. Mm, this is good. We can all have Jinko jeans. We can all have Jinko jeans. My next outfit is I would be wearing Jinko jeans. And uh, I mean, some things never change, right? A crop top, but crop tops. It hit me the other day that. The older I get, the woman whose body I live inside, the older she gets, the less age appropriate it will be for her to wear crop tops. Unless she's an old woman with abs, right? Because aging, nobody, nobody seems to like aging. Nobody seems to like old women just existing. So as my flesh woman ages... As long as she has abs, she can wear crop tops. Because who's going to talk shit right about grandma if she's got rock hard abs? They don't even have to be rock hard. They just have to be sort of abish. Thank you, Maka, for the bits. And thank you so much, Hoshi, for the 10 gifted. Hoshi, be honest with me. Hoshi. Is it the Jinko jeans? Is it the grandma with the abs? Which is it? Be honest with me. Which part of this conversation made you think, oh, yeah, you know what, Matara? This is some good stuff. I want more of that. Is it the grandma with the abs? I think so, too. It would be nice if we had a future where grandmas can wear more stuff with no judgment. But unfortunately, it does feel like when you get older, eventually there's, quote, unquote, a certain age. Oh, you shouldn't wear this at this age. And it truly feels like the only way kind of against that is just to have an absolutely fit body because then you can say okay i am a grandma i'm i'm 70 with rock hard abs are you gonna tell me not to show them off screw you my abs are the only thing i got going for me at 70 allegedly there's a lot of things i will have going for me when my flesh host gets to that age if I keep living inside her, maybe I'll just... Oh, my God. What if I just trade my flesh host for a younger flesh host? I guess I'd be a part of the problem, huh? So I guess I'd kind of have to stick with this with this woman forever, huh? Right? Otherwise, like, it's kind of it's kind of not cool of me if I trade her in for a younger model. Right? Thank you again so, so much for the 10 gifted. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, where's the other? Matara DiCaprio. <laughs> yeah, once my flesh woman hits the age of uh, 45, I trade her in for a... Uh, for a younger, for a younger 35 year old, huh? Yep, 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 yep. That's how we're gonna do it. Have so much fun, Pegasus. I wonder if your phone bill will get smaller or bigger. I truly wonder how your phone bill will be affected by that. Good luck. You let me know how it goes, okay? Thank you for the bits. All right. I really, I keep saying I have to go pee and I have to go. Wait, I don't even have to go pee. But I do have to go get my snack. Maybe a little apple with cheese. Okay. 
Go piss girl. Oh my god, you guys get did a new go piss Martha. <laughs> no, I think the piss is kind of hard to read. But maybe I'm just blind. Hold on, I should probably give you some BGM, huh? Let me give you some BGM because it is kind of quiet in the store. But I am no longer doing the other music because uh downloads. Lo-fi loopable version. Is that the one? This is going to be a little too chill. Ah. Hello, Raiders. Welcome. Let me see what else we can do. Where's my other? Where's my other music? Uh, night cover. Night cover. Lo-fi loopable. Okay, I'm putting it in. It might get a little loud for a second. I apologize just for a second. Oh, wait, we have a BGM in here. What is this BGM? Okay. Is this all right for the volume when I'm speaking? La 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 la. Testing the volume. Would you like it a little louder? This is fine. Kind of low. I can turn it up a bit. All right, everybody. I will be back. I, I'm actually going to play ads. I always forget to do them. So we're going to play some ads so that you won't get any ads for a little bit. Okay. Be right back. I do set my ads to the bare minimum, but it's Twitch television. It's Twitch television. E R E, my loves. Up. 
Yip Sop. I was so surprised by you guys gifting subs, I started coughing. <coughs> What's going on? What's going on, you guys? What, what, what's going on? Hello? Guys? Girls? Uh, I of Senpai, thank you for the six months. DFI Delta. DFI Delta, do not die. I'm trying! First of all, everybody, I have a hibiscus white tea. Oh my god, it smells so good. What's going on? Why are we gifting subs? Why are we okay, you know what? I'm gonna gift subs to you. Why are we why are we yelling? Why are we gifting subs? What's going on? Huh? What's happening? Why are we doing this? I want to participate. You made a lemon ginger tea? That sounds amazing. Hello, everybody. I am back. I brought a very sophisticated snack with me. I'll bring the bandwheel back, Alana. I promise. I have apple with smoked cheddar. And I have a little chocolate. I also have a hibiscus white tea. And I have a mango bubbly. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me thank everybody. What the heck is going on? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me let me get my activity feed. Let me wear my little glasses. I don't have glasses. DFI Delta, I see you started this. I see that all these crimes have begun because of you. Have a good night, Chris. Thanks for tuning in. I see that you have begun the crimes. If we were to hang somebody responsible, who shot the first shot? It was you. You challenged everybody to a duel and you shot the first shot. Not the first time. It won't be the last time. <laughs> and I'm going to get away with it, Matarakon. I came. I gifted subs. I laughed. 
Thank you so, so much. I really, really appreciate it, DFI. Thank you for the 50 gifted. Timmy, thank you so much for the five gifted. All in all, thank you for gifting a three month sub. You really like their name, huh? Code name boom. Great name. Xander, thank you so much for the 10 gifted as well. All in all, thank you for the 20 gifted. Dire Raven underscore zero. Thank you so much for the 10 gifted. Thank you, Matarakon. Nice to see you again, Matarakon. Thank you for the 10 gifted. And Sinister Alien. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the 25 gifted. What the heck? What the heck? GFI just showed up and started all this all this fighting, all this drama. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What the heck is going on? I hope I hope you're having a phenomenal night. Mine, uh, mine just, uh, wow. The girls are fighting. Gifted subs drama. Oh yeah, what Alan all said. Don't forget, you guys. We have a dishboard. Mm. I want to take a break to eat my food, but I also don't want to leave profits on the table. I'll take a small break while I eat. Remember, everybody. Attach your Discord to your Twitch. It's okay, Sardik. You can just spy on everybody. You can be a little voyeur. Thank you, everybody. What the heck? Thanks to St. Patrick, Ireland is snake free. Is that the story of him? He like drove all the snakes out of Ireland? I don't know. I'm not Irish. So I have a very, my only view of, of um, St. Patrick's Day is just everybody's wearing green and drinking green beers and getting drunk in the sun. That, that's kind of all I, and all those kiss me, I'm Irish shirts, you know? Oh, the snakes were non-Christians. Aw, that's not very nice. Now I must ask you a serious question. When they say he drove them out, where did they go? Mm-hmm. Now that is sad to think about. To get cigarettes? Yep. They went to their farm in the sky. Because yeah, when when we say he drove them out, it was not very uh How do I say this? It may have been a little bloody groovy, if you know what I mean. He was the saint of engineers. Interesting. Car, thank you for the bits. I think when you start out and you're streaming to nobody, so first of all, I think in the future for tips and stuff like that, I highly recommend you check out YouTube videos because people will be talking about it. Because the advice I'm going to give you now is something that I did 13 years ago. Now, I'll be honest with you, maybe that advice does not stand today. So I really do recommend that you kind of try to get um, advice from people who are more recent about it. DFI, thank you for another 10 gifted. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm. 
But hold on, what was it? What the hell was that chocolate thing? Before I forget, sorry, one second. My biggest advice when you don't have a viewer, when you only have three viewer, or when you have one viewer and nobody's watching you, um, and this is gonna be kind of your first barrier to entry to being a streamer. I think doing this and not doing that is kind of what's gonna start off. Um, there's there's this like thing that you have to do as a streamer. You have to do cringe things until you get to a certain level, okay? Um, for example, it's kind of cringe to stream to no viewers, right? It, it's It's like, oh, I'm talking to myself and nobody's there until you're streaming to 10 viewers and suddenly you're having so much fun and 30 and this. So what I recommend that you do in order to pass the five, the 10 viewer hump, and I'm warning you, this is going to be a little cringe. You go to your coworkers and you say, hey, I have a Twitch stream. Could you please open it up in an extra link? Because if I have no viewers, I'm at the bottom of the category. But if I have 10 viewers, people are going to find me much easier. And they're going to say, oh my God, yeah, I'd love to open your channel. And then you message them. Every single day that you're live, you message them and you're like, hey, can you open my stream today? You ask your parents, you ask your siblings, you ask your friend, you ask your World of Warcraft guild. You ask every single person in your life to open your stream, but you do it every single day until, you know, because then when people come in, suddenly you have five viewers, suddenly you have 10, maybe they're chatting a little bit, but then eventually you won't have those people in and you won't need them. I don't want to tell anyone in my offline live that no, I stream. Well, then find another way to get 10 viewers at the start. It's hard. Find another way to get 10 viewers at the start. She did that and it works. Let's go. I think you have to do that at the start. Otherwise, you're going to get buried in a category. Otherwise, you're going to get buried in a category and you're never going to grow. I can get 10 viewers, but I forget to look at chat. Put a paper on your monitor that says look at chat. I look at chat more than the game sometimes. Thank you, N1, for the bits. I don't think we have that many kids in my channel. We have a, we have a lot of older folks here. Yeah, I, I will say I, I do really recommend for any streamer advice that you check out more recent videos because a lot of my advice is just it's old, right? I don't know if you can still do that. You know what I used to do 13 years ago? I used to post on Reddit. <laughs> But what really did help me out a lot was just... Now that's cringe. <laughs> but now... But now, look at me. When I say I posted on Reddit, there was these like Twitch streamer Reddits. Where you could like write about what your stream is about. You're cringe. You're cringe. No, I'm all furious. What really helped me out was the fact that I played a lot of games. So I played a lot of Ragnarok online and I played a lot of these stuff. And I basically went back to those friends that I knew were online. I was like, hey, this is really cringe. But blah, 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 blah. Could you please open my stream? And then I would just DM them every day. My, my friends, I would just ask them every day. So yeah, that's basically what what I did. And it, it you, you kind of have to be a little bit annoying, but you have to be annoying in the right places, right? Because for example, if you go to a Twitch streamer and you're like, hey, I'm a streamer, I'm trying to stream too. Like you can probably get away with saying it once or twice, but if you only ever talk about that, that's not the right place. 
But if you then go to your friends, to your siblings, to your family. Mm -hmm. What Chase said, imagine if your future, your coworker is like a future Ludwig or a future cutie Cinderella or a future Iron Mouse. You could have that founder's badge and flex on everybody. You know, you could be like that. I knew them before they made it big. Seriously, I think that is, it's kind of one of the harder thingies to, to get over. It's, it's, it's awkward, right? It's awkward to ask people to watch you. But so many people spend years streaming to nobody. And I think that's really, really hard for a lot of folk to do. It's hard to keep streaming. A lot of reasons why people quit streaming and this kind of stuff. Is that you keep trying, 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 and it just doesn't work. But if you just go live with no social media, no nothing, you... It's going to be really hard to find you. Twitch is not made in a way that's easy to be found. It's not easy for people to find you on Twitch. You can blow up on TikTok. You can blow up on YouTube Shorts. You can even, for example, have a little group of people that you do world of warcraft raids with and you then tell them hey guys um you know we've been raiding together every whatever day i don't i've never played world of warcraft for this many times could you please open my stream while we do our dailies or while we do this it's gonna really help me out du -du 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 -du. you know but you have to and again maybe there's a better way maybe you can think of a better way to get those viewers is just for me that was kind of my way because back when I did this, maybe nowadays it's easier and better to just open uh, TikTok, right? Or maybe open YouTube shorts. Or maybe you stream at the same time on YouTube and TikTok and, and whatever. But back then, there was no TikTok. Blowing up on YouTube, there was no shorts. Like, to blow up on YouTube, you basically had to do videos, which I wasn't, you know, going to do. So my easiest way, I thought, all right, I know a lot of people. I... It was back in those days where you had like a thousand friends on Facebook. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh. Wait. That was a bug, right? Like something. Or did I just run into the wall and I. And I wasn't paying attention when I ran into the wall. And you know what? Probably, while I was asking people every day to watch me on the Twitch television, probably some of those people thought I was cringe. Probably some of those people giggled at me. But hey. <laughs> Who's giggling now? I'm playing Supermarket Simulator at midnight on a Sunday. Who's giggling now? It's me. <laughs> I'm the giggler now. Who's giggling now? It's me. I'm the giggler. Thank you again for all the gifted. What the heck? That's another thing, Dusk, is like, you kind of have to also find people that are maybe also in that same 10 viewer range. I know everybody seems to think, okay. And I'm very mindful of what I'm saying because I'm aware that like, once you're a bigger streamer, like, you can never really punch down. You can only ever punch up. So please, you know, take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. I know when you have 10 viewers, you're thinking, if only I got a big raid, a three, 4,000 person raid. I know you feel that way. But chances are it will freak you out more than you realize. It'll be more work than you realize. It'll be more stress than you realize. It'll be more, like, it's just so much to deal with you probably have one moderator right who's probably your cousin who moderates a little bit here and there you probably don't have your discord set up where if you start getting a lot of people and they all decide to put troll things in the discord you, you, like you just won't know how to deal with it all you think you really want that like 4,000 viewer raid but it, it just makes so much sense to grow kind of slowly and as you grow, you kind of start seeing, okay, you kind of start limit breaking or limit testing everything, or you go, oh, okay. 
So once I'm at 100 viewers, I can keep up with chat. Or once I'm there, I can keep up with chat. Do, 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 do. You, you think you want that. You you don't. It, it, it's, it's... There's so much to learn in that, like, streaming... I think the smaller you are, the more different streaming is. Streaming to five viewers is very different than streaming to 30. It's very different than streaming to 50. It's very different than streaming to 100. Streaming to, a, to 500. Once you get to two to 3,000 viewers, it's fairly the same to stream to two to 3,000 viewers than it is to stream to five to eight to seven. Because then people kind of become a blob, right? Everyone's just momos. Versus when it's 30 people, you're like, oh, I have to remember this person's, you know, this. I have to remember that. And this is just my experience. Maybe I'm wrong. I actually feel it's harder to stream to 100 viewers than it is to stream to 1,000 viewers. Because... With 100 viewers, you're still at that place where people want you to constantly answer them and constantly engage in them kind of one-on-one. -on -one. But in order to grow your stream, you have to make... In order for your stream to grow, people have to lurk in your stream and enjoy it without talking to you. So people need to enjoy your content even if they're not interacting with you, right? But when you're at 100 viewers or 80... Everyone's kind of there because they're expecting you to notice them and answer them and talk to them about their day and all that stuff. And if you don't do it fast enough, they then leave and go to another streamer. So it, I, I really think, I, I think getting from, I think getting to 10 viewers is hard. If you're, again, if you don't ask people to watch you and stuff like that. I think getting 10 viewers that aren't your friends and family, but like active 10 viewer chatters is very, very hard. And then keeping up 30 is very hard. Then I think the hardest is like going from 100 concurrent viewers to 250 plus is, is very, very hard. Because every month you have to bring in more people that naturally leave your stream and it's just really, really tough. As a bigger streamer, you just don't worry about it because people will always naturally be coming in. Like right now, I'm pretty sure I, I'm probably very high in the supermarket category. I'm probably really high just on Twitch streams that you can find. So I will naturally have people coming in. Plus, now I have a YouTube channel. So maybe my short just went viral. Yesterday, I collabed with Thor, right? So I collabed with Premiere 2. I'm in Vishojo. I have all these kind of security nets that you just do not have when you first start out streaming. Unfortunately. And again, please, I am aware that maybe some of my tips are, you know, old and overrated like me because I did this a while back and maybe the game was a little different. But uh, the only difference, right, I started streaming 14 years ago and getting 15 viewers felt like a huge win for me. So, Octo, I'm I'm in your same boat. I started 13 years ago. The only difference, right, between me and you is just that I got more lucky breaks on Twitch. That's the only difference. I just kept... And there's so many times, too, when I remember... When I'd be streaming maybe to like 150 viewers and then a game would come out and then I'd average 300. There was so many times where I'd be like, this is it. I made it. Like, this is it. I have made it. I am a like, I, like I'm on the leaks to being a big streamer. This is it. And then next month, it's back again, right? It's back down again. And next month you're at 80 and you're like, but I was just averaging 300. What happened? It's just maybe that game, the people didn't really stick. I'm telling you, if you are having a hard time streaming to 80 and 100 people, to 50 people, it's the hardest part of streaming. Don't feel bad. Don't feel like you can't do it. Don't like it is the hardest, hardest part of streaming. Genuinely, it gets only easier from there. And a big part of it getting easier is just staying around, 
staying around, there's always going to be another game that's going to go viral. There's always going to be another chance to collaborate with people. There's always going to be a game that fits you more and your channel more. You just kind of have to keep doing it. Which is where the whole thing comes from. You know, you got to you gotta kind of like streaming. You got to like creating this type of content. Because if you don't, you're not going to really be around for noticing those opportunities and noticing these games and... Right? <laughs> this good advice, you should listen. I just think people, you know, people tend to not really know how much background stuff goes into... It's very easy to look at another streamer. Also, another thing about streamers that I didn't know when I was a little bit younger is I thought... There's this word self-made, right? But for example, I'm going to give this example of Takahata. Um, he is a streamer that doesn't really stream much anymore. But the reason I'm giving him as an example is because I remember when he came out... I remember thinking like, wow, this guy really blew up quick. That's so crazy. Like he's already averaging 300 viewers, even though he just started. That's so crazy. What a lucky guy. But I very recently got to know him a little bit. And he was like a founding member of a really famous voice um, voice acting thing where they did like a bunch of a bride abridged series. So he's a part of a group that have a channel with a million plus um, like hits on it. So he already had connections and already had pals. And obviously it doesn't take away from the fact that he's a great streamer and all that stuff. But when he first came out, because I didn't know about that about him, I thought, oh my God, wow, like he really blew up quickly. That's so crazy. Wow. Like that's, that's wild how he just blew up, right? Wow. I guess like anybody can just blow up. That's awesome. But I'm, you know, I'm letting you know that is he not streaming? I haven't seen his stream in forever. I think he's like taking some time off because he's writing some stuff from what I gather. I don't know. Do you see where I'm going with this? Where what you might not realize of somebody that's like, quote unquote, blowing up faster than you is that they might have been doing work related to this behind the scenes. Like they might have been a part of a big group or Things like that. Which that was that was kind of my biggest thing to deal with. Because I remember when I was much younger and I would see people quote unquote get very popular or you know blow up as they say. Now I, I remember thinking, what am I doing different? What am I doing wrong? Why? But maybe they just had right big followings behind them in other platforms that I just didn't know about I think so too Bishop I think so too me too flame I remember seeing Mousy blow up oh my goodness Th this is why it's so humbling to me that I am now in this like funny little competition with zen is that when i you know allegedly was maybe the, the woman whose body i live inside she was creating her first vtuber huh 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 um there was kind of a i i love mood boards i love working with mood boards i love like finding pinterest pictures right i want to send an artist this is what i want this is the look that i want Zen's uh, Zen's old like military outfit was on it that jacket the hat Zen was somebody that I watched a lot of her stuff and mouse do and it's kind of crazy where I'm at right now yeah Zen and the anti -lude, anti lude alliance sandwich bread and bio eggs so it's it's a little crazy where I am now considering that uh and that was just a few years ago, right? That was just a few years ago. I remember when Mel came out and how she broke the internet. What was the other thing? It was sandwiches, it was one more. 
one more. Oh, bottled water. Thank you, Goku. I think uh, when it comes to content, it's it's very much the long game, as they say. Just you know, enjoy enjoy the the road. It can be long. It can be a long road. Enjoy it, right? Have fun with it. But it, it can be a long time. And actually, uh, I was watching Cutie Cinderella's podcast with uh, Lily Pichu. And, uh, or maybe she mentioned this on The Yard. I've been watching a lot of podcasts lately. And uh, eventually it gets to a point, like, if you have been doing content for a long time... You, you keep thinking every year you have to get bigger and bigger, but that's not true. Because some years, you're just not really doing stuff that's going to be hitting algorithm. Maybe this year, there's no game that's really going to be popular and that's really going to, you know, no Among Us, no Lethal Company, no Hell Divers. So you just, you just keep doing what you're doing. You just keep having fun with it, right? That's why you kind of have to like streaming because you just, you just keep doing what you're doing. Just keep streaming. But there's years, right, when Lily Pichu, for example, would be hitting crazy viewership and having just so much stuff. And then other years where it's less crazy. Does it mean like this is it? She's a failed streamer? Da da da. No. You can't you can't only go upwards. Eventually you kind of chill out and then maybe you only ever go viral once. Maybe you go viral every few years. Everyone's different. Everyone's different, right? Yeah, Bishop, that was my biggest, my biggest kind of change at one point was this is a really like this, this is like one of the big cringe things that I'm going to warn you about to do. Ugh. Gotta watch your streams back. I know, I know you hate the sound of your voice or you think it's cringe the way you made that joke or you don't like that. Watching back your streams is so, especially at the start, right? Where you're kind of like creating how you want to stream, figuring out what works for you, what doesn't. My God, if you don't like your stream, how are other people going to like it? Eventually, you get to a point where you might not need to rewatch your streams that much. You might kind of know what's what's good, what isn't. You might develop an audience that you kind of don't have to worry as much. But at the start, watch your streams back. Watch your streams back. Oh, God. It's, it's scary. It's scary and it's very vulnerable. But you don't improve unless you do that. I think, uh, so Bishop, Bishop knows a lot of like, my old Twitch friends, a lot of them kind of just, you know, went on to get adult jobs, right? Because you can't really be, I think you can be a small streamer forever, but it's hard, right? It's hard because you eventually feel pressure to go out into the real world. And uh, I think a big difference between me and some of them is just, I just stuck around and kept trying. I stuck around and kept trying. That's That's another thing. Don't just stick around to stick around. Stick around and keep trying. Mm -hmm. We've both been sti You just stick around and then eventually something sticks, right? Just keep sticking around and then something sticks. Something like that. It's tough. I, like I said, I, I truly... If you are a small streamer at the moment... It's the toughest place you'll be in. Genuinely. It, it's... It's really tough being a small streamer. It, it just is. There's no, there's no, like, nice way around it. Um, eggs. I have juice. I should expand my store. I 
I'm curious about these kind of topics because I know maybe my core audience, you guys, I always wonder about it because I feel like my core audience, you guys, you know, you want to see me play stuff. Maybe this talk isn't interesting to you. But then I think about the fact that most likely if you're on the internet, most people have at some point considered being a YouTuber and considered being a streamer. Like I think most, some people, I think most of us have at some point considered at least one or the other. Like we'd be lying, right? If we all went like, no, 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 I never did. I never considered. Maybe some people truly do never consider it, but I, I feel at some point, right? Everyone at least considers streaming, YouTubing, TikTok. Ooh, let me get a bunch of eggs while they're on sale. Then I won't have to worry about them. I should also get a bit of the cheeses. I also don't think this is the kind of talk that is like nice to do every day. Because I do think if you get into this talk every day, then it's like, hey, Mata, let's play games. Let's do other stuff. Let let's not talk about. Yeah, it's not an everyday topic. I, I, I think so, too. It's not an everyday topic, but it is a nice topic. Okay, so eggs. I think I just did the prices. Yeah. Sorry, since we started yapping, I got a little off off tangent. I always like when you talk about important topics. I my biggest thing I think is when you're when you're a smaller streamer, it's easier to kind of feel defeated. Like you start off at first and everything's exciting, but then many people will kind of get this lull, right? Where you're like, man, I'm just not really growing. I feel like I'm gaining new audiences and I'm meeting new people, but it's just not really enough or it's just not like I'm still not really growing in viewer count or anything like that. And unfortunately, when when you're smaller, it's it's the hardest. It's the hardest time of streaming. It, it really is. It feels like you have to be playing the game, but also really engaging with your audience in a way. I don't know. Well, thank you for the four months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Another reason I actually don't really want to get into these talks a little too much is I don't want people to go to me for advice about it. I'm always going to tell people, look, you should always go and ask advice about this to somebody who very recently blew up. Somebody who... I think you should go to somebody who has maybe 300, right? Or 200 or 100 if you're at 20 to know how to get to that next level. You should always kind of be... You should have a big picture in mind. But you should still always get to that big picture kind of like one step at a time, right? Because of course, if you came to me for advice, I'll be like, oh, have a shorts channel, have a this channel, have a, you know, have a YouTube editor, have a this. But maybe that's not feasible for you. Also, if you, you have 30 viewers on your stream, having edited content might not be feasible. Yeah, I also don't want it to become that where I give people wrong advice because I'm giving them advice that's a little bit too far out. And like I said, if I give you the advice, oh, post on Reddit about your stream, right? That's outdated. Well, that's what I did. That's what I did. Just, uh... One good thing, though. <laughs> Once you quote unquote get to like the next level, it gets easier and easier. Like once you're past the 100 viewer threshold, it gets easier and easier and easier to like get to the next level and the next level and the next level and the next level and the next level. The next level. Really. It really does. And, uh, you know, for example, it's right now i could easily just be playing hell divers eight hours a day switching out popular guests collabing with big vtubers basically like have a youtube video with every big vtuber and every big streamer on hell divers too well i don't really want to i'm very comfortable i don't 
need to. But if you do want to, it gets like much easier. It's a lot easier to stay popular than it is to... Well, no. Mm. I think it's not that hard staying popular. But I don't know. I'm also saying this, be you know, while a part of a big group, while doing a bunch of YouTube videos, while having a YouTube channel, like, mm, maybe I'm... It is basically Warehouse Simulator. It's because it's easy to go viral. That's the thing. It's easy to go viral, quote unquote. But I do think it's hard to build a community from that first hit of virality. The more community you have, the easier it is to build community. Because you already have a... You already have fans. You already have a culture. You already have people doing things and hanging out and being there. Yeah. Eh. Now you know. Now you know. Thank you, Midori. Have an amazing time at work. Thank you for tuning in, darling. Hope you have a good one. Oh my God, I have no room. I have no room. I have no room anywhere. I have no space. I have no space. Where is my space? I have no space. La 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 la. People aren't always aware of how much work it takes to stream. But that's not a bad thing. Oh, do you mean like the viewers or do you mean the streamers? Because I was going to say, oh, the viewers don't know how much work it is to stream. But also they don't have to know, right? Like when you go to a coffee shop, you're there to get your coffee. You're not there to hear the barista be like, oh my God, can you believe it? I had to go and order my coffee beans and we were out of coffee beans at our, our distributors. So I had to like, yeah, okay. You kind of sympathize. You're like, eh. if she does it once or twice, you'll kind of be like, oh yeah, that sucks. But if eventually you go to your favorite coffee shop and all she talks about is how hard it is to source her coffee beans and how much money it costs to run this coffee shop and how stress she is all the time to run the coffee shop and how she's not really sure she loves running the coffee shop anymore even if the coffee's good and it's on your way to work you might go to another coffee shop where you show up and everyone's like hi how are you great day okay well here's your coffee have a good one because you don't want the extra you know mental hurdle of it but if you're talking about the streamers well then yes i agree i think a lot of people who want to stream don't really realize what streaming is like so that's why i always tell people just try streaming you think you like it try it that being said streaming is so much fun. <laughs> i think you know i think you know how i feel about streaming I think you know my thoughts and feelings about Twitch television. I love streaming. When you get into like a game, oh my god, I'm just, even for tonight, I'm happy we're playing this game, but I already had picked out a few games. That, um, that death game, Day with De Date with Death or whatever. And then, um, the Mindustry game, like I was, I was ready. I was ready with some games, you guys. I was ready to game. I love it. But, I do have a slight video game addiction. I don't know if you've noticed. I also have a slight yapping addiction. Slight. Uh, some say I like to yap. Some people have theorized at certain points that I enjoy the yap.
Some say we're never meant to grow up. I'm sure they never knew enough. Ministry is fun, especially if you play it with friends. I want to try it alone first and then see. I've been meaning to set up a factorio with Mel ages ago. But <laughs> um, then I got busy, then she got busy. You know how it is. And then new games come out. You know how it is. You'd be really good at tea party? Like the Boston tea party? I mean, yeah, I was alive during that time. Good luck, GGA. I think if there's anything you got to learn from my conversation, it's not about trying the hardest. It's about trying different things don't try like 500 different things at once but eventually you gotta try different things Ooh, actually ages ago i'm i'm really genuinely saying like five no maybe eight years ago i had asked uh, a streamer by the name of admiral baru for advice because we had like played some games or something or we had a friend in common and we had each other on discord and I asked the great Admiral Baru for his infinite wisdom. And um, basically what he had told me, I agree with to this day. He said, if you stream eight hours a day and you notice that your stream is, you know, again, don't look at your viewer account every day. But probably by the end of the week, if you are trying to grow, start seeing like how it's going. I really would start saying like, look at it by a month long thing or a week long it depends because sometimes trends happen like if it's just a bad week it doesn't really matter like i have no idea how much my viewership fluctuates um nor does it really change anything to me but what he said was if you're feeling like you're not growing as much or you're feeling stagnant let's say you're streaming six days a week eight hours a day right start streaming six days a week seven hours a day spend that other hour doing research research similar streamers research what they're playing research the streamers slightly above you what they're doing maybe take that time to start doing tiktok or start doing other stuff basically take that extra hour that you would be streaming to do research and i still think to this day, it's a phenomenal, phenomenal advice. I would even say take two less hours and do research. If if you are truly feeling like, oh my God, I'm failing. Like this is it, I am failing, I'm in the dumps. Uh, but sort of important, I wouldn't really take a long break. I wouldn't really take like five months to find what you, sometimes if you wanna like totally rebrand and all that, maybe, but Start streaming a little two hour less and start working on that. Start streaming two hour. I mean, yeah, Aisu, you already told me like you raised your prices, right? I hired Aisu for a project and I wasn't sure because I was like, oh, wait, did I underpay you last time? And she's like, no, I just started. I changed my prices after you hired me. Not after I hired her, but like you change your prices, right? Um... Yeah, stuff like that. Definitely take an extra two hours. You sent me a work in progress. Perfect. I'll take a look tomorrow morning. Take a look tomorrow morning. Thank you, darling. All right. How do we feel? Do we feel this was a good Twitch television? Twitch television uh, discussion? It also makes sense, right? If you're starting out as an artist and you charge too much, you might be afraid that you won't get clients. But you actually, okay, I'm going to... Aisu did something as an artist that I think is so powerful. So Aisu, when I debuted, made me a free logo. Um, I offered to buy it, but I could have just, I don't know, not offered to buy it, I guess. And then I don't know what Aisu would have done. I guess we can find out. Maybe Isa would have been like, you can use it for free. You just cannot put it on merch. If you put it on merch, you'd have to buy merchandising. 
But at the end of the day, like she made a free logo for a big streamer. And uh, I ended up buying it. I use it. But then maybe because of that, she's going to get other clients because I have her logo as my logo. But she did make free work and she had no guarantee that I was going to buy it. So again, do I recommend that you only do free work with no guarantee of people buying it? No. <laughs> but uh, it, it worked. And now, so when, when I offered to buy the logo from you, I paid double than what you quoted me. And now for another logo, you're now charging even more than what the double that I paid you was. Because you're like, oh, my work's going to sell. I can just you know, have competitive prices and it's going to sell. And you did. And that's only what, in the span of five months since I debuted? So in the span of like five months, you had charged me 150 for that logo. And now I got a logo from you for 400 something. So in the span of five months, you effectively brought up your prices threefold. And it, you know, hell yeah, you're still getting customers. People are getting stuff. You're doing it right. No, it wasn't the Christmas logo, but I will be buying the Christmas pattern from you because I want to make Christmas like boxers and maybe a Christmas sweater. Can you actually DM me and give me a ping about that to remind me so I don't forget, please, Aisu? Also, I hope it's okay that I mentioned the prices. They are on your website, so your prices aren't like secret, <laughs> right? Like they are on your website. Also, I should be not stalking as much. I'm losing time stalking. I should be freaking gaming. They are on your website, so I, I'm not, like, you know, outing you for your prices. They are, they are your prices for your art. Publicly, legally. Um, I need... What was the thing I... Oh, small bread. Did I finally clean my boxes? Hell yeah. They are clean. All right. Now, now that I'm getting into this conversation, I keep forgetting to check my stuff. Pizza mix. I think this pizza I actually didn't get yet more on sale. So let's get pizza. Pizza's cheaper. Is that it? Pizza's cheaper. Is that it? I think this is it. Guys, I'm losing time. You're you're distracting me on purpose. Oh yeah. I got you. Thanks for agreeing to do another logo for me on such a short notice. <laughs> Hi Aztec. Thank you so so oh I need honey. Aztec, thank you so, so much for the six months, my love. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, it was just the pizza, right? Do I have a boyfriend? And if not, can you be my boyfriend? Does Buff Buff have a boyfriend? If not, can I be her best friend? Does Cinder have a boyfriend? If not, can I be her boyfriend? Don't ask about other streamers in my chat. Don't ask about other streamers in my chat. I get extremely jealous. I get extremely jealous and I want your attention all to myself. Don't ask about other streamers. How could you? And Dexter, thank you for the six months as well, my love. How dare you bring up other women in my channel? How dare you? I'm the only streamer you should think about all the time. Other streamers, you can think about them when I'm not here. But as you're watching them, you should think about me and think about how much you miss me and how you wish that I was streaming again. Okay? Do I have bad appeals? Nope. And I'm not 
really interested. I think any like good ban appeal, my mods will look through it, but I I have no interest in looking through my ban appeals. If it's anything, my mods will make the, the executive decision. As for me, I'm all right. I need to be a little bit separated from that. It's true, Surly. Because if people write something about me, I can like, you know, what if, what if I'm going to be on my period and I'm going to be like, they said my stream is stupid. My stream's not stupid. And then I get so like sad about it. Nah. No use. Not worth it. Can I show my store? Show store. Show store. Show store, streamer. Show store. Show store. Streamer, show store. Show store. Show store. Show store. Show store. Show store. I showed you my store. Please respond. Your store is nice, but not as nice as your personality. Why is everybody talking about personality when I have such large breasts? Huh? I don't get it. Personality this. Personality that. Beautiful personality. What about my personalities? Huh? Why is nobody ever talking about my personalities? Only my personality. Dexter, thank you so much for the gifted, my dear. Thank you, thank you. And thank you for the six months as well. We want to be gentle. Matara, your personalities, both of them, are so larger than life. So large. You know, so terrifying, so beautiful, so monstrous. Your teeth are so big and scary. Cam, thank you for the gifted as well, darling. Sometimes I worry you might eat me, but then I worry you might not eat me. I, I live in fear of you, but also in awe of you, Matarakon. I wish you were my mommy so you could eat me. I don't know. That's that's me kind of role playing as that other person earlier tonight who was like, "Could you be my real mother?" I forgot what they said, but they did end up getting timed out just because like they started off strong, you know, and then they just kind of. It started off good. And then they they ruined it. They they ruined it. Which sucks cuz they were doing great. They were doing great. They were, you know. Is the momo on my head dizzy yet? I don't know. Let's ask him. Which one of you is dancing on my head, huh? Which one of you is dancing on my head? All right. I really need more shelf space. I never thought I'd say this, but I need more shelf space, which means we need to take a loan and we need to grow the store. We need to take a loan and we need to grow the store. It's too damn small. I know it looks like a decent sized store, but it's too damn small. Maybe we can get another shelf. Hmm. I think I'm going to need another freezer. Another fridge. Another shelf. Okay, we're going to put the freezer up here. Hmm. Uh-oh. Yeah, it doesn't fit just yet. Now let's see if we can get a loan. What's going on here? How much is it? Thank you, Grand Theft Zombie. Great name. Can I increase the store size any more than this? Oh, yeah, but it's going to get expensive. I'm just wondering what's better to do. Which way is it better to increase my store first? 
See, 16 and a half thousand. Oh, I can have another stalker. Nice. 16 and a half thousand. So the next thing we're going to get is more licenses, I think. Hmm. Right, so I think this is how we should do things, right? I remember I bought extra lights specifically for this. I'm going to have to have way more lights. It's pretty dark in here. Okay. Um... Okay. Hmm. All right. Okay. Okay. I know stalker and stalker sounds like the same word. Am I saying stalker or am I saying stalker? I guess we'll never know. Wow. Look at all this extra space. Hmm. We do have a lot of room here. <gasps> Henya! Henya! I saw you were making fun of my store for being disorganized. I saw you were making fun of me. Look at how organized I am, Henya. Do you see this? Do you see how organized I am? You're just jealous, Dayo. You're just jealous I have such a good store. I have such a beautiful store. I have such a clean store. You're just jealous, Henya. Jealous, Dayo. I saw a clip of Henya reacting to my store. <laughs> and it was just me going in and like stocking my boxes everywhere. I see you, Henya. I see you, Henya. I see that you're jealous, Dayo. Jealous, jealous, jealous. All right, so we're going to have this shelf be like all our toilet papers, all our chickens. Thank you so much for the raid. Hi, raiders, and welcome. Welcome to the stream, everybody. I am Matara Khan of the Shoujo, Double Ds, Triple Threat. And today, tonight, I am playing Supermarket Sim. My hope is to get to level maybe 50, maybe 51 before the end of... of um, before the end of uh, tonight's stream. So that tomorrow, Zen won't be able to catch up to me. Explain that pile of boxes. I just expanded my stores. Okay, so it's going to take me a little while. I just expanded my store, okay? I just expanded my store. Come on. It's going to take me a little while. Okay, everybody? But come on. Kenya, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I hope you have a good time outside, whatever you end up doing. Oh, actually, Kenya, I just had a Reese's peanut butter cup. But it's a dark chocolate peanut butter cup. They're these single little cups. Just because sometimes I crave sugar. Mmm. Thank you so, so much, Kenya. This game reminds me of another really addictive game called Space Box. Oh, wait, Dan, is it on Steam? Can you take a look for me? Can you take a look if Space Box is on Steam for me? Sorry, baby. I will not be sharing this peanut butter cup. What's the longest stream I've ever done? Before... Before I was Matara Khan, the woman whose body I live inside has done like a 35 hour stream. Very unhealthy. Do not recommend it. Um, but the longest stream I have done is probably 15 or 18 hours. I think. I think I did like an 18 hour Crusader King stream once, right? Amazon game app. Oh. Oh, I don't even know how to navigate that. Oh. Oh. How do I even navigate that? Hmm. All right. 
let's open the store again and just kind of... <gasps> DFI, I thought you were done! DFI, you stinky, stinky little liar. What the hell is this? What the hell is this, DFI, huh? Hello? What the hell is this, huh? DFI, what are you doing? You gifted like 110 subs yesterday. And now you're doing it again. Hello? What is going on? <laughs> you gifted subs like three hours ago. Two hours ago. I lost track of time. What are you doing? Thank you. Thank you so much for the 50 gifted. Silencio Steve, thank you for the five gifted. Alanot, thank you for the 20 gifted. Are you are you just trying to show the hentais? Are you trying to flex a little bit in front of the hentais? Be honest with me. Are you trying to show the hentais how generous our community is? Yeah, hentais, take that. Look at us. Look at us. We're flexing on you. We're flexing the momo kane. Yeah, hand ties. Look at our deep, wide, large, sexy pockets. What are you gonna say, huh? What are you gonna say, you guys? Hmm. Our sexy, sexy, deep pockets. Hmm. Look at him. Look at those deep, sexy pockets, you guys. Yeah. Okay, wait, how do I put it back in the box? Okay, there we go. I'll just put this down here. Oh, wait, I can't. Oh, it's not letting me put it down? Yeah, I can't put it in there. Thank you, thank you so, so, so much. What the heck? I really appreciate it. All right, so now that I have more space, this whole thing is gonna be for big cleaning products, right? Like big cleaning products like the Javel, random things that I don't have room for, and toilet paper and chickens. Because I have so many toilet papers, I have so many chickens, I just I just need to like shove them somewhere. It's a gift sub! Oh my god, I love that emote. It is such a cute emote, the little swipe. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. How was hanging a stream tonight, by the way? What kind of stuff were you guys up to? What kind of shenanigans were you doing? What kind of little crimes was everybody committing, huh? There's one thing I know about Henya. She's a smooth criminal. Far Cry 3? What? How come she's playing Far Cry 3? Will it shock anybody if I tell you I have not played Far Cry 3? Leche! What the heck? Lecherous, thank you for another 20 gifted. I am so spoiled tonight. All the time. Thank you, everybody. Oh my goodness. T tonight is Spoil Matara night, just like every night. Also, somebody earlier today, I noticed right as Henya raided me, said that they're here from a breaky collab. Thank you. I'm actually collabing with him on Tuesday again. Believe it or not, it's happening again. It's happening again. He will be bullied. And he will like it. So I'm going to put the vodka here. Because I would like to put the little bear paws over there. I should get that. I should get that. Emote artists, listen up. Once I set up my company properly, I want to go through um, all the emotes that I have that people said I could use. I want to pay them like the appropriate emote price. Because there's a lot of people that let me have emotes for free. Just because right now for me to even pay for all of them, it would be so much paperwork and so much hassle and so much everything. Like I'd basically need Vishojo to give out these big kind of stuff just for, you know, one emote every time. So instead, once I have my own company, then it's going to be much easier. 
You know what, Bricky? So, I was telling Bricky about my friend Deerskin. I, I forget why. I just, you know, I hate Deerskin that she comes up in conversation a lot. And you know what he told me? Sorry, Bricky, I'm outing you for this. I, I think he's not lurking anymore because he, he's an old man. He goes to sleep early. <laughs> um, I showed him Deerskin's Twitter and I was talking about Deerskin. And you know what he go he told me? He's like, I can read her name. I was like, wow, that's awesome. Good for you. You've been, you know, you've been learning a little bit of the Japanese. He can read her name. So I think he's doing the anime thing to himself. I think I think he has no one to blame for the anime thing but himself. Genuinely. I think he is to blame for that. Okay, beer and then red chips. Thank you, what the hell? Level 9 hype train, 115 subs and 1,800 bits. What? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it was absolutely a Nihongo Jozu. He's Nihongo Jozu with it. So he's been really honestly doing it to himself. He cannot even say that he hasn't been. He has been doing it to himself. Thank you for spoiling me! Enjoy. Enjoy the lull of gift subs, everybody. Enjoy the sweet, delicious lull of gift subs. Whispered in our ears. I'm gonna need a little bit more Coca-Cola soon. I can't believe we're almost running out of our bottles of Coca-Cola. Finally. I never thought I'd run out of them. Ever. Wow. Is that the same? Oh, that's a different sushi. Sorry. He's learning to say for the emperor in every language. I could see that. I could see that. Would love to see play the Warcraft 3 campaign. I don't know. I don't think it's that. Like, you think you do. But it's going to be you for like two hours of it. And then you're going to go because you have a busy life and you're living an exciting, busy life and you're doing things. And then I'm going to have to finish the campaign. Because then somebody else is going to be like, Matara, you haven't finished the Warcraft 3 campaign. How could you? You need to finish it. My sound alerts are satisfying to hear. I think so too. They make me happy. Make me extremely happy. I love them. Thank you, MA. I appreciate it. He's he's really great to collab with. And another thing is like he's not he's not scared of making new friends, which is really cool. Like I've basically thrown him in situations where he doesn't know anybody. And uh it's it's intimidating. It's scary, right? And it's cool that he's always he's always as the children say, down to clown. You disagree? I'm sorry, Dingo. I also feel like I have so many more things that I'm more excited to play, right? Before a Warcraft 3 campaign. Hell, I'm even more excited to replay a Starcraft 3 campaign than a Warcraft 3 campaign, unfortunately. Should I, should I, what should I put away? What shall I put away today? What shall we put away today? Sorry, StarCraft 1. Did I say StarCraft 3? <laughs> I'm inventing StarCrafts. It's a spoiler. It's a spoiler. They don't know about StarCraft 3. Oh my God, I can't believe. I can't believe I spoiled. No. I can't believe I told you guys about StarCraft 3. It wasn't supposed to tell you. It's supposed to be a secret. Not supposed to talk about StarCraft 3. It's a big secret. It's a big, big secret that we don't talk. Oh my god, I have two empty shelves. What am I doing? I was like, oh, I have not enough space. I have these two empty shelves specifically for the chicken and all that stuff. All right, let's start stocking the pizza somewhere, okay? And the other chips. It's a gift up. And then the other cleaning product. Hmm. Thank 
you, Christopher. Thank you for the gifted. Oh my god. It's never gonna end. Oh no, not the NDA. Yeah, Blizzard. I mean, at this point, would they even be interested in making a StarCraft 3? Genuinely, I wouldn't even know. At this point, I wouldn't even know if they would be interested. Yeah, what if I'm actually playing StarCraft 3 right now? But... What if me playing Supermarket Simulator, I am super imposing my reaction of me playing StarCraft 3. It's just in StarCraft 3, instead of Zergs and Pro... Uh, I almost said Protons and Protoss. There's just boxes of pizza. Yeah, I think um, real-time strategy is... Uh, you know what game I would want to play before? I'm sorry, Dingo. I, I don't mean to be like so rude about Warcraft 3. I'm like, you know what else I'd rather do instead of Warcraft 3? <laughs> I'd rather watch paint dry instead of Warcraft 3. I'd rather watch birds watch paint dry. <laughs> sorry, I'm like really ripping into it. Um, They are billions. I've only played the game in early access. And I know that now the game has a... Um, the game has a story mode that I've never played. So I would... There's a pain that you can watch. There's a game that you can watch Pain Dry. Didn't Zen play that game? I feel like Zen has played everything. What's more horrifying to face? Ultralisks or Hawaiian pizza? I love Hawaiian pizza. So there's your answer. Yeah, I me mean, neither, Dusk. I just don't see them making a StarCraft 3. I don't see there being a demand for a StarCraft 3. Uh, like like uh, people said before, RTS is not exactly the most in-demand genre at the moment. Um, nobody's really demanding RTSs. And there's still enough new RTSs. Um, was it Age of Wonder an RTS? No. There's still a, a little bit. A lot of people also like... Um, actually, I'll tell you what happened to RTS. They're all streaming RimWorld at like super... They're all streaming RimWorld or They Are Billions at high difficulty. That's another thing. For a lot of folks, RTS is also not a vi viable thing to keep making content on. RTS will never hit mainstream. I mean, I don't know how to tell you this because it had, right? It has hit mainstream very, very hard a while ago. It has. So yeah, maybe now the natural incline of things is it won't again. What's RTS? Real-time strategy. So... Starcraft, Warcraft, Command and Conquer, basically those 90s games. You know? Age of Empires does still have, um, you're right, uh, Age of Empires is another one. I know Age of Empires still has... I remember a while back, my friend made me watch an Age of Empires tournament where... I'd have to ask my friend about it. Where, like, some guy hid, like, a little piece of his army really, really far out, and then he clawed his way out. It is, it's great to watch. I really love seeing that. I really love seeing these things still being alive. Uh, Civilization 6 isn't an RTS. It's a 4X game. Um, it's, a, it's a 4X game. So that's a little bit different. Um, it's actually very different. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's got a few slight differences in the sense that they are huge, big differences.
Sorry, I had to do a big stretchy. Stretchy. Oh my god. Guys. Girls. Momos. I keep making this mistake. I keep waking up and stalking my shelves. Instead of just starting the day. I'm losing time. I keep losing time. Is nothing on sale? Cake is more expensive. Eggs four pack is more expensive. Ice cream is cheaper. I already forgot. Ice cream, eggs four pack. I keep catching myself, like not being fast with it. Since when has Henya become a Tarkon? I have taken her over. I am Henya Dayo. Kiru 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 Dayo. What level do you need? I just need as much levels ahead of Zen. I just keep losing track of time because this game is so relaxing. And then not. Oh, ice cream. I keep losing track of time because I'm just so relaxed. But this is not how you make profit. Okay, pasta, spaghetti. You know? Keep losing track of time. What am I doing? What am I doing? Juice. Uh, maybe zap as well? Guys, this is not good. I keep losing track of time. I have to always, always be on the grind. You have to never stop the grind. You have to never stop the music, never stop the grind. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. You played Balatro? I can't get into Balatro. I don't know why. I bought the game. I played it for like 30 minutes. Can't get into it. Even though I like poker. And uh, I haven't refunded it because I don't really refund games. Uh, but I just, um, I can get into it. I don't know why. I really don't know why. Sometimes I don't know why. I'd rather live than die. We look up towards the sky for answers to our lives. Ba -da -ba 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 as fast as by. Don't want no absolution, cause I can make it right. <laughs> Gets rid of all the pain. <laughs> Man. Can't you help me as I'm starting to burn? Too many doses and I'm starting again an attraction. My confidence. See, this is this is how I play the game properly. I just sing a song and just run and stack shelves while the store is open. So I'm making maximum money, maximum profits. That's it. It's the only way. I can't make money if I just sit there. I'll make a momo out of myself. Get rid of all the pain. Okay. Uh, so. La 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 la. Really, tonight, this is all we got to do. Coffee. I guess we can reorder coffee and stock it up. Ooh, yeah, reorder coffee. And reorder the green toilet paper. Coffee. 
We can do double this, I think. And then toilet paper. You blame Giga for getting you addicted? Hmm. I think, um... I just haven't given it a proper shot. Also, you know, just because I like these types of games doesn't mean every one of those games is for me. But yeah, I'm kind of surprised I'm not... I'm having a hard time getting into Balatro. I haven't been able to watch any streams and, uh... A lot of my favorite streamers have been playing Balatro. And I just can't... can't watch them. Because I... I can't get into it. It happens. You know. Like, imagine if you don't want, you don't like me playing this game, and now I keep playing this game, and you're like, oh man, Matara, I don't like it. Oh, Rat King, thank you so much. Hold on, Rat King. I forgot the flower. Rat King, I appreciate you so very much. I hope you know that. Thank you so much for the six months. Can you believe that yesterday was my five months of streaming? Oh, wait. It was three days ago. Oh, two days ago, because technically it's... I get it, I get it. It's because I streamed to the next day. Can you believe this? How quickly the times fly. Here's to many more. I agree, Dingo. And don't worry, we'll find other games like Warcraft. We'll find other games like that to stream. As soon as I beat my addiction for this game, we'll find other games to stream. Um, cheese. Yeah, okay. I need Conte cheese. Remember when I had previously bought like 25 million Conte cheese and now I'm running out of it? Good times. How's my cereal doing? I need the honey cereal and a little bit of the white cereal. Okay, so Conte cheese. And then let's get, let's get just two of it. Oh, oopsies. Perfect. Oh my God. All the boxes. Morph, thank you for the, oh, are you putting that little face because you're gonna snitch to Zen about my level, huh? Huh? Are you gonna tell Zen about my level? Are you? Don't tell her. Don't tell her. Don't tell her that I am ahead. Don't tell her anything. Let her discover it by herself. Let her feel the pain when she wakes up and notices. She besoin de mon fromage comté. J'ai faim. Don't tell her anything. She mustn't know. She mustn't know. About the progress that I have made. Zentreya must not know. Um, how's everything here? Okay, we're gonna run out of Coca-Cola soon. Where is our... Okay, we have blue water. Oh my god, I actually have so much of this white cereal. I shouldn't have bought more. Ugh. Shouldn't have bought more. I made a mistake. Made a little mistake. How's my meat? Got meat? Oh, I'm out of tuna. Finally, I never thought the day would come where I'd be out of tuna. I genuinely never thought the day would come where I'd be out of tuna. Oh, and fries. Where were we? Is it blue water or transparent? It's just, uh, there's, there's two different brands of water. One of them has a white label and one of them has a blue label. So it's easy for me if I just say blue water that I know what I need to buy. Because I know it's just water with the blue label. But if I start saying, I need to buy the water that had the blue label. Remember, Matara. The water with the blue label. I need to start doing this, actually. I need to start putting the food the at the front. The... The shelves with less... The coffee with less things inside of it. That made sense to me. Thank 
you, Ello. Water is transparent, or is it? Or is it? How do you know what's right for me? It's my opinion. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my god. Since I change where everything is, I'm having a harder time. Like, see, now this... I have to do this shenanigan now. Ugh. I have to, like, actually switch where they are. Hate that. Hate that. Hate this! I hate that, you guys. Hate that I actually have to pay attention. All right, are you guys done? You guys are taking a while. Oh, we can have more vodka on the shelves. Perfect. All right, first order of business tomorrow, we're going to take a loan and we're going to get more products. And with more products, we're going to hopefully get to level 50 even faster. What do y'all think? Do y'all think it's a good idea? More metabots, more capitalism, more power. I think more products is more good. I think more sales is better. I think I don't have enough capitalism happening right now. I think we could have more. Thank you, Midwest. Thank you so much for the tier one. I appreciate it. Thank you for subscribing. Hold on, I'm gonna put these coffees where the one with the little amount of coffee is at the front. Can't believe I have to be the one stocking the shelves, huh? This is some, this is some blasphemy over here. All right, I think the customers are gone. Perfect, since the customers are gone, let's close. Products not found three. Yeah, I figured out very late. Okay, so salmon is cheaper. I have too much salmon. And then bottled water. Salmon is cheaper. 10, 15. Bottled water. And then I forget the third one. 3, 15. And then what was the third thing I needed? All right. Alone is what we needed. Oh, coffee, dark roast, more expensive. Her. Just as I bought a few. Okay, that is a lot expensive. Holy cow. Have a good one. Whoever's heading out. Can't tell who's going to bed. Oh, it's Doggo. Have a good one. Have a good eat. Big sushi, small sushi. And then flour. And now my loan might not actually be enough for all the things I need. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think hmm, I think my loan might not actually be enough. Because of all the money I just spent. Hee hee. Hee hee. Hee 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 hee. We'll see, we'll see. Enjoy your work. I hope it's at least a little bit enjoyable like my work. I get it. Sometimes work is just work and it feels like work. Work, work. I get it. I get you. As, uh, as Celine Twain once sang, I'm gonna get you, it's a matter of time. She was an Australian Canadian superstar. Is this? No, these are the wrong packs. There's my big sushi. Oh, there's my tuna. Big superstar. Okay. Uh, where's my other big sushi? Let me get... Actually, I can open. I have to catch up to Zen. Level 48 only. Ugh. I have to be as far ahead of Zen as I can. I just want to stock a 
big sushi before we start. There we go, finally. And then we're good to go. Don't you get a fixed amount of experience per sale? Um, I think people buy more stuff, though. But I could be wrong. Like, if you have more things, people just buy more things. Source? My imagination. My delusion. It came to me through the word of God. Um, I could be wrong. It's rare, but it, it could happen. So, I, uh, you know. You know. Yeah, you can buy something that isn't available. So if you have... <laughs> people die when they are killed. <laughs> Same energy. I love that. People die when they are killed. You can buy something that's not available. Um, yeah, it just feels like if you have more things selling, people will buy more things. Again, I am aware that... This is actually making my head hurt. This is like that time when Onigiri was not understanding the day thing. Good times. People are born when they are birthed. When they are born, they are born. People. Why were they born? Will they wear wigs after they are born? It's, it's, it's a lot, but you know, we're doing our best. All right, how are our egg situation doing? I feel like I always forget to buy eggs. Okay, sugar. Did I not just buy sugar, you guys? What the heck? Eggs, except medium eggs. Oil, white sugar. Eggs, except medium eggs. Oil, white sugar. Eggs, except medium eggs. Oil, white sugar. Right, oil? Am I crazy? I'm not crazy. Eggs except medium eggs. Oil. White sugar. Thank you, moron. I appreciate it, darling. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, oopsies. Oh my god. Oh my god. The boxes, they never get smaller. You heard Moron? Hey, Moron. How you doing, Moron? <laughs> it's a good name. I like it. Moron. You're always, you're always making people double take. Like, what did you call me? How dare you say that to me? I did not come to your stream to get attacked so viciously. I feel very insulted, streamer. Maybe I do have a lot of items. Maybe I should just store the current items that I have to figure out what I'm actually missing. Dun 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 dun. Oh my god. They are efficient. They're efficient little guys. I came to this stream just to get attacked. Yeah. You're welcome. I do what I can. I do what I can. I try my best. It's hard sometimes. It's hard to always be creative in my insults. You ever see those uh, compilations of reality TV? And then some of those, I'm like, wow. I would have never been able to think of those. Would have never been able to come up with something like this. The worst I can say is, you suck. Wait, this... I didn't realize it's called Les Pieds. <laughs> this sunflower oil is called The Feet. It's called The Feet. Not like I am defeated, but like the feet, the foot of the.
That is funny. How did I not notice that before? It's called the feet. Le feet. Sniffa, sniffa, sniffa. Nothing like two two day old sidewalk sushi. It's a delicacy around these parts. Say what you want, but our two day old sidewalk sushi is the best two day old sidewalk sushi. Nobody else compares. No one can compare to our sidewalk sushi. It's decorative French. It really is. They called it the feet. It has to be on purpose. It has to be on purpose. I don't see no other way. I don't see... Did I not have a bunch of eggs somewhere? The problem is the whole game blurs. I don't know where all my eggs were. I don't know where they were. It's been so many years since I've had fresh eggs. Valley, you're doing it wrong. You're only supposed to be watching one stream. Mine. Never ever supposed to watch another stream at the same time. It's wrong. You're living your life wrong. You're not supposed to do it like that. I disagree with your lifestyle choices. I think you're wrong. No zeu, so. I guess it's no. Nobody says no zeu. Do they? I know it's like technically uh, It's like no zeu. But nobody says that. We're wrong, but we say mes No, that's not true. We actually say mes Guys, I gotta pee again. I feel like I just recently peed and I gotta pee again. All I do is pee. All I do is pee and drink and take break and stock shelves. That's my life. But if I take a break, my profits. What's going to happen to my money and my profits? I don't want to lose my money. I don't want to lose my profits. You guys. I'm scared. Good to go. All right, how are we doing? We're gonna need more condiments soon. We're gonna need more beer. I feel like they never stock the tea. Have you guys noticed this? Have you noticed how lazy these guys are? They never seem to stock the tea. I don't even know where the hell I left my tea. Thank you, Vio. Thank you for the five months. Vio, what was the thing you participated on? I saw that you were on the Twitter. I saw that you placed on the Twitter in some geography contest or something. I didn't even know you knew geography. I'm kidding. I know you knew geography. Thank you for the five months, my dear. Oh, I actually have to poke you. Um, my parents are going to Vegas. I was going to DM you and ask you about like a few places that you recommend, like Korean barbecue or anything like that for them. I was actually going to DM you. And I was also going to use that as an excuse to slide into your DMs and be like, Hey, how you been? I miss you. What's going on? You know what I'm surprised? I'm surprised Mike only got like fifth or something. I'm surprised he only got fifth. Geography's in his blood. But anyway. I will slide into your messages very shortly to ask you... Um, where my parents can go. Oh, he got third. Sorry, that's what I meant. I'm sorry. This game has taken over my brain. The routine lull of the cash and just the... Uh, this game's taken over my brain, as you can probably tell. This game has is, is taken over my life. As you can probably tell. You're starving for Korean barbecue? There's some really good ones in Las Vegas. Thank you, Flame, for the four months as well. There's some really good ones there. Just DM me any places you think would be good for food. Preferably not super expensive ones because they, even if I pay for it all, they won't. 
they won't go. Even if I pay for all the expensive food places, they simply, ooh, tuna's on sale. Is it time to buy 50 cans of tuna again? Ooh. Ooh. Is it time to buy 50 cans of tuna again? Only God will know. Oh, how amazing. The microplastic milk is on sale. Just as I need a ton of microplastic milk, it's all on sale. How wonderful. Milk with the microplastics now even cheaper. Welcome to my box market. It's my market where I sell my goods better than Zen's market where Zen sells her goods. Say what you will, my market's better. All right, let's take a loan from the bank. Let's take a nice little professional loan, shall we? All right. Let's see what we got. Chicken leg, prosciutto. Okay. It's a gift up. It's gonna be expensive. So these are all fridge things, I think. Fridge, 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 fridge. Perfect. Um, so I might need an extra fridge. That is number one, what I'm gonna need. An extra fridge. Not three fridges, sorry. Thank you, Silence, for the gifted. Steve, I noticed you subscribed earlier and now you're gifting subs. What happened? How come? How come? How come you're living life so dangerously, Steve? What happened? Why are we party rocking tonight, huh? What's going on? Hmm? Hmm? Steve, stop it. Your money is precious. Don't let me have it. I'm going to send my parents to Las Vegas. Don't let me have your money. Don't do it, Steve. You don't want my parents to just have a great time in Las Vegas. Don't do it. Uh-uh. You think, you think you want this. You don't. It's not how things should be. Okay, so three, three... Three. I guess I could take one of these meats out, right? Since they have full shelves in the back, we can just three, three, three it. And then I'll add another meat in there. Hold on, hold on. I gotta focus. Perfect. My wrong. No, 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 no. Don't refill it. You. See, that's the problem is these guys, they're a little too efficient. They're a little too efficient. So... They're already refilling it. Damn it. It's fine. Because then basically I'll have three and then two will be. And then here I can also take one of these guys off. I'll probably... Hmm. These guys have less on their shelf. So I actually want to keep all of these, I think. I need more big sushi. Big sushi! Then I need a pee break. I keep forgetting I need a pee break. And I just... Oh, we can't afford the big sushi. Not yet. If you take the sticker off... Oh, I didn't know I could do that. Thank you. Oh. Well, I guess I had to do it while it was empty, right? I guess I had to do... I'll, I'll maybe do it again. These little chicken. Is that a chicken? Please fit. Please fit. Please fit. Beautiful. Wait. Nice. Thank you. I didn't realize they would do that. <gasps> this fixes a lot. This is nice. This is good. I like it. All right. Let's put the meat randomly so they can start filling up my meat. And then they can start filling up my other stuff. This is my pepper. I remember I had like a little group of peppers somewhere, but I don't know how long ago that was. Ah, there we go. Okay, maybe I should not have bought so much pepper. 
We'll be fine. Our sticker. Nope. It's my sticker now. It's my sticker now, baby. It's my sticker now, and I get to keep it. You don't get your sticker. Oh, I did have an extra shelf in this fridge. Perfect. Um, so I guess the middle shelf. Hold on. Yeah, the middle shelf is what I got to get rid of. Perfect. So I did have an extra fridge space over there. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Why did I buy so many things, you guys? Hmm? Why didn't you stop me from buying so many things? Why? Now I have no space. Why didn't you prevent me from shopping? Why didn't you say, Matara, it's enough. You've shopped enough. You should always buy more things. True, I should. You're a bad influence on me, Momos. Look at all the money I've been spending. It's all you. Why? Why did you make me do it? Let me use the restroom and then let me check the prices. And then let me start the day with all the new stuff that we just bought. So we got chicken, prosciutto, ham pastry, ground. Okay, we're missing all. Hold on. Wait, before we start, because I'm going to forget it. It would be like here, I guess, because this is where I'm. I don't want to start the day before stocking the fridges. Oh, there we go. Because uh, if I do, I don't want to... Galette Bretonne? Wait a second. Deux galettes Bretonne fromage jambon. Oh, nice. They're like little frozen grapes. Sounds delicious. All right. I'll be back. I have to set the new items. I have to set their new prices. That's why I'm checking that they're all on the shelves. Hmm. Okay, everybody. I will be right back. I am going to run ads just so we don't have ads for the next hour or so. I will be right back. Okay. Don't go anywhere. Or, you know, go gate. Go, go pee as well. <laughs> One second, my love. Up. 
Hello? Running this advertisement actually made me go wash my hands. Because I thought, I came back and I saw that the ads weren't done. So I washed my hands and now I'm back again. Timmy, hello. Thank you so much. Hold on. Timmy, thank you for the gifted. Silencio, thank you for the gifted. Xander and Rat King, thank you for the gifted. Why do you guys give me stuff when I'm not here, huh? What is this strategy of giving me things when I disappear? Hmm? It's, a gift up. it's just to surprise you. Well, color me surprised. It's funnier that way. But it's funny. It's you didn't up. clean them last time? I tend not to clean my hands. You know? I let, I let nat nature handle it. I let nature handle my hands. I don't worry about my hands. What's a little bit of uh, of 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 dirt and pee and grime, you know? Okay, Coca Cola is more expensive. I just think that it's nice to have a little bit of pee pee hands sometimes, you know? Why not? Wait, no. All right, let me find my stuff. Thank you so much for the gifted, everybody. What a time to join! Yeah, it's 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 not my not my greatest speech, not not my greatest uh, not my classiest moment, but somehow not my worst moment. Believe it or not. Sliced ham. Okay, I think we haven't had the sliced ham yet. So let's put it here. It's not much, but it's better than nothing. Perfect. And then do we have enough? Yes. So I think I'm only missing like one item to put in the fridge from the new one, two, three, four, and then five over there. And there's six items, I think. I think I'm missing the other item in the... I'm missing the ham pastry. Oh, and the lasagna. Two items. Should I buy another fridge? Should I buy another fridge? Oh, I have... I have one whole shelf here. I just realized. I can just do this. Alright. Give me a moment, everybody. Give me a moment. Alright. Take out the sticker. No! Take out the sticker! Quickly! No! He's coming! See, like the box is broken. I can't put it down. No, no. Hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna trick him. I'm gonna trick him. Go back. Go back. Go back. Perfect. Now I have to outspeed him. I have to outspeed him. Sticker. Sticker. Oh, oh my god, I did it. I did it. Okay. Now we have to find the item. All right, everybody. We have to find the lasagna. I think they're going to be in these medium boxes. We have to find the lasagna before we open the store. Thank you for the gifted, everybody. Really appreciate it. Oh! One small step for lasagna, one giant leap for me. All right. Lasagna la bologna. The only problem now is that it's going to be kind of hard to find everything because everything is so scattered. I'm going to have to move things around after. 
So I would need to kind of take these two over when I can. Hmm. I wish I could take off the sticker before they refilled it. Uh, oh, I have one space there I can actually utilize. Perfect. Um, all right, we have to find the ham pastry, everybody. I think you have a hoarding problem. How dare you? How dare you say such hurtful things to me? How could you? I have feelings, you know. How could you? Don't say that. Don't say that. You don't mean it, do you? Aye! Okay, thank God. It was just a flesh wound. I'm gonna walk it off. I'm gonna walk it off. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Barely even hurt. No, that's the other one. Ah, that's fine. I'll just take the experience hit as it as it comes. It's fine. I'll take the experience hit. It's very little experience hit, and I'm just gonna start putting away my milk. My microplastics milk. Delicious microplastic milk. Delicious, nutritious microplastic milk. Welcome to Momo Mart. We specialize in street food. I mean, yeah. I just went to Thailand and I got inspired by all the amazing street food that I ate. So I thought when I come back, I want to also have street food. I just, uh, I guess somewhere there was a little bit of lost in translate. Stop. Is that it? That's it. That's it. That's the one I was missing. Wham, bam. Thank you. Perfect. I saw it. I saw the light. Yeah, I just... Uh, I was so inspired by all the amazing cuisine in Thailand that I thought, you know what? I too am going to open my own street food, as they say. You can, uh, you can, you can wonder yourself if I understood the assignment or not. You've gotten so used to my boxes that it feels weird watching other people play without the boxes, right? Because you know in your heart that the boxes are good, that the boxes are just, that we hear. Have you ever played Frostpunk? How everybody eventually, spoiler alert, in one of the ideologies, they just start worshiping the, the radiator like a god? The boxes are our god. Nobody understands us like the box god. The box god is just. If you make money and you spend money, the box god will bless you. He cares for us. He loves us. He truly, truly understands us. He knows. He knows when we are sleeping. He knows when we're awake. He knows when we've been good or bad. So be good, for goodness sake. You're selling a product without setting its price. It's this, isn't it? No. I also need toilet paper. It's every product. Apparently. I can also get rid of uh, one of these shelves eventually too. Because initially I had so many shelves because I had... Hmm, had so many shelves. Because uh, I had to stock everything myself. So I figured if I have more shelves, then by the time it takes me to stock things, things wouldn't run out as much. But now that I have people stocking, especially in the fridges, I wouldn't have to worry as much and just buy buy things as they come. Maybe as I grow the store, we'll see. But I'm definitely going to have to reorganize my fridges. 
I wish there was an easier way to reorgan. Maybe I just keep a few empty boxes. Maybe that's what I gotta do. I just gotta keep a few empty boxes. Hmm. So for example. Bam. Beautiful. I do like keeping all of these because there's only four, but then that's enough. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful. I did that. That's not the one. That's not the one. Okay, this is the one. More space equals, equals bigger buffer to last the day. Yep. Even now, I still want to have a little bit of a buffer for these guys to restock. Um, simply because they might be restocking other things or they might be taking their time. So even with having all these restockers, I still want a good buffer on the restocking. Right? It just makes sense. I still don't want to have things in only one shelf. But, uh... Hmm. I still need, like, an, an easier way to look in my warehouse and understand where everything is. Right now, it's a little tough. Now it's a little tough to look into my warehouse and understand where everything is. Where they all hide. I would love to turn this shelf into my meat shelf. Into my meat, meat shelf. So we put the chicken here. Kind of put the chips there. Hey. My sushi. My sushi. Your sushi's on the street. Come buy it. Come buy your street sushi. It is delicious. It is nutritious. It is the best street sushi you've ever eaten. Seriously, I'm giving street sushi a whole new meaning with this. I'm gonna have a... Didn't I have cleaner? I never have enough space. For all the things I need. I'm never gonna have enough space. I think maybe it would be a little too OP. If they emptied your boxes like for example some of these boxes have nothing in them like um, this one has five so if I open this box right and then I open that box they could easily combine but I think that would be OP if they do that because then it would just always assure that everything is like like see here there's 17 So four boxes, and it's supposed to be 40. So they could easily clear some of them up. Yeah, I think that would be OP. I think my box count is kind of low. I agree with you. I think I need more boxes. I think I need more boxes. I don't think I have enough boxes. I agree with you. I think life is short. We should buy more boxes. I think I'm, I need to get more space. That's for sure. So I think what I need to do here is I need to push you guys up here. Right? Uh, why don't I just turn you guys this way? Is there any problem with that? It's the same thing, right? Moving you guys this way. Just might be easier to walk through. Okay. Well then, let's move you guys this way with like a little bit of a... Oh, yeah, I guess I want to have a little bit of a opening, huh? All right, let's do it this way. Hold on. What am I looking forward to? Honestly, thank you for the bits. I think just the fact that there is um, stocking on the shelves. I think that's been such a huge quality of life upgrade for me. That has made me so so happy. I don't know what else I'd be looking forward to. I feel like already the game, the game has done so much. I think having some form of expiration could be nice, but I think the expiration should only be on certain items. I think if they do add expiration, you will need a certain way to stock items a little better. Uh, I could move you down here. 
right? Because this is a lot of space. I might not need that much space. Yeah, I might not need that much space, huh? A screaming and crying as her street sushi expires. It's fine. Your street sushi's fine. Don't even worry about it. It's good. It's delicious. It's delicious. It's nutritious. Don't even sweat it. I'm sure it's still good. I'm sure your street sushi is still oishi. So delicious. So nutritious. I'm addicted to Martcraft. Oh, I like that. Except there's no crafting, unfortunately. They should add samples. For what, though? For you or for the customers? Like, is it going to make the game more realistic for you? Is that what you mean with the samples? Because I don't really see how the samples affect the gameplay. But if it's just for that, like, hee hee, samples, then yeah, I guess that's fun. Bam. Get out of here. And yeah. Then I do think it's fun. Yes. Oh, I forgot that I moved them this way. Uh. Oh my god. Everything is such a mess. <laughs> Everything is such a mess, y'all. I wonder if you could... One thing I've said before is I would like to pay for, like, research and development. So maybe when you buy cheese or potatoes, you buy them in a bigger box or the box fits more. But then I feel like that would kind of break the game in a way or change the game. So I don't know. I'm not really sure. All right. Oh, cheese. I was going to say, I think I'm done playing for tonight, but then I saw the cheese go on sale. I have got to buy the cheese while it's on sale, y'all. We have got to buy the cheese while it's on sale. I think... I think I'm gamed out. I could keep playing, but at the same time... I could also play a little bit tomorrow. Right? I could also play a little bit tomorrow. And uh, it would be nice to take a little, a little break, a little breather from this game. I think I'm doing all right. I'm level 48. Oh. I should play a little bit. I should, like, what's another day, right? What's another day, right? Every single day that I play is a day that I get ahead of Zen. And that's gonna help me win. Because right now, if Zen just has, like, a 12-hour stream tomorrow, she beats me. Especially if I don't play this game. So maybe I should just suck it up and go. Right? Oh. Maybe. 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 What do y'all think? All right. I gotta put these waters back and then quickly take the, the thing off. Quickly take the sticker off before he gets there. My sticker. My sticker, put it back. Put back my sticker. Put it back. Put back my sticker. My sticker. My sticker. Put it back. And we need more Coca-Cola as well, actually.
let's move this over there. Let's refill my shelf with Coca-Cola before I run out and then... Hmm. I think you should do what you want. I agree. I should do what I want. And I want to beat Zen. For real. I to beat her. And I'm fair as her. I want to drown myself in her breasts. And suffocate. Die there. Yeah, that's going to be really embarrassing for her. Yeah. That's right. She's going to be so embarrassed. You. See, like, I hate that these boxes that have three things in them are broken. So I can't put them on the floor. Because I would just restock and make things easier if I could just put those broken boxes on the floor, but I can't. Which sucks. Yeah, she would hate that. She would hate it. She would be mortified. Uh, did I buy more potato? I need more potato. I need to buy more potato. Thank you for the gift sub. I appreciate it. More potato. And more mosh potato, too. Just in case. Might as well. Oh my god, we're never gonna... It's never gonna be clean. This is it. I've given up. I've given up on cleanliness. It's never gonna be clean. I don't think the restockers should pick up outside, but I think it would be nice if they like combined your boxes inside. Because sometimes having like, like I said before, having um like some of this coffee, right? I have two in this box. I have 22 minus six, uh, six in here. Eight and then eight. Like, I just wish they would combine them a little bit. Like, I have three in this first one. I, I'd like that. I think that would be nice. But I also feel like maybe that will make the game a lot easier. Because then they'll basically consolidate all the boxes. Or I'd be okay if they at least fix the broken boxes, right? Because, like, here I can put this box on the floor. But sometimes I can't even put those boxes on the floor. Next updates, you get fines? No. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea. I think that's a bad idea. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Okay, I need another medium-sized box for water. I don't like that at all. That's an awful idea. I hate it. I, I do think some kind of food expiry could be good. But unfortunately, with a lot of this food, I don't think expiry would make sense. Right? Like, I get it with eggs and milk and things like that, but toilet paper. That's never going to expire. You know? Um, honey. Things like that. There's a lot of stuff that wouldn't super stonk market rate. Thank you, Naren Siren. Thank you so much for the... Is it Siren or is... Oh, it's Serene. Oopsies. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Are you having a great day? Are you having a great night? Are we having a great stream? I'm guessing you were also playing the supermarket game. It is addictive. It eats my time. It eats my soul. I get you. I get you. Thank you so, so much for the raid. Welcome, everybody. How is your supermarket? I know the toilet paper is called bidet. One of the best names I have to show you. Um, one of the oils. It's like um, sunflower oil. It's called the feet. Look, look, look. 
les pieds. That is called the feet. No, 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 no. Not how I like things to go. Maybe upgraded shelves that don't need boxes. Uh, what do you mean by don't need boxes? I would like to have a guy whose job is just like, maybe you can set up one of your guys that stocks to just like put the boxes together so that there's less, you know. Like I said before, if you have one box that has seven and another box that has five, put them in one box and then trash the other one. I would be okay to sacrifice a stalker for that. Even if he works mega slowly, I just, I think that's a nice thing to add. Baphomet, thank you for the gifted. Getting so many gifted tonight, thank you. There should be a small interest. No! I think in these kinds of games, all your money should be in the inventory. All of it. All your money should be outside. It should be outside for everybody to see and everybody to loot. That is how your money should be. You are wrong. Yeah, see, I have one vodka bottle. And then if I had another vodka bottle anywhere, he would just take that other one and put them together. But I am I am aware that maybe it'll make the game a little trivial. Like here, C17, and then you have one. They could easily combine those. I am aware that maybe it's a break in the game. Uh, what do I want to find? I don't know what I want to find. No idea what, to find, what I want to find anymore. Probably some of the new stuff, right? To put in the shelves. Hmm. Cleaner. Here. Thank you for the gift sub, Supermarket Sushi. You know, in Japan, the supermarket sushi was good. And I know what you're going to say. You're all going to say, but Mata, you had food poisoning the day you had supermarket sushi. It wasn't because of the supermarket sushi. It was because of the raw chicken liver. Okay? It was the raw chicken liver. It wasn't the supermarket sushi. It was the raw chicken liver. I'm telling you. I sound weird to you. In what way? Mm. What do you mean by that? Really, Baphomet, which supermarkets are you going to? Maybe, maybe I should, uh, maybe I should expand my supermarket horizon. Why would you eat raw liver? Because my friend ordered it and they said that it's their favorite and I wanted to try it. Yeah, I have to buy the ham thing, more of it. Big sushi as well. Yeah, so I think I have big sushi in storage. They just haven't refilled it because, oh no, that's medium sushi. They just haven't refilled it. What am I looking for? Is this also medium? Yeah, okay, I actually am missing big sushi then. It's like a maze out there? Nah. It's easy to find your stuff. I don't know what you're talking about. Is she still shopping or is she leaving? Okay, she's leaving. I thought she was still shopping. Pizza, salmon. It never ends. Okay, so the salmon is. Uh, I could get rid of one of the hummuses. I need to get rid of these guys and one of the hummuses. And then I have another three shelf here. Actually, I can maybe keep the hummuses as four because they only have six. There's a Kroger by you that has sushi. I've never seen a Kroger have sushi. To be honest with you. Hmm. I too have never seen a Kroger have sushi. Interesting. And it's good? It's even more suspicious. 
That's even more suspicious, my love. Okay, we gotta we gotta find a way to get rid of those eggs. We gotta. We gotta. We gotta find a way to get rid of those eggs, you guys. Mm. Vermin, do you feel the shame? The shame of the plastic? Does it call your name? I feel zero shame for my store. I think my store looks classy. I think it's organized. I think it's nice. I think it's cool. I think it's hip. Yeah, there's no way I can like get all that out of there. I feel no shame. At all. Just letting you know. Absolutely none. I love my store. I think it looks great. I want to start stocking it on shelf so I can see where it is. Ooh. A little sale on durian dish soap. My favorite flavor of dish soap. You can get 30. The dish soap stocks. Small. Uh, I feel like I already got a lot of pizza. I, I know my back is just filled with pizza, so maybe no pizza for now. And then durian dish soap. My favorite flavor of dish soap. It sounds stinky. No. It's good stinky. It's good stinky. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Okay, after that one, I'll get the cleaners. All right. Let's get going. Another day. Another dime. All right, we're almost out of that shell. Cleaner, cleaner, cleaner. Is that it? I needed toilet paper too, did I not? Oh my god, I'm getting lost in all my space. I don't have any space for anything. I don't know where to put my stuff. I don't know where to put my stuff, you guys. I have no more space for anything. I don't know where to put all my stuff. I don't know where to put all my stuff, you guys. I don't know where to put all my stuff. My stuff, my stuff, my stuff, my stuff. I don't know where to put my stuff. I don't know where to put my stuff. My lasagna, la bolognese, my lasagna. Durian smells like a dead body. No, it doesn't. I just had durian in Thailand. Stop, stop being like that. It does not. I'm talking a lot of shit, my friend. It doesn't. It smells fine. It smells fine. All right, I might actually need to get toilet paper before because we're going to run out of toilet paper. Hmm. I see, like, over there, that could be combined. Yeah, I wouldn't, you know, you could say that durian maybe doesn't have the best smell, but you don't have, you know, come on, you don't gotta go like that. You don't gotta be like that about it. Think about the durian's feelings. You would be offended if it knew that's how you think about it. Be nice. Be nice, my love. All right. Oh, wow. It's called sapu. <laughs> it means it stinks, but it's written very like... That's not how you spell it or write it, but that's so funny. That's very cute and clever. I like it. Sapu! Very cute. Very, very, very cute. What is going on in front of your store? Well, I am organizing. Slowly but surely, 
I am creating. I am organizing slowly but surely. Oh, what was at the top? Was it the ham and cheese thing that's now like sold out? Where's the ham and cheese thing? I'm not gonna find it. Over 30 boxes of sapu. Okay, let's get some of the cleaners. And then let's get the ham and cheese thing. Wait, I can only afford one. Stop adding it to cart, Matara! Is that it? No. Is that it? The one... Oh my goodness. I had to buy like two. Oh, there it is. Wait. Oh, it's because I accidentally... Oh my goodness. I made a mistake, you guys. I made a mistake. Thank you for the raid, Fable. Welcome, Raiders. And Wilma, thank you so much for the gifted to shelving unit. Because yes, you are correct. We need more shelving units. Thank you so much, Fable, for the raid. Welcome. Welcome, Raiders. Bottled water is too expensive or are you too cheap? You're kind of cheap, but I will lower the price. Cheap ass. Welcome, Raiders. What kind of stuff are you streaming today? What kind of games are you playing? What kind of things are you doing? Talk to me. What adventures were y'all were y'all up to? Anything? Anything fun? Anything exciting? Anything? What do you mean the box situation got worse? Hey. Be careful, I'm gonna reinstate my rule. You are not allowed to criticize my boxes. Unless you gift me a sub. There we go. One sub equals one. Matara, you have so many boxes. Matara, why do you have so many boxes? Okay, I needed more toilet paper, but I think it's there. All right, Elite. Say the line. Say the line, Elite. Say it. Say it, Wilma. Say it. I know you want to. I know you've been wanting to say it. Say the line. Say the line. Say it. I know it's been on your mind. Legion, no. Get out of here, Legion. <laughs> the stream's over, Legion. Don't look. Legion, get out. <laughs> Morin, stop. Get out. The stream's over. Stop. Thank you, everybody. All right. We can have one, two, 22 comments from the audience about the boxes. We can have 22 comments from the audience about the boxes. I will allow it. Ah. <sighs> okay, we need lights. That's number one. I'm I'm allowing it. Thank you so much for the gift. Thank you for your generosity, everybody. Even though I know that you are only doing this to harm me. I know that you are only doing this to hurt and to harm. But I still must say thank you. Say the line. Say it. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Thank you, Wilma. One bit for every box getting run over by cars, which is a little less than 100, but maybe since the beginning of the game. It probably has been close to 100 since the beginning of the game. You might be right. You might be right. I hate I hate to admit this, but you, you might be having a point there. You might have a point there, buddy. You love it when I'm angry? 
You won't like me when I'm angry. Who was it again? Was that Timo or was that some other little little guy in the League of Legends? There's so many of those little League of Legends guys and girls. The little ones. Cadence, thank you so much. Does it count? If you give your sub to too many boxes, does it count as you giving me your commentary? Right? I guess it counts. Cadence from Hyrule. It counts. You are not allowed to, to give me more. More words. You have spoken your words. You have you have let your disdain be shown naturally. Thank you, M Fool. That that was um That was a great comment. Thank you. Thank you for telling us how you really feel about the situation of the boxes. I appreciate that. I wasn't sure, but now now I know. I wasn't sure, but now I know. Because I think I bought too much stuff. I think I bought too much stuff, you guys. Oh my god, the boop was kind of loud. I was so used to hearing the It's a Gift subs that the boop kind of caught me off guard. Boop. You think I need more stuff? I think I need more stuff too. I think I don't have enough stuff. I could have more stuff. Oh, I think it's starting to lag a bit. Alright, let's get to level 50 and then I'll consider ending for tonight. I feel like if I get to level 50, I'm going to have a good enough kind of um, advantage on Zen that uh, it'll be a nice advantage. And then we can kind of take it from there. Not the lag. It's starting a little bit, huh? Do you think it's because I got too many boxes? If it lags too hard, I can I can also stop for tonight, you know? First timer, have a great night. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the stream tonight. Hope you're having a great first time with us. It's important that your first time is comfortable and enjoyable. Because it'll set the precedent for many other future times here with us. You know? I think you know. I think we all know. Like, look at this. There's only four and it uses two boxes. This is blasphemy and I hate it. I hate that. Why are there so many boxes? Can't ask that. Can't ask these questions. It's not right. Can't ask these questions to be. It's not okay. You have to think before you speak. I have feelings. My boxes have feelings. Please, don't bully them. They'll cry. My poor boxes. Oh, that's why... Okay. So you guys weren't trying to bully me. You guys just wanted to be a part of the hype train. I was worried when, uh, when I saw everybody gifting subs. I was like, oh, everybody wants to bully me. But no, you guys just wanted to be a part of the hype train. You guys are so nice. Thank you, everybody. I was thinking, I was thinking you guys wanted to, wanted to bully me a bit. You're not like that, Momos. Thanks, y'all. Aw, you're so nice. Y'all are so nice. I can't believe I was worried y'all were going to bully me. Canadian, thank you for the gifted. I was worried. I was worried you guys just wanted to bully me about my shop management. Aww. Thanks, y'all. Oh, boy. Products found expensive eight. Okay, this means I have to go through the whole store. 
Means I have to go to the whole, whole store, y'all. Not good. Not good. You know what this also means? I think this means it's time to take a break from this game. I think... I think it's time to take a little breather from this game. What do y'all think? Also could get rid of one of the hands there. Oh boy. No way Zen can beat Matara now. Zen's gonna have about 12 hours of stream tomorrow. So I think as long as I go live by 6 p.m. and play head to head against her, I have a pretty good shot to win. Because I've only streamed about I know I've been streaming for almost six hours, but I didn't do the whole six hours of this game, and I was playing kind of slowly. I feel like I I've been playing kind of slowly. So. I, um. I think the answer here would be that I, um. Yeah. Just that I, I I go live tomorrow and catch up with her. It's a bet between all of the shoujo. It actually isn't even that crazy of a bet, but whoever wins basically gets to um, take our next IRL spot, IRL streaming spot. I just, I'm competitive with Zen. I'm gonna save. I'm not going to bed just yet. I'm going to save. I'm not going to lie. It doesn't feel like I... Maybe let me take a little break and then see if I can go back to the supermarket. I just... I can't look at boxes anymore. I really can't look at boxes anymore. I think if she grinds all day tomorrow, but then I grind all day tomorrow, then I should be good. I think I can probably go live right after my interview. You think I you just hit return to many without saving? Nope. I definitely pressed save. And then um, the game auto saves when you go return to menu. You heard Zen's been playing this game off stream? Yeah, me too. Did I save? Now I'm scared, you guys. Yeah, I saved. You all suck. <laughs> you all suck scaring me for nothing. Uh, see, it saves automatically. Oh, you guys can't see it because I'm hiding it. Basically, if Zen doesn't play tomorrow, I win. If Zen plays tomorrow and I go live and I play, then if Zen plays tomorrow and I don't play, she wins. If we both play tomorrow, I think I should be fine. You know she's gonna play tomorrow. Or now. I don't know if she's playing right now, though. I doubt it. I feel like she... What was she doing on Patreon night? Was she gaming with, with her audience? Or was she... What is she doing on Patreon night? I think she might be getting a bit burned out because I was getting a bit burned out at this game. In in her defense, though, I have played this game for 35 hours. So I am also getting a little bit burned out. <laughs> it's a great game, but God, I do not want to look at any more boxes. So I think, yeah, I think as long as I log in tomorrow and play tomorrow, we should be fine. What is this? I have two copyright claims for my Thailand story. What is this? Astrid featuring street cleaner? My Thailand stories video can be monetized. Hold on, I just want to see what this is. 
46.55 and then 117.58. Okay, everybody write down 118 and then I'm going to go to 46.55. Forty-six, fifty-five. Oh, does anybody know? Oh, was it Motherload? Oh my God! It's a game that I looked on Steam that had background music. All right, I'm gonna tell Zenti to trim it. Hold on, before I forget, Zenti. Uh, can we blur or trim in the Thailand stories video the two copyrights? It's music from a Steam game. And then what was the other one? 118? It's like 11755. Same thing. It's it's from a Steam game. It's from a Steam game. It's from the Oregon Trail, the second one. I mean, they could be legitimate songs, right? That maybe the game got permission to um, have it, but I don't have permission to have it in the stream. Why would Steam do this to us? I don't think Steam did it on purpose. I think it was just... Uh... I don't think Steam did it on purpose. Let me get up a bit. I don't think Steam did it on purpose. But I want to get better at removing strikes from content. It's it's kind of a even though even though VODs aren't, you know, crazy amounts of money, I just think it's stupid that I can have an eight hour video. Like this Thailand story stream is six hours and five minutes. And because there's 30 seconds twice of a music. They get the money for that video. That it that to me mentally is like, fuck you guys. <laughs> Does that make sense? I'm not even that, you know, hateful, but fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. That was a, a like, this is a six hour video with 230 second, and it's not like, yeah. You guys i i want to make sure i want to make sure they're having none of it none of it it's all mine all this money's mine oh yeah oh yeah i can understand you know why twitch is is the the streaming platform i get it which again, it's not a big deal, but greedy bug has a point. It's not a big deal, but it's definitely something that I wanna I wanna be a little mindful of and do and do better. And just not leave any any videos with that kind of stuff. Yeah, Sion, um, Bricky was talking about that earlier today that he put streamer mode on a game and uh even though he put streamer mode it didn't block all the copyrighted music and he got a bunch of copyright claims you're welcome gga jja you're welcome i didn't even do anything i'm i'm just here streaming that's about it that's about all i'm i'm doing Oh, and yeah, please don't spam. Oh my god. JJA, if I don't answer sometimes what you say on stream, that's fine. You don't have to say it over and over again. I would encourage you to maybe start having conversations with other people in the community. Because I might not be able to answer every single message you ever write. But other people could. So I really, really encourage you to get to know other people in the stream that aren't just me.
I don't think that sounded insulting, but I just think maybe, maybe what they could have done, even if, let's say like right now in my VOD, the music plays for 30 seconds and then again, 30 seconds, the VOD is six hours. Just divide it. So if they're only playing the music for 30 seconds, so that's a minute, a minute out of six hours and five minutes, give that percentage of money instead of like demonetizing the whole thing and giving them the money. That's what sucks. I'm like, man. But then I wonder if people would still abuse it where they would take like 50% of Mr. Beast's content and then just give 50% of the revenue, right? I wonder if that could also kind of eventually start happening if this ends up happening. Wait a second. I think, I think someone's going through it. Hold on. So that underwater cup, the paywall. And grab cable light show, main against knowing. He's trying to tie cable line, light show, Cyber works to the equator, and he's tied it to my drawings. Now in steadfast chase for a line, he's with you guys on Twitch. He said the submarine broke, knowing main against Google isn't okay. He reads people. If you teach it and let in see at least OMG drawing, forget it. Keep it up. Grand Avenue Sense. Thanks for coming. <sighs> what do you think he meant? What do you guys think that meant? What do you think? Why boobs so big? You think that's an AI in training? That's actually scary to me. That's actually scary to me that eventually some chatters could be GPT chatters. How many of you right here right now are AI chat GPT chatters? It's scary, but one day... I could be an old, 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 much older woman, and all of you will be Chad GPT chatters. I would I would be delusional thinking that you all, you know, you all are real people, but you won't be. And my grandkids will be like, okay, grandma, like you have to stop. No one's on the Twitch television. Nobody watches you, grandma. Get over it. Get over it, Grandma. Nobody watches your streams. Nobody is here. I'm like, no, they're all chatting. Look at them chat. Okay, Grandma. Let's get you to bed. Yeah, and then my grandchildren are also AI. <laughs> oh, and I'm just, I'm just, yeah. Grandma bug with all her AI. Mm-hmm, that's me. Grandma Bug with all her AI just hanging out down the street. God. It would be scary, wouldn't it? Yeah, no, I'm here thinking I just have such an agreeable and wonderful audience, but really you're all just AI oh thank you Psycho for rating I missed it I'm sorry I missed it oh yes the sp <laughs> I have to say this by the way I'm sorry to the if that viewer is lurking I'm not making fun of you I just thought that what you said was really funny and I remember but I don't remember your exact name so I cannot make fun of you because I don't remember your exact name 
Somebody in chat the other day was like, oh yeah, Zintreya started that spam. <laughs> I was like, baby, I've been on Twitch television for so... I used to be on the, on the previous, on the owned television, on the Twitch television. No. Zintreya did not in, in, invent that. Orca, I am going to steal that. I actually haven't tweeted one of those in bio links. I think I should tweet like mandibles in bio. Toes in bio. Matarakan in bio. Fine. I'll tweet Matarakan in bio. Or do y'all think mandibles in bio is better? Thorax in bio. Ooh. Thorax in bio. Momo in bio. Momo's in bio. I don't know if Mo Claw's in bio. I think Thor. I think Claw. I think Thorax and Toes is the worst. I think Thorax and Toes is the, is the best. Sorry. That's what I meant. When I said worse, I meant the best. All right. I'm late on the trend. I'm late on the meme. I'm late on the trend. I'm late on the meme. All right. I did it. Roach in bio. Roach under bio. Oh. Maybe I should just sit down with you guys once a month and uh, have you guys come up with my tweets. It would probably be way better for my engagement. Not that I do anything for my Twitter engagement. I just go live and say, hey guys, I'm, I woke up late. I'm streaming soon. Hey guys, thanks for the stream. That's it. That's all I do. And it's good enough for me. It's good enough for me. That's good enough. That's it. I think Roach under or Roach inside bio. I like it. It took like five seconds for an NFT bot to reply to your tweet. There awful lately they have been crazy lately it, they have been insane what am I coming to Australia I've been to Australia I got COVID in Australia I don't want to go back anytime soon I had COVID and I had to quarantine in Australia but it was nice it was a good time Oh, sorry, Canadian. I misread. I misread, Canadian. I love you. It was just so funny to me where I'm like, man, I can't believe. Like, I guess at some point when we get on the internet, you know, I'm sorry. I misunderstood. You're afraid of AI chatters because you sound like an AI? Hmm. We're going to have to start doing Turing tests every stream, right? We're going to have to start every stream with like a little set of, of problems that only humans can solve. It would have to be like smell tests or something. I don't know what we would even do. That's the problem, Cadence. I feel like the old Turing test we had was for these baby little AIs. There is a Turing test video game. I own it. I've never played it. Thank you, Wilma, for the bits. Ah, oh, God, I remember when Twitch was Pokemon, was Pokemoning. I still remember everybody was just like, wow, this is the craziest thing. Blade Runner baseline test at the start of every stream. I'm not sure how that test goes. Some sites are giving me simple addition problems. I 
I don't know what 5 plus 4 plus 2 minus 6 times 5 is, okay? I don't know. I don't want to think. I'm scared. I'm scared of having to do mathematical equations every time I want to use the internet. That's a good one, Dusk. Basically, every single Momo in the chat, I demand to see you write, draw hands. I need to know how you draw hands so I can judge if you're a real person. The numbers! The numbers! They hurt. The numbers. Yay, the numbers. Sadly, they're getting better at hands. The numbers. What do they mean? Really, Peanuts? It is improving scarily fast. So I'm just saying, very soon, you guys will all be Chad GPT in my eyes. I don't draw hands, I draw claws. Ooh. I'm training AI to recognize bridges and fire hydrants and buses and bicycles, right? Tag the yellow bus. I like that, Alanol. It has the same energy as like, I don't drive, I'm driven. I don't draw, I'm drawn for. <laughs> I'm already pretty sure you're a Chad GPT too. I am. All my content is pre-recorded and I'm doing my reaction on top of it. I am training AI to do my reaction when I stream. Wow, a box. I bought another box. Ice cream so good. Ice cream on sale. I bought ice cream on sale. Wow, more boxes. I don't have any room. I don't have any room. I need space. Hi, Joel. How are you? <laughs> you know what I'm sad about? The NPC trend died before I got to be an NPC. Cheese on sale. I must buy more cheese. I must buy more ice cream. So good. Another thing I need to do before it dies is I need to do a sleeping stream. I can start the NPC VTuber trend. I feel like Maddie, it was already it was already pretty big. I remember a girl DM was doing it. Don't encourage this. Wait, what video, Octo? Can you link it to me in Twitter too, please? I want to know. My dream, one day, instead of taking a day off, I'm going to automate ads. So I don't run ads, right? I have my ads set to the minimum. Sometimes when I pee or I do something, I, I eventually turn on ads, but I forget. I want to have a sleeping stream. And I will put ads for one minute every hour. Instead of 15 seconds every hour, it's going to be one minute every hour. And I'm just going to sleep on stream. That's it. It's my dream. I cannot wait. Ads maxing, exactly. I dream of ad revenue. <laughs> that is a good name. Electric sheep? Nah. This bug dreams of ad revenue. You want to sleep in my street sleep stream? It'll be cozy. It'll be comfy. I think it could be cozy, comfy. Do space roaches dream of ad revenue? Of electric ad revenue? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> 
Yeah, you can do sleep streams on Twitch, Crimson. Oh boy, Crimson. When when the whole when Ludwig did the month long subathon, it was everywhere. Thank you, Octo. I'm gonna take a look at it. I already can tell that it's maybe not, maybe not something I'll understand because I'm just seeing Street Fighter. But I'll take a look at it after stream. You missed 24 hours subathons only. I don't know. I'm trying to convince my friend to come stay with me while I play Metal Gear. But then if she's here, I'm like, why don't we just stream like 12 hours a day? <laughs> and then we sleep and then we wake up and then we stream 12 hours again. <laughs> <laughs> like hey you should visit me while you don't you know while you're on vacation and you don't work and you're just not doing anything with your life and then I'm like why don't we do a week long streamathon but on my channel where I get all the profits <laughs> nah I'm teasing I'm teasing uh, I do think it would be really fun if if my friend stayed with me for a few days. What's my favorite faction of 40k? Tyranids and Necrons. Once she's back from Japan, I'm going to steal her away on a million trips. Yeah, she's getting paid in exposure. Actually, I think she has more Twitter followers than me. <laughs> I think she has more Twitter. Hold on, I have 171. I think she has more Twitter followers than me. She has 174. Yeah, she's more. I, I'd, I'd be, I'd be leeching off her, as the children say. How long is she staying in Japan? I don't know. I don't know if she's talked about it, but just in case, I don't want to talk about it. Did you both get to do a half marathon together? No, she's scared of running. I'm going to probably do another. I'm probably going to be at three half marathons before she even does one with me. Привет, don't cry. Как дела? Yeah. At one point, I would have been half at one and a half mar marathons. Yes, I will be streaming tomorrow. It does DFI. It sounds like a good life, doesn't it? With how you stream, you might as well call every stream a marathon. I've only streamed for six hours right now, Joel. The only reason that it's so late, darling, is because I slept in. I stayed up playing um, Helldivers until 6 a.m. with uh, Thor and Pete and Haruka. What about the time you stayed up till 10 a.m.? It was the same day. It's just I stopped playing at 6 a.m., but I wasn't able to fall asleep. Does the game is so addictive, especially when you switch out people and you're like, just one more game, just one more game, just one more game. Thank you. And oh, hold on. How is Thor a real name? It's his middle name, apparently, because I think I, th I forget what he said about it, but he was born like in a thunderstorm, I think. Angel, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for raiding, darling. Welcome, welcome, raiders. We're kind of winding down in our day. We've had a we've I've been streaming for only six hours today, but uh, I played Hell Hell Razors yesterday on my day off for like 10 hours so <laughs> uh just notice your sub point goal for some reason my sub points are off on twitch it says i have 6140 subscribers 6435 sub points but then when you look on twitch it makes it look like i have five but it's always like a thousand down from the the reality i don't know why like right now it tells me it's 5223 that i'm seeing in my goals but it's 6140. 
And I thought initially like, oh, maybe it was like one of those days, but no, this is like, I don't know why it's been like that. I don't know why it's like always a little bit delayed. It went up one. Thank you, Wilma. <laughs> Angel, I hope you had a great stream. What kind of stuff are you cooking? What kind of stuff are you streaming? We'll never make it to boob. Aw, oh, baby. Just so we're clear, boob subs was something I wanted to hit one time last year at my debut, and it was my crazy goal. We stayed above it the whole time. We've been at boob. We live in boob. It's just, you know, I took I took almost a month off. It happens. And we talked about it earlier. It's not about breaking your goal and going bigger, 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 bigger. It's sometimes it's just about living and enjoying your, your life. Oh, the week changed. I didn't notice. <laughs> That's it. I'm ending stream. <laughs> I'm ending stream. <laughs> DFI, I'm ending stream. Put your wallet back. I'm ending stream. <laughs> God damn it. It's a gift sub. Thank you so much for your generosity. <laughs> oh my God. It's too late. It's the stream sub. is still here. Thank you so, so much, DFI. Thank you. Thank you for another 50. I really appreciate it. You're crazy. You're crazy. You're crazy. <laughs> um. I really do mean it when I say I think a lot of, of streaming is just kind of cruising. It's, a it's like a plane, right? You go up, you go down, but eventually you just kind of find your altitude and you cruise. And we are at more than a comfortable attitude of attitude. Altitude of cruising. <laughs> if the circumcisions were any different. <laughs> if the circumcisions were any different. <laughs> Yeah. That that is crazy, DFI. Thank you so much for your generosity. You are just thank you, thank you, thank you. I swear, I cannot believe I made that mistake earlier today, and now I'm gonna add this into my repertoire of of things I must say. It's too good. Angel of Death, thank you for the gifted as well, my love. Thank you so much, Angel. Oh, it's just too good. If the circumcisions were any different. <laughs> uh, are you circumstanced, by the way? <laughs> okay, I think now I'm killing the joke a little bit. I think now I'm killing the joke a little bit. I think the first one is funnier than are you circumstanced by any chance? <laughs> are you circumference? It has the word come in it, though. it's a hell diver dive. Should I grow up? She just soft appointment. You think it's my nap time? I don't wanna go to sleep. Hi, Quinn. It's almost bedtime for me. How are you? How are you enjoying Twitch television? I was lurking a little bit in your stream with Kudo earlier. I uh I overslept. I started late by almost four hours. How are you tonight, Quinn? And the quizzards. Oh my god, Quinn. Okay, I have to tell you this. So while I was reacting to your debut, um, everybody was saying really ridiculous names. Like they were saying the quizzards, things like that. The the quinks, the quincels. And at some point, I was already laughing so much, Quinn. And then one person wrote Winvalids. And I had to like, I couldn't tell chat right away, but I burst out laughing. But then eventually when I stopped laughing, I was like, okay, guys, I have to just explain this to you. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier what it was that like kind of broke the camel's back. I just, it, I was so shocked. Like, I think if it was normally, I wouldn't laugh because I'd be so shocked. But because I was already losing I was losing my marbles at like quincels, quinks, everything. And then they wrote that and I was just like, oh my God. Like, I, I, I couldn't believe somebody typed that. Somebody was like, yeah, let me propose this. It, 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 
it finished me. Exactly. It was the finisher. Like, if you just start off with that, it will not have critical hit damage. God. What did you end up picking in the end? What did you end up picking for your fan name? It's a gift up. Damn it. I can't believe... I can't believe I stayed just 20 minutes too late. And now, DFI, you opened your big wallet again. Thank you, DFI. I can't believe it. All of you. All of you. You did enough damage. You did enough damage. And here we are. I think... If it makes you feel better, at one point... So... At one point, Quinn, people were... I genuinely kind of liked it, but I also kind of don't like it. Mo Morons. I was looking for a name for a fan name for us. And we were like looking at a bunch of them like Conclave or anything like that. Um, but we decided not to have a fan name. We're just Momos or the Mom, you know, the Momos, Momos, the Hive Mind, which, well, the Hive Mind already some people have that. But Mo Morons. Mo Morons was a big one that people were very into it is funny but i do think it could like scare a lot of people off as a fan name <laughs> the mo morons infesties was very cute but no we're just the momos we don't have a fan name well we don't have a our fan name is the momos right the fan and the fan name are kind of one but yeah, Mo Morons was a was it was a big kind of like leader. So don't worry about quizzards and all that other stuff. Yeah, Mo Morons assemble. <laughs> you kept reading as as Mo Mormons? No, 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 Mo Morons. Not the same. <laughs> Not the same. All right, everybody. Quinn Cells was just great. <laughs> Quinn Cells. It's funny because it kind of sounds like win, right? Like you're winning. <laughs> I'm going crazy. I have to go to bed. I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. I love it. There's a terminated monster girl in the Helldiver subrated. Oh my god. Did they add a monster girl in it? Or are you or are you saying I'm on the on the Reddit for some reason? Because that's not good if I'm there. Because people sometimes react a little silly and goofy if they see a VTuber. If VTubers go out into the into the real public, everybody gets a little a little weird about it. Humanized monster girl Bile Titan. Oh, the humanized ti Bile Titan? Oh hell yeah, I want to see her now. She has long, sexy legs. Oh, hell yeah. Then I want to see that. I was scared for a moment. You were mentioning that, like, I was on the Reddit and I got posted. I'm like, oh, God, no. Oh, no. It's scary. All right. Everyone. I think I should call it a night. I'm going to take a few hours to get to bed. I, I need to I need to get my schedule back in order, everybody. I cannot keep going to bed at 10 a.m. I cannot. I will stay until the gift sub alert ends. Oh my god. That okay, wait. I thought I had the best timing in the world. I was like, whoa, how did I predict that? <laughs> um because I, I'm back to doing like early this week I have to stream every day. Because I'm leaving on Saturday and Sunday to go to another city to go to a concert. So. 
Sorry, I will be leaving regardless of if there's subscriptions or no subscriptions, okay? I love you all, but I do have to go. We're going to give a little raid. We're going to give a little raid. I was actually thinking about it. No, 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 no. I got to go to bed. I am always so grateful for everyone's generosity. I am always so grateful for everyone's generosity. Thank you, Tio. Thank you for the gifted. The gift up. I am always so grateful for y'all's generosity and kindness, but it is time to go. Hmm. I might start stream a little early tomorrow. I might actually start stream maybe an hour early tomorrow. Depends when I'm done with my interview, okay, everybody? Thank you for all the raids. Thank you for all the spoiling. Thank you for all the love. Um. <gasps> Maybe I can raid my new pal Tor. Let's do that. I know Gidi is doing her beach a thon, but I can raid her tomorrow for the beach a thon. Let's raid our new pal Thor for pirate software. He'll be streaming. Oh, but wait, but Gidi. Is Gidi wearing a bikini? Hold on. They're wearing bikinis. Ah. Uh. Thor will be live again. But Onigiri is allegedly in a bikini. So we're going to raid Onigiri. She is my cousin's sister wife. Uh, she is currently on a trip in Okinawa with Gourmet Mei and Shibuya Kaho, and they are about to go on a boat trip. Actually, I just see Oni Bro in the distance. I think that's Oni Bro. I can't tell. We are going to raid them. Thank you so, so much, everybody, for the love. Thank you for spoiling me. Thank you for all the kindness that you always show me. Please enjoy her stream. She's actually doing a, I think, beachathon. So I'm not sure exactly what her stream goals are and all that stuff. But if you have an extra maybe Twitch Prime or you have a few extra gifted, consider giving them over to Onigiri because she is doing a little beachathon. All right, everybody. I love you all so much. Bye bye. Have a wonderful rest of your day and night. Bye bye. I love you all. Thank you for tuning in. And thank you, Merciless, for the gifted. I love you. Thank you so much, my love. Bye, everybody. Get out. Oh, my God. It doesn't end. Thank you so much for the gifted, by the way. I'm sorry I'm leaving before the sound ends, but I'm scared if I don't leave, the sound is never going to end. The sound is never going to end if I don't leave. Okay? I love you all. Get out of here. Go, 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 go. Get out of here. Go. It's a gift sub. Get out. Bye-bye, my loves. Goodbye. I love you all. <laughs>